Ah, oh, Hajimamash Tenshi. It's time to keep going. And yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Should probably get my runes back and then. I think there might be a side of grace nearby. We'll see. Yep, there we go, death. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Survive over there and escape this accursed place. Yeah, I think I will. Gotta get my runes back. Figure out a way to take out a bunch of the claymen. Yeah. For now, I'm just going to stay away from this guy. So I can get a bit more HP, a bit more durability. We'll see. Hmm. So the question is, if I go over this way, because clearly it seems like I can jump over there, what am I going to find? Is there anything of note? And it does not look like it. Okay. Done. Yeah, I guess. Oh, that didn't damage me? Okay. Well, the music has stopped. Let's poke around this area a little bit more. Oh, more ghost glove ward. And then over this way. Well, we could have gotten here already. Just going from the buttresses over by the other part of the grounds. The question really is just, how do I want to get rid of this clayman? I'd be able to do it with some sort of bleeding? I'm not even sure they can bleed. That's the thing. So this is where we got to originally when we took that way gate, I think. It did kind of impede my progress through taking out the followers. Hello! Thank you for being patient. All of the muffins for this week have been put away. And what is this? I don't know what this is. Formic rock. Huh. That solidified giant ant venom. Where giant ants live. Decently well. They were a little, a little more cooked than usual, which might not be a bad thing, just because I was otherwise occupied when I was supposed to be taking them out of the oven, but they should be fine in the end. I do wonder what they might be like with a bit more cooking effect, essentially, because normally I put in some mashed banana as a substitute for the applesauce that the recipe normally specifies, because I don't usually have that on hand. Yeah, the Maillard reaction is pretty essential. But, as I was saying, there were no bananas on hand today, so I just put in a third egg as opposed to the two eggs that are normally in there. Serve a similar sort of binding function. So we'll see how it is. Since I put in a third egg, I think a little bit more cooking might do it some good and give it... Well, it's kind of like a... Okay, actual bananas as fruit are good. Artificial banana flavor is different. But bananas as a fruit are tasty. I think that's pretty difficult to deny. But, as I was saying... Uh, as I was saying... It would give it a sort of baked custard kind of texture, I think. And that would be pretty nice. Fair. So now, can I even, how much will, mm. I could just spam them down for major, oh my goodness, that was more than I expected. And I get the impression that these guys can't be bled. I might be wrong, but actually just spamming the Juvia. Well, maybe, it depends on how much you put in, that determines if the flavor is going to overpower things, and that is crazy range. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, they can bleed. It just takes stupid amount of stuff to make it happen. And... Mm -hmm. Okay. So this should maybe work, but I... The club would be better. Fair. You don't have to be. Uh -huh. 
Let's try to focus on taking one down. There we go. Okay. Hmm. The more I get rid of, the better. I can take on the rest of melee combat, maybe, after that. Maybe. This is certainly something. This is actually working much better, which is nice. Didn't expect it to work all that well, but it did. There we go. What? What did you forget? Well, what did you almost forget? And is there a grab attack or a... Oh, that's just backstab you and... Oh, uh -huh. it's not all that amazing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And dodge it. Oh, hmm. How do I want to take these guys down? Oh, well, because... It might be a bit overtuned. I have heard about that. And... For what it's worth, from what I've heard, it's actually not all that bad if you're running a pure strength build, but that level of limitation, understandably, might not make people all that happy. Because the big thing is that enemies are very, very hard to stagger. So unless you run a full strength build that's all about stagger, you probably won't be able to. And that... I could see that getting a bit annoying. Okay, and we can go for one more blood void. And can I go behind you or what? Can I? Okay. I, oh, ooh, not good. Not great. Is this a clayman corpse? It's a. Yeah, we actually got the weapon. That's fun. Hmm. Let's see, and all right. Can I? Alright, backstab on you. And. Oh, what? Ah, oh, come on. That caught me out? That really sucked. Okay. Uh, Alright then, I will. Hmm. Can I backstab you? Yeah, or not. Can I. One, two. There we go. And one left, one left. Oh, that counted as a separate group. Interesting. This guy is just. The key factor of this game is fair challenge. If it's overtuned or feels unfair, I think everyone might be. Where are you looking? That's the thing. I don't think people are wanting about Elden Ring being too easy. And the big thing is that if the deal, if the difficulty is not, and DLCs are usually. A step up in difficulty compared to base games for FromSoft stuff, just in general. But, and from what I, for what it's worth, I think a lot of it is also just people ignoring some of the mechanics that are meant to make the player stronger in the DLC area specifically. Because there's a separate power scaling system. And there we go, Claimant Sharpoon. I could use that already, wow. Sharpen me a Shore, Claimant who invests on Ask Remains, Paint Light, deals magic damage. But, okay, so what is going to be through here? I, hmm, what kind of scarab is that? So what is this? I, somber smithing stone five. Oh, wow. I, one, oh my goodness. I need to take this guy out before it disappears in two, three, four, five, six, seven. And can I, one, oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five. And can I... What did I get? Oh, we got the other bubble spell. Great oracular bubble. We got the other bubble spell. Yeah, there are only two. Priests in the ancient dynasty. Gigantic magical bubble drifts towards foes before it naturally ruptures. It's the before the bubble pops. It's oracles within their bubbles. Alright, so now we have both bubble spells. To those that may concern. For bubble enthusiasts. Bubble blowing babies. Okay. And, alright, can I, mmm, oh, wow, alright. Magic damage is a bit strong. And, spin will also do that, but we can just go for some backstabs, most likely. And, can I, mmm, mm -hmm. come on. Right, and just, can I, right, okay, dodge. Okay, cool, and what you're gonna do now, and, alright, cool. Hmm. 
It's foggy. Two, three, and anything else? Yeah, so they come in as different groups of... There were two separate groups of claymen for the sake of last regen here, which is nice because of how annoying this was. Well, assumedly it would be much easier if I was at a more suitable level to be here, but still. Hmm. Big thing is, if I spam Reduvia Blood Blade, they're not much trouble. So that's what I should do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, alright, and. Yeah, we can't do any kind of. Any kind of silly. Repass on the Scarab, which makes sense, but still. But basically, kind of like in Sekiro, where you can upgrade attack power, there is a. Not really a stat, but a. An attack power buff you can get by collecting these fragments to get a blessing by exploring. The big thing is that I did end up getting a good deal of the DLC storyline leaked because people were complaining about it on Twitter. And it did seem kind of weird and a bit out of nowhere. But also a big reason people were mad is because it seemed to conflict with their Yaoi shipping. I'm not even joking. And it did seem a little weird, but I don't know. We'll see we'll see what it's like. I do not want to judge things before I play it for myself. Okay. And mmm, hitting the wrong guy. One, two, ooh, alright, and cool. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Okay. One, two, and all right, and oh, okay, that was dangerous, and can I, yeah, backstab, and then, mm, okay, take these guys out one by one, and can we get behind you, just, yeah, that's not bad, we'll take a bit though, so, and getting that other smithing stone was really, really nice, I will, probably be able to use it for a good amount of stuff. Just let me check. And, alright, another dead clay man. Oh, we got another flask back. That's good. Let's check. Steps differ, drain of color, and two. Don't have any plus four. We have one. And straight to five. Okay. Big thing is, if we keep going through here, I hope I can find a side of grace or something. But I'm not going to hold my breath. Big thing is that switching out to a club with holy infusion would be really, really nice for this. But and dodge. Okay, alright. Nice. And cerulean tears. One, two. Okay. Hmm. And did I... This is not a flashback yet, at least. Three. One, two, three, four, and nice. Cool. Alright. Hmm. Take these guys down like this would take a good deal of struggle. And one more. And dead. Okay. So the rest I'll need. Hmm. Okay, can I... Alright, we got... One, and others are coming now, which is the issue. Okay, and just go around back, uh, or miss the backstab. I, okay. Uh, we took a good deal down. The big thing is... I don't have anything that really inflicts holy right now. All I got is this crazy thing. What if I... Hmm. Okay, hmm. Putting all three of you at once is going to be some trouble. Oh, but right now I'm on heavy load, so a bit more of this. And can I backstab or not? I can't. Weird. Mm -mm. It's just going for jump attacks is a fun idea, but it might not work all that well depending on. And got one down. Well, one backstab in, but actually do don't do all that much more than say Reduvia. That's the weird thing. And can I... Alright, and... Ugh, oh, come on. Hmm. And what if I... How am I going to... 
Stab you and mm, the stamina. Mm, get one on its own. Should be okay. And just oh well. All right, that was annoying. Sweet back was a lot more potent than I expected it to be. Let's just keep slamming on you until there we go. Nice. It's one down and okay, cool. How about flashback? We should probably prepare for a bit more until we can fight these guys. Um, what? Oh, the backswing. That's vile. Okay, cannot. Interesting. One, two, and oh, ooh, all right. Mm -hmm. Some flashback use Julia for others, but hmm, gotta wait until I can. Swing correctly. Ah, that backswing on the harpoon is just evil. Okay. Uh, oh, what? Huh? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Weird. Should have waited to use that thing from before. Well, whatever. I all right. And just can I? What? What? Huh? Nonsense. Okay. Slam and jump slams are actually pretty good. As I don't have to fight too many of them at once. And just, okay, what? Oh, ooh. It's not expecting the other part to get me too. Hmm. Right, and... Hmm. Can I slam, and there we go, dead. Alright. Just gotta figure out how to take on groups without getting too messed up. Hmm. There is so many of these guys is a thing. And, all right. The more we can fight you one-on-one, -on -one, the more we can take you out and just not have to worry about other garbage here. Okay, cool. One. Fight you one-on-one, -on -one, it's not bad at all, but only if we can actually get you in one-on-one. -on -one. Cool. Nice. And slam. One. More. Range is good, but oh goodness. I Alright. Hmm. It's gonna suck. Definitely gonna suck. I. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Nice. And can I. Hmm. Slam. Fight you. Individually like this. You're gonna swing it back and slam down. Oh goodness. And another? Really? Gotta be kidding. And just... Okay, alright. Slam. So when are we gonna get another flask out of this is the thing. And slam down. Okay, please. I'm worried and I'm begging. Thanks. And take that back. Slam that down on you. Please, please. Just gonna do this slowly and methodically and not get caught up by multiple ones is the thing. It's the one that pulls back, and we just go over again. Slow and painstaking, but it's an epic sea for river moment. Come on. More I can. One. Tear back. Slam. And, oh look, nothing. Yay. The question is, if I kill all the crabs, would I get something too, or what? Probably not. The big question is, what is up on this area besides this giant pond full of clay men? Another grace, or something else I can get to, or I... Oh, oh. What is this? What is this? This is... Oh, time for calmness. Behold stars. It is pretty. And Dragon Wound Grease, that's not bad. That is pretty nice to have. Oh, well, the horse can't fit through here. So I... Hmm. So what would be through here, then, if... Well, whatever. I'm gonna get a backstab on this guy. I hope we get a flask back from this. Fighting three of those guys at once is gonna be pain and suffering. Why are you so strong? I, oh, it's a... Big guy, not good. 
I take this slowly. I should still be fine, even though this guy's. Oh, right, because I don't have. It wasn't too handy, and that's, that's what was going on. It is nice that it didn't forcibly bonk everything off, though, but yeah, now we're back to doing a regular amount of damage. Thanks. Slam. Oh, nice. And Okay. One. Two. For real. Actually, though. Got that back, which means it's time to just spam Reduvi on the last group. Okay, so, but what is this? This is... Golden Rune 7. Alright, I guess. Now we just switch back to Redubia and go for it again. Yeah. Mm, oh, but heavy load. What is... Okay, there we are. There we are. Switch back and just spam Bowie to kill you. Oh, wow. That... Ouch. For that? Oh, right, because... Your delay is different. Right, because there's a delay between what I see and what you see to begin with. It didn't seem like that long for me, but... Now I understand. Here we are. It only took forever for the bleed to build up. So what kind of reward will we get for taking out all these clay men? I would presume it's actually going to be nothing at all. The big one to argue it was just getting the oracular bubbles, but... And then... Just a silver firefly. Okay. Cool. And then... Really just... Okay. Could get another firefly, but... Hmm. I... Bug, but you don't have the right. So I guess that was everything that was here. Just the bubble spell... Racket or Bubbles. Mirica Scar Seal. It's not bad. It's not bad, but... Mm, big thing is that we're gonna have to go back down in order to get stuff from the rest of Sifra. Always a romp. I guess. Yeah, but I'll have to come back here at a later date to kill those guys. Mm, tough. Okay. Let's just light the remaining sconces. Honestly, after doing Weeping Bonanza, I'll probably be strong enough to come back and kill that Dragon King soldier. I can do that in a bit. I don't want to level up right now. I guess I'll I guess I'll level Arcane. And then probably Vigor just because health is always good. Yeah, okay. A bit more a little bit more defense too. Cool. Alright then more levels from this godforsaken place and then we can just keep on riding our horse on through and five of those sconces are lit so we're almost in a position to actually fight that thing the ancestor spirit hmm yeah but from what I've heard the DLC's gameplay is really really good but a lot of the lore feels weird and like it might have been retconned partway through development and that is something that never sits right with me. When things are changed for the sake of, frankly, market testing. It shows, at least to me, sort of a lack of belief in the merits of one's existing planned work. And it... Oh, okay. Didn't think that would hit me. That consistency... And an uncompromising vision, at least in my opinion, is always more crucial than, you know, marketability, but that's just me. I, arguably, Landell. The Golden Capital. It's where the gods are all from, so... It's at least less forsaken than the other places. Okay, cool. And I think people are still shooting at me, but... I'm just stab this guy again. Fair. One, two, and I think. Oh, more guys shooting at me. Great. Alright, then I. Okay, and just move around back. Stab again. Okay, cool. One, two, three. Okay. Nice. Jawbone axe and a Trina's lily. This is. 
this is what sent us over to place before, so we could dodge, dodge, okay, cool, nice. That was actually kind of annoying to dodge. Didn't have a flash or anything, so hard to tell when, and now you're dead, cool. Thank you, thank you for dying. Anything else over here, or, uh -oh. whatever that was, we got it already. Question is, is that crab over there? I haven't killed that crab yet, so I'm gonna kill that crab now. Mm -hmm. And this is... Oh, that was just one of those arrows. Okay. So, anything here, or... What do you got? Oh, hello then. Hi, and just move on in. And can we backstab you? And Oh, goodness, okay. Yeah, we can. Cool. Then just get back up, get back up. One, two, die. Nice. What a fun weapon. What a... What an arguably overpowered weapon. Most, one, most fun ones are. Okay, and this is... Okay, smithing stone three. Okay, and there's a torch over there right next to some of those exploding... Blue lightning bubbles, and... I guess they would be ball lightning more than anything else, so we can just... Stay behind the tree. Yeah. Thank you. Cool. And I'll stay behind this. Want the torch for a bit of iframes. Thank you. Go away, why don't you? And another one of those by those crabs, too. Oh, they're high. And just... Come on, try shooting at me. How am I gonna... Mm. This might suck for real. But for now, what I'm gonna do is take the heavy large club and take that off, fight the crab, and yeah. Come on, crabbo. Interesting. Okay, get over here. And just... Funniest? I don't know what funniest would be, actually. And, all right, thanks, and can... Slam and there we go. We can break that down. Oh goodness! I all right. Thanks. Weird. Luckily, just the damage on this skill. As long as I don't whiff. Weird. Okay. All right. And just upward cut and again just miss. What gives? Okay. Slam. Slam. Huh. That. You mean most fun? I I really liked the Drang Hammers in Dark Souls 3. Oh, the Ring Knight Parage Great Swords? Those were all really cool, but I would honestly say when I could actually reliably get the full spin combo in PvP or on a humanoid enemy who could really get hit with it with the Drang Hammers, that was really fun. It was very, very interesting. And there we go, we got that. Room Hammer was cool, but it was also very gimmicky, and we missed the repos. Recovered a lot faster than I expected. Well, whatever. Oh, but presumably, did that drop crab eggs that I missed, or is it just not a 100% chance? Because I don't remember picking up crab eggs from it. Well, whatever, and okay, there you are, cool. I need to take our Reduvia back on. Now that there are no more crabs to kill, more or less stay away from those guys. Okay, cool. And then there's... Where is... That guy? Where did that one go? Okay, I thought it disappeared. It did not entirely disappear. Hello, then. Do your thing, and just back and stab. I... If the gimmick was better, maybe... And it was cool that it dealt fire at base, which was not all that common in Bloodborne. There aren't a lot of good ways to really deal fire besides fire paper. Because Arcane and Lightning and Bolt have Hunter tools for that. Oh, interesting. This is where this is. Have Hunter tools you can use? But for fire damage, it's fire gems, which are pretty silly, kind of. Worshippers Woods, Boom Hammer, and Fire Paper. So the big thing is that 
if you're doing a sort of... Unless you're doing a truly pure arcane build, using fire gems or elemental gems is oftentimes not always the best, because it completely converts all the damage the weapon deals to whatever element it is. If you're slotting, you know, arcane damage gems into weapons that don't have innate arcane damage, or are, that or is in or if you're pure physical, which means that it ends up different. As in, you're not getting the advantage of, you know, scaling helping out the physical part of the weapon and arcane scaling he helping out the elemental because it's just all elemental. Which does help for the sake of doing elemental damage given that Bloodborne doesn't really have a magic system like other Souls games. So it can be a lot harder to deal pure elemental damage when you need to or want to. But, even still... What are those dwelling arrows? And yep, you can farm those from those guys, but... So the aqueduct over there is going to be... It won't lead us up to the city up top, but... We actually have to jump down from above, from a crater, like I said before, but... Hmm, interesting. Let's figure out how to grab this guy from behind without alerting it. Stomping. Good number of smithing stones there, and... Hmm, this is certainly interesting. Okay, there we are, let's keep on sneaking up and backstab you. Thanks, and one, two, and die. Alright, keep on assassinating these weird ghosts. But it, eventually there are places with non-ethereal versions of these ancestral followers, but this is not one of them. This is just a way back. Yeah, I do not want to do that right now. Send me back to the start. It's not where I want to go because there are two more sconces I need to get lit before I can fight the boss and then actually go to Weeping Peninsula. It is fun to be here early, but uh, getting one shot by that Dragon King soldier is significantly less fun. And, um, uh, hmm. giant rats. Oh, rats. And then we'll take some of these guys on. Two, three. And the nice thing is that the ancestral followers don't seem to have really noticed yet. And, hmm. One, two. Oh, I, all right. I wonder how much damage those guys would deal to me if I just got hit by them. Hmm. Nice. And, ooh, all right. Okay. Hmm. Okay, and slash... Need to sail the way of you and one dodge uh, mm -hmm. slash dodge and I am worried about how much damage that giant rat would actually deal to me on a successful hit. One ooh one and dodge. Uh, at least it's very very short range, but I just mm -hmm. come on giant rat. Okay one mm, okay one more and there we go. Let's just. Dodge, okay. One, two, three, four, and- Oh, well, I, okay, it didn't one-shot me, but still. No flash from that? Whatever. Mm -mm. Golden rune. It's from the rats. Sometimes rats drop rune arcs, which you can use to basically get a buff that varies depending on the rune it's from, the character. Oh, interesting, uh, okay. Thanks. Cool. And your friend did not notice me. So I guess I'll just kill him too. But when we get close, they start moving, but we still get the bonus for not having to notice. Interesting. Hmm, uh, should use one of those already, but whatever. Like this, and only one more. It's time for Ancestor Spirit. Hmm. Ah, uh, item. But... There's no item, is there? I uh, maybe again they're trying to bait you into jumping off. Question is to get down there. Is there a way to get down there or there is terrain. But that doesn't necessarily mean you can actually get there by any means. What I do know is that eventually over here there should be the aqueduct. And I think this is a golden seed, which would mean another flash charge. That looks 
I'm not sure what I can draw a conclusion wise from that, whether it'll be able to get down there eventually or not. And another golden seed, nice. Six seed. I did. I got it too. Hmm. Keep on moving. What I do know is that apparently Aqueduct is somewhere around here. That we'll be able to maybe find a side of grace or at least find a place to progress in another direction. That said, it will be for much later in the game, too, so I probably will not be doing that at the moment. Question is, if I jump up on here... Yeah. Alright. Cool. Tough. And, yep. Stone Sword Key. Actually found that one my first playthrough. So went through a little bit of the aqueduct, but that over on that side, I think. Something I missed. But, oh, I think that is... That's up by the Dragon Teeth Soldier, I think. So, not everything there, but... Let me see. Anything here, or... Any of these invisible walls? Where of hidden path. Oh, oh. 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 Wait, what? Oh. Liar ahead. Yeah, okay. Read this message poor. Disparaged. Successfully. Then I will try jumping over here and see if there's anything to find. It does not seem like it, but it's good to check. Yeah, nothing, nothing. The aqueduct. Can I reach it from here, or do I have to go through Nocron? Which is just the later version of the area that you get to if you drop the meteorite down, as I said. This and that, and this and that is... Hmm. Let me see... Hmm. Okay. Well, that seems to be another hidden path. Albeit not one I found on my first time through part of Sifra when I first played the game. Well, it wasn't even through Sifra. It was just sent in Sifra. Precious item ahead. Okay, it does seem like this is not going to be a hidden path as much as some item. Or am I... Wait, wait. Wait, excuse me. Hello? What is this? I? Which farther can I go, though? And this is... Oh, a rune arc. So that was it, I suppose. Go through this cave and you get a rune arc, which... It's the first one we've gotten, I think. Shard of the Shattered Elden Ring. Increase maximum HP upon use. Base in which weapons pool. Shard originates from that very arc. Kremon's Harpoon could be a good weapon for just dealing lots of magic damage. Because again, it deals base magic damage and then is infusible, which is not common. Infusible or enchantable, I could use an enchantment spell like Scholar's Armament, which is still the only one. And weapon buff spells have honestly just gotten worse ever since Demon Souls, continually. Because in Demon Souls, the one, the best weapon buff spell is kind of broken. It... I used it at the very end of the game on a sword that was already quite strong and it made it just downright overpowered. It literally doubled its damage. Which is a bit much, but still, I... It was useful. It was actually useful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. Bad news. Real bad news. One, two, three, four... I think if this was the rat and- wait, what? What? Okay, cool. Huh, not good. Wasn't there the crimson... Scarab somewhere around here too? I really do wonder. One, two, three, four. Where are they shooting at me from? And okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Come on, rats. Come oh, on, rats. Two, three, four, uh, and, oh, come on, I, okay, thanks, and, oh, there you are, all right. We were you over here, we can, finally, you're actually pursuing me, that's good. And, oh, okay, all right, cool, and can I backstab, or, yeah, it was a little finicky, though. And, one, two, and, can I, oh, oh, what? Okay? Ah. Huh. Okay, so eventually if they spy you, they'll just pursue you. 
That took a lot, lot longer than I might have liked. You know, if they had just pursued me initially, you know, I could, I would have been able to tell easily. I would have just been, okay, cool, it's time for a stupid group fight I just got to kite him with. Reduvia, but no, it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Now I got to kill these guys again. Okay, cool. And, oh, but I, what? Come on, come on. Okay. Uh-huh. One. Uh, thanks, thanks, and one, two, three. Cool. <sighs> okay. Come on. Come on. Big thing is, when I go to Weeping Peninsula, I'll be able to get the Strength, Dexterity, Vigor, Endurance equivalent of that Merica's Scar Seal I got yesterday. And do also currently have equipped. And that will help out decently, I would presume. Just because, again, it would let me use Bloodhound's Fang, which is a very, very good slash damage curved greatsword. One of the few decent... One of the few heavy weapons that can deal slash damage, because it's otherwise mostly limited to lighter weapons, even though it's actually pretty good. What is interesting is that in earlier Souls games, generally speaking, you would want to use... Piercing damage against scaled enemies and bludgeoning on armor slash on things that didn't have armor or scales. But in Elden Ring, since there are a lot of enemies that are just golems literally made of stone, bludgeoning is really for them and piercing also applies to armor too. It's very, very interesting. Oh, come on. Alright. Get over here. How am I gonna... Mmm, dumb rat. Two, three, and, uh, uh, and another, and die. Cool. Thank you. Kill that rat, and can I, oh, okay. One, two, two, three, four, and can I, oh, you still go for the slash without the, and, but it's still very slow, and since you have the projectile, it's just exceptionally punishable. Interesting, and one, two, three, four, and... All right, one, two, oh, come on, can I, oh, my goodness, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, because bludging is really just good against the golems and the imps and the watchtower, I mean, barrel watchdogs, which are just arguably another kind of imp, but that's not nothing, but it's not like there are a lot of them near the end of the game, though, and... I, oh, well, they actually got me this time. I don't like that. Uh, okay, cool. Two, three, four, and... One. Oh, okay. Oh, right. I, oh, goodness. This is not good. Actually, quite bad. And just... Mm, other one. One, two, three. Well, they're dead now. And we got some flashback, which is also good. I really just wonder how am I going to get through here without straight up dying. I'll do some sneaking and kill rats, get my runes back. Backstabs might not be the best idea right now. There you are. Okay, cool. Can I see me or what? Should we not get shot at, but you going to turn around or what you going to do? Couple of you and... Hmm. Okay, all right. Just turn around again, okay? Thanks. Cool. Then I will settle the way of the rats. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Cool. Backstab. Okay, nice. That's one down. That's good. Now I couldn't trick my flask and try to survive here. And question is, the remainder, remaining ones, you who... Mm -hmm. Will this hit? Yeah, that'll hit. Okay, so now it's just... I don't want to kill these stupid rats before other guy gets me and kills me. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I Okay. There's so many rats. Okay. One, two, three, four. Oh, my. Okay. And, of course, the arrows are coming now. I am not pleased with this development. Is that the last one? or No, I w did I like that one already? 
Can't even tell. On to ends. All right. Oh, I. Oh, okay. Mm hmm. Okay, cool. And I, I did not mean to aggro that guy. Not mean to aggro that guy. And, oh, that seems to be kind of it. And I. Where are you going? Can you see me? Where? Are you gonna shoot at me now, or? Okay, so all of them seem to have both bows and other stuff, and okay, cool, can I go around back and stab? Yeah, okay, cool. There we are, there we are. Hmm, so now we can take on the rats. Relative impunity, and that should actually open up the final one. That should be the last sconce. Hmm. Come on, rats. You're gonna kill me and let me... Just approach me and let me get you too. Okay. Enjoy death. That other flask might be... Nice. One, uh... Two, three, four... Uh, come on. I, okay, I... Alright, I... Ooh, how, how much... In, what? Why are these rats so strong? Rats got teeth. Okay, and... Oh, goodness. I, okay, alright. I need to... This will heal me a half, so I can... Hmm. I... Ooh, alright. Thanks. Okay. Cool, and just continue using blood voids on the rats, and cool. Okay, well, clearly, you can only do so much. Well, rat flask. I... Let me go kill that scarab now, so I'll just do that. Get four flasks back, and okay, that took more than I might have liked. And just let me... Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, well, I can slam. One, two, three, four, five, four, okay, and slash, and... Oh, goodness, okay. Come on. Slash. Okay, cool. Let's get them on back. And how much? Three. It's good. Big thing is, before any of that, I should try to light that sconce. In case things get hairy and messy. Or just generally stupid. Okay, so we got up here. Didn't actually get around this way, so... Got it. Oh, and there are more rats. Great. Hi, rats. Die. And other guys not noticed me yet, which is good news, but... Oh, other guy. And can I... Oh, slash. Okay, I... okay, whatever. Hmm, huh. Using this in conjunction with rat death and okay, mm -hmm. all right. Thing is, the nice and ooh, far away and mm -hmm. need to kill you. One, two, oh, okay, and the bleed proc is good. Two, three, four. I something with a bit of a water arc would be nice, but being able to back up for good damage on the ancestral fault, which is also quite good. And beast bones, and so let's next stab this guy, and this should be the final one we have to light. Okay, cool. Nice. Just the way over to the top now. Die, cool. Thanks. Alright. Pass back, and should be the last one. That power gathers somewhere in Horned Remains. Yep, that boss is now unlocked, and we won't get all that much from beating it anyway, but it's a cool thing to do here and now. I honestly would like to be able to beat the big ol' guy. Beat the Dragon King soldier who are really moving on away from Wimgrave in total. And oh my, okay. What in the- god damn- what?! Huh? Okay, I... I just need to use a horse for this. Honestly. I just need to rush through and... Huh. It's... Generally, they're not that strong and not that threatening. But when they're sniping at you, they become much more troublesome. That's the funny thing. And they... They're too busy doing their little hockets to notice me. And... Mm -hmm. Come on, I need to... Should be a side of grace on the other side. And... Alright. Cool, cool. And just... Oh, wait, what? Okay, cool. 
Oh, that's still within me. That's the real question. And I know that there should be a side of grace somewhere over here, I think. I, really? Okay, alright. I Okay. They're just utter crack shots, is the thing. And, okay. Let's just rest here. Touch that grace. Okay, cool. And, yeah. This is below the well. And now we can actually add a charge. Nice. Then we can level. And I think uh, more mind would be good if we're just... In terms of Reduvia Blood Blades. Which is very important for me right now. So I'm just going to kill the two bow guys and be done with it. Now I can just approach from behind and stab them. It should not be a huge problem at all. If a problem in any sense. There's an item there that I want to get though, so... Before I forget, I need to get it. Cool. Nice. And of course it was easier from one side than the other. And this is... Thin Beast Bones, because again, they are... Yeah, they're beast men, so... Their bones are beast bones. Okay, cool. Thanks. Die, archer guy. One, two, die. Alright. Mm -hmm. So in that case, let's see what this item is. And it shouldn't be all that much, but... Just a golden rune for... Golden rune for what? Then if we go up that elevator, we can get to a part of Kaled, but we're not really going to be doing things in Kaled right now anyway, so... Take that Formic Rock. And I guess maybe we could kill these rats. Sure. Okay. Alright. Alright. All rat. Bye. Good old... Just a couple of them deals enough bleed to slice them down. And this is... Sliver of meat. Okay. Fair enough. Then we almost fall off the edge, but save ourselves more or less at the last moment. So what else and where? What else and where? Hmm. I think there might be stuff around this part of the platform. The big thing is that to use the elevator to get our way out, we need... Yep. I hope you liked it. Or didn't. And I need to find... Gotta use the stone sword key to actually get out of here. Which, it's good that we have plenty that I buy the keys whenever I see them. Because we do have a bit of a surplus. It's always better to have too many than too few. Or, not too many, just more than I actively need at the moment. But it's better than losing... Oh, a clarifying horn charm in that. Let's see... Accoutrement war accoutrement where by ancestral worn by ancestral followers loses focus, resistance to sleep and madness, but like antlers over and over again until one day becomes an ancestral spirit. Hmm. Okay, so in order to actually get out, this won't move until we activate this with a stone sword key. Alright, there we go. We needed two. Okay. Now we can escape to Kaled, but it's not really an escape in as much as, well, putting us in another area because it's locked off from pretty much everything else and there's also a giant bear. Okay. Go back, kill that ancestor spirit, go on to Weeping Peninsula. Should be a set of grace up here at least. Taking a long time to go though. Mm -mm. Well, whatever. Welcome back to Kaled, Deep Sea for a Well. This is... Yep, funny Kaled music. Take this then, and yeah, there's a giant white bear on one side who is way too strong for me right now. Deep Sea for a Well. Okay. Mm hmm. Around. Anything behind here? Not that I can see. But then that bear is just way too strong for me right now. We're in Dragon Barrow, actually, so. Hmm. Deep Super Well, Super River Well, but. Big thing is, over here will be our way to fight the Ancestor Spirit. And I think the best way to do it, it's weak to fire and to holy, is going to be. 
putting Sacred Blade back on my Great Hammer and using that in my Heavy Large Club. Using this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is going to be a truly ridiculous... Well, actually, I'll probably end up using Giant Crusher eventually, ideally. And require a lot more strength, but we'll see. We got five Tears Flasks, two Cerulean Flasks. We've got a good amount more upgrades already, and now you see that this is now glowing when it was not before. Let's go over here and touch the Horned Remains. Here we are. Sends us in here, and now we're in something underwater in terms of map placement. So, since it's not part of the Erd Tree, this thing is going to be very weak to Holy. Or, if it really opposes it, it's going to be weak to Holy. And also to... Well, also to Fire, but that's more because it's a beast than anything else. And this is what some people think the... And... Dodge it. See? That attack should look a little familiar to you, maybe. Ooh, alright. And... Come on. Uh... Magic damage miss. Hmm. Okay. Come on. I dodge. Ooh, okay. Ooh, alright. I hmm. Maybe I do want to just use fire magic on this one. Okay. Oh, well, the damage idea was so good, but I have my issues with it and can I okay. Can I mmm can I slam and there we go, we got one hit, but I okay, can I Nice. All that goes away, and just hit. Cool. It is. It's a fun one. And all right, I'll dodge. Okay, and mm, I need healing badly. And at least the, the damage that I deal is good, but you know, again, I have my issues. And oh, come on. All right, come on. Just hmm. I need a bit more durability for this. The big thing is I don't need any more tears less and dodge and okay cool slam and dodge and slam again and mm -mm. well not every deer is Xerneas maybe and okay uh, dodge and, okay dodge ooh I, okay alright mm -mm. what if I use this flask of physic okay cool and just oh alright and can I Slam and okay, do oh well, all right. Hmm. Okay, it's pretty good though. Don't think we have a stake of America. No, we do have a stake of America here. Okay. Okay. Big thing is what I should do is use my flask a bit already, because it'll give me a good deal more strength, which would help my damage. It. And normally this fight is not supposed to be hard, but I guess. Where is my blood stain? Oh, it's right there. My rune stain. My runescape. And just mmm. One. And, okay, alright. And thanks. Will this hit? That will not hit. Okay, and dodge and dodge. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, I Dodge and slump. Oh well, alright. Okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, but what I should be doing is... I, I should be using a different talisman. Yeah, because I don't need... Scar Seal right now. What I should focus on is... This. Oh, those are especially good right now. Or it could be funny and use Sacred Scorpion Charm. That could work. Did I get this thing again? Sacred Scorpion Charm is from... Sacred Scorpion Charm. Where did I get that again? Uh, Holy Damage by 12 and... Right, Anastasia Tarnished Eater early on. Or I could just go really full damage and use this. I might do that. Big into the Holy Boost to just... Try to burst this thing down as fast as possible, but it's such a big arena that my rune stain is. And I 
I'm pretty sure that I can't use my horse here. And one, two, and dodge. Okay, cool. Oh, your timing was a bit better with that. And just dodge, dodge, and connect. Slam, slam, and all right. Oh, okay, I, okay. Hmm, funky. Cool. And just connect. Hmm, okay. What if we... Ah, you're tough. Dodge, dodge, okay, cool. Slam, jump, uh, or miss, and dodge, and okay, can I slam again? You are weirdly evasive, that's a thing. And, uh, okay. <laughs> One, two, and dodge, okay. One, dodge, slam, and miss. Weird, and cannot. Okay, nice slam down. Or miss again? Huh? I. Uh, dodge, dodge, and. Can we slam down one more time? And try to. What the. What? Okay? Huh. Okay, I. Uh, weird. Shouldn't really quite. Weird. The big thing is if we chase it, we can probably. Here we are. Well, uh, we're close, but I really just. Uh, okay, can we swing and dodge? And can we slam again and... Well, alright. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, and slam. There we are, cool. Let's just go for a big critical attack. One, two, and just one more. Should do it. Slam and die. There we go. Cool, let's pop this. Nice. Thanks. There we go. Ancestral Follower Ashes, Great Enemy Foam. But yeah, we can get a couple more levels from that. Cool. And of course, we can't use. Well, can't use our horse in here. Presumably, there should be a way to teleport back, I think. One of those teleports, or. Yeah, it's right there. The arena itself seems to be pretty empty. It is pretty cool, like a slightly small version of Dark Eater Medeer's arena. Okay, so. I guess I really do just go to Weaving Peninsula now. Cool. <laughs> Go back. I guess I will. You don't have to tell me twice. Now this is... Oh, you can use this to teleport to the arena, but... Why you would do that, who knows. Then Ancestral Follower Ashes. Horned folk who issue letters and metalworking. Brawny and versed in distinctive spiritual arts. This particular tribesman wields a heavy bow. Alright. Cool. So, now that we've been through Sifra, the only thing left to do would be to kill that Dragon King soldier, but I can come back and do that. It'd be... A Gyolic South is going to be my way down to... Weeping Peninsula. There's some things to do there. we get a bunch of Sacred Tears and Seeds. And thereby get... Significantly stronger. Okay. Let's level up. Endurance is good, yeah. And then maybe we'll spec into faith. Sure. For now. We'll just level up the other one immediately after, but. Oh, but that would increase magic damage. Not that that's important for anything. At the moment that we're worried about having to fight, but still. I guess, what should I use for now? I, there's part of me that feels like just sticking with the heavy club. Then, hmm, go for, stab upward cut is still very good. Eventually we'll be able to get better Ashes of War for that kind of thing, but this was right, the Bell Bearing Hunter, I already went here, so. Hmm. Let's go back to the hold real quick. I might like to actually see what Smith. Actually, barrel bell bearings will be relevant, but for now, not really. Let's go back over here now. Hello. Well, Chicken for dead. All the same. Lighter arms. Strength and armament and smithing stone too. Yeah, that. Hmm. And I, I don't have a Sombersmithing Stone 3. 
yet. I... Hmm. Or what I could do is... A nice heavy piercing weapon would also be good. I kind of feel like... Leveling up... Heavy thrusting sword or something. Also, there's... So the question is, do I do the thrusting sword or I do... This lance. So that's cool too. This could also be interesting. Maybe. It's interesting to think about, but heavy weapons are so good in this game. Could use that, but the 23 versus the Great Epe. 24, but. Hmm, impaling Thrust. I. Hmm. I should have enough to wield this anyway. Grid Epe is cool. I kind of feel like leveling that thing up. Eventually we'll just be able to buy stuff, but... Thanks. Thanks. Yeah. Level that up. Level the club up. Probably level the club a bit more right now. This is still good. Yeah. Okay. Take that there. Heavy Warge Club plus five. And there we are. Cool. It's good for now. Should be a good weapon to use, especially in groups. Should be able to just crush most things now. Alright. The question is, with what I have, can I still put me at heavy load? My endurance is not, not increased enough yet for that. Oh, but right, piercing is still a little bit better for armored enemies most of the time. Well, this is just crazy anyway. What? How did I miss? Oh, whatever. Oh my goodness! Just one jumping attack for it. Okay. Tree and Beast Surcoat. I'm moving. Go down through here, and I think there might be a Grace. No, not here, but definitely on the other side, I think. Mm -mm. We got this club around here, too. Just a little bit to the west. Yeah. So we got these guys on the bridge, and I think range option might be nice, but for now I'm chilling. As in to use there's a ballista over there that I might want to try to go for. We'll see. Oh, there, and slam. Oh, an instant repost. Okay, nice, and oh. I'm just unable to one-tap, which is annoying. Oh, whatever. Jumping attack is still strong, but... Mm, get through here. Okay, and... Mm, just the damage they deal to me is negligible. Oh, alright. Fun. Okay. Hmm. So where and where? I uh, If I keep on running, maybe? I. Okay, but it's... Basically a straight shot in that alone, so... Let's just go up, kill this guy. You are no longer manning your ballista. Fun. Oh, goodness. Alright. Can't get up here. Let's just break this thing for fun. Oh, well, you can get up here. Alright. And... Okay. Oh, okay. Can I... Slam! What if you come down here? One. Two. That works decently, too. Alright. And can I just actually break this thing? I definitely. Yeah, okay, cool. No more ballista. Sad. Should disappear eventually. And what if I... How did you not see anything during that fight? Whatever. Goodbye. Goodbye. Smoldering butterfly and... Nothing down there. So what are these items? Smithing stone, Okay. Try romp. Comfort. Comforting romp. And then... Hmm. And keep on going. Nothing really run this way, and I don't think we can get on top there anyway, so... Stone sword key, fun enough. Anyone else here, or... Okay, just a side of grace. Hmm. Okay. Just interact with this grace over here. Should be good. Here we are, the Weeping Peninsula, where it always rains. Forever. Somehow they never run out of water. 
Hmm. I wonder where that water comes from then. It's gotta come from somewhere. I think the map was down over there. Well, that's Bridge of Sacrifice, and now that's the Bridge of Sacrifice. That grace is not the Bridge of Sacrifice. And, oh, Dying Knights. Hello, Arena. Hello. Blind. And your ear, Castle Morn of the South. Have rebelled. Good. Since birth, a little howling. This could be out the castle, said to do his commander, the Edgar. Each of every one of us, convinced that spirit of soul, no different the castle, implore you. Take a ladder escape, honor should be the price, one will be safe, sure. Just take this. Read his letter. Alright. Man's in the castle. He wouldn't mind stubborn come around. Okay. Hmm. Let's check. Under address the commander of Castle Mold, address to her father, soaking hand handkerchief, oil we see with blood, words can be made out with them. Okay. Hmm. Let's just go over and grab our map real quickly. Oh, another troll. Okay, alright. Assumably, oh, well, also those guys and, oh, dogs too. Fun, and, oh, you're still hostile to me. Fun. Okay, so the question is, what if I go over here? Can I stamp and do this again? And knock you down. Fun. Stance is 80, I think. Something like that. Alright, and can we kill the dog again? Thanks. And can I slam and just, alright. Slam and, okay. Mm hmm. Seems like there was some poison regeneration there. Maybe. I don't quite... Can't quite tell. Oh, thank you for killing those for me. I will repay you by shooting you with a glintstone paddle. Okay. Cool, and... Mmm, weak. There we go. Cool. Nice range of options for when I don't feel like meleeing. And... Alright, the poison on that is good. Power armor. Good rolling attack, too. Cool. Okay. Then and then and then... All these corpse-eating dogs. Hmm. Well, you know, waste not, want not, I guess. Fun. And slam. Die. It... I guess the recovery on... The jumping attack for this is long enough that you can reliably actually get... A repost if you just press the button immediately after. It's not usual. There we are. This, yeah, we are having a much easier time with things here. As expected, but still. And is any of these going to be a chest? Presumably not. I... Oh, there's something in here, which is... Oh, a morning star. Globe attached to a handle. Doing strike damage. The appellate of star covered in spots. Cause blood loss. Run it, giving its graceful name. Often reeks of blood. Most effective, simple tool. Alright, and here we are. We got... Is misbegotten. Oh, and they're seemingly less durable than the dogs. Actually, they're about the same. Alright, and slam. Oh, and the winged ones can do that funny jump. Okay, cool. And just air to air. There we go. Cool. Fun. Alright. I... Just the stance mechanics in this game make Golden Rune. Twelve plus five and hmm. Stance mechanics in this game make heavy weapons just very, very good compared to other options, cause you know, the equivalent in terms of knocking enemies in say Bloodborne or Dark Souls 3 would be doing a certain amount of damage to a specific body part. Which means just any source of DPS would be good, and that made stuff like Cell Sword Twin Blades really, really strong. But since this is based off stance damage, which is just always better with a heavier weapon, aside from, I guess, a few funny edge cases, it just. you want to be using heavy weapons whenever possible. Thanks, cool. And what's here? This is Mighty Shot. Gray Bow, I think. Light Bows and Long Bows. Not Great Bows. Long seal from an oblique stance, ready the bow, pull the bowstring to its limit, enhance power of the shot, 
penetrating enemy guard. Okay. There's nothing really up there, but... Should be golems around here, I think. This is the thing. Should also be a map around here. I think of that as well. I thought I hear somebody or something, so... Is there a scarab over this way, or... There's a spirit spring, but... Oh, well. There is... A grace and presumably a merchant. There we are, and this... Castlemorn approach, or... Castlemorn Rampart. Okay. And the map is right over there. Just go get that, presumably. Hello, merchant. Buying or selling, and... Things are cheap. Crimson, amber, medallion, maximum HP, iron helmet, sense edges, poison, other irritants. A shield, reinforced metal, comforting light, axe, true metal shields, build negative damage. Ancient thorn is on, boost fire damage, negation of a metal shield. And cord, ease of movement. They round gauntlets, metal scales, rock wizard skin, protection against fire. Old sap becomes amber, most precious of jewels, and these are godfrey. For sale in the wood, primordial life energy resides inside. Demi human mobs, and that. Oh, a cracked pot, fun, and. Oh, and another stone sword key. For class as well, interesting. I should remember that then. Let's do that. Cool. Get that other key. First, I want to see if I can level up some of my stuff anymore. So if I level up this weapon a bit more, it might actually make... Make it a one-shot in some of those enemies, which would be nice. Make a pretty big difference. Okay. That should have enough. Smithing stones now, and we do... No, not enough, not enough. Have enough to take the great epe though. But mm, need a little more first. Big thing is, I'm wondering what slashing damage is compared to piercing damage would be good on. That did I go down here? I did go down here, yeah. Okay. That's where I got Favor's cookbook, if I recall correctly. Actually, let me just check real quick. Just go over there real quickly just to see, but we did get our map, right? Did I? No, I actually forgot to get the map. That's map is right over there. Okay. Yeah, just hop down that wedge. Pretty sure I got everything of note there, but still. Frankly, what I should do is use some runes. Got a lot of pretty big runes and should use them soon as possible because now is probably the time when I'll, you know, small enough that what levels I get from them now would be more crucial than later. Especially just this early on in general. So I, oh, there was something here. Did I not go here yet? Golden Rune 1. Maybe they respawn, but I don't think they would. Golden Rune. And then... Golden Rune, and, and, Golden Rune 5, okay, hmm, I, uh, interesting, Golden Rune 2, Golden Rune 1, okay, so what and where, here, presumably it's a, another kind of scarab, whatever, hmm, <laughs> Just teleport back then. Avoid this. Hmm. It's good I checked that, but still. Big thing is, in terms of slashing damage, the best option for me right now is going to be Bloodhound's Fang, but till then I. Well, that over there. What do I see? Nothing really. I do hear a scarab, but. Presumably it would be Crimson, Flask Scarab, Health Scarab. This is really just... Platforming's cool, but the horse controls are... Well, they're controlling a horse. More accurately, trying to control a horse. And you can't even go up there. That does not really work. 
And just... Okay, and we don't get that ad. Let me just check one more time before I move on for... We're good. Mm. Big thing is, is that I was in, again, I was in Weaving Peninsula when I streamed the game initially back on the old file. And what was there that time was... Oh, goodness. Okay. So was there a... Yep, it was just a Crimson Scarab. The ones that respawn. And I... Okay. Jump and... Can I... Mm. Cool. One... Two, and oh, all right, thanks, and slap, good. Where is the other guy coming from now? I really don't know. Please, please, please. So now we're free, which means go back, upgrade that great epic. Presumably, that'd be a fun idea. Be able to do that with some of the runes I can pick up. Then we'll. Hmm. Oh, demi human mobs and watch and breathe. Demi human mobs will leader first. Rest will lose hope and panic. Ah, okay. That's cool. Use these. Both of them. Yeah. Alright, cool. Then and then and then. I s forgot to use the shackle. <laughs> Still won that fight pretty handily, but still. Okay. Let's just upgrade the Great Epe. Should be a good piercing weapon right now. Although, to be fair, I think Bloody Healus might eventually be better. Yeah. Okay. Take that. We will meet the requirements shortly. Okay. Hmm. Question is much for the next level and in levels could I get with what I have selected selected there we go thank you let's just take these rooms five sixteen hundred use all of these up again and then let's see level up Intelligence and then a bit more. I need 10,000 to get 768,000 more for. Huh. We'll see. Let's get 1,000 more. I. Just use five of these, maybe. No, what I'll do is I'll use all of these right now. And just cash them in for another level or two. Level up and then take her decks up so I can use the great epic if I feel like it. Yeah. I get some strength too. Then I will. Hmm. And would this be? Use all those. Nice. Cool. Just gotten so many that even though not much, they still equate to a decent amount in the end. Strength. Scaling is good enough right now. And. Hmm. Maybe Arcane? Maybe. Then just use all of those for a decent amount more, and then need about 34, 35, so 18 of these. And then the rest would not be enough for another level, even though I used them all. Okay, cool. Alright. Level up, and take a bit of that arcane. Cool. Nice. Level 44. The big thing is, we're actually decently close to being able to use what happens to Fang. I need 17 decks, but still. Great epi now, and here we go. Heavy thrusting sword. Yeah, okay. Go back to the peninsula. Try this out. Got a key to buy from that merchant, but we'll be okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Oh, alright. Mostly poking attacks, and... Oh, but... Those are... Mostly... Slash it. 
but the two, three, four, two-headed ones are all thrusts. And a nice heavy thrust, that's fun. This is the big question, is what could I infuse this with to make it maybe a bit better? I don't really need to worry about bringing guards, so let's try using an Ash of War to make it stronger. Hopefully for poise damage. Great epi and right now it's a heavy watch pull up and apply that stamp sweep. That hmm, let me just see. 149, 199 there. 99 versus. Heavy is good then. 99 versus. 205. Hmm. Stamp upward cut versus. Endure, ground slam, impaling thrust, repeating thrust, quick stamp, termination, storm stomp. Just see. Stamp, upward cut. Giant Hunt would be even better, but that would be limited for a later end. Okay, that's not bad, actually. Still be pretty usable. Stance damage. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I think maybe I could try repeating thrust. Keen, but Keen is not that good right now. That's actually. Less damage. The heavy is actually more than you would expect. Interesting. I... I think that could be good. I want to use that on Knight's Cavalry and just armor guys in general. See how this ends up working. And... We're in a position now. Let's just go and get our map I'm over there and and explore a bit more before going to the castle. Yeah. Bludgeoning is going to be good for taking those golems out, but it's not the only thing we have to do right now. Other things as well, and... Huh. Thanks. Map weakened peninsula. Map found. Cool. Alright. Check that out, and weakened peninsula. It's not capitalized there. Umbert South, named for its unceasing rainfall, redolent of, of lament. Lament? Not gonna say it. Not gonna think it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, then. You have to rest over there, probably. Cool, cool. Hmm. We have the rampart and new map found. We have peninsula, so we can just start from over where we were before. And this should be a... Yeah... Congratulations! Zhao mentioned. Ravina of Morn. Before I go down to this part with the castle, I want to stick to the left part of it first, because that's where, among other things, the America Church is where I can get some sacred tears should be. I'm just going to teleport back here first, then. Hmm. The big question is, how much better, if it is even better, is this big thrusting sword going to be compared to what I had before in terms of taking out armored enemies. Oh, we'll see. And, oh! That guy is funky. Oh, then. Hello. And backstab, and, oh, is that that wasn't even a backstab. Okay. And, ooh, that took that out, and yeah, that is actually kind of oh, almost, almost, and, ooh, okay, can I... The standard swing worked well, too. Hmm. I want to see then. Who else? Who else? Go up and a backstab is still just a vile on you. There we are, especially since this thing's got a higher critical modifier due to being a thrusting sword. Okay, and just... Thank you. Cool. And... Nice! Okay, cool. We're picking a Wards Runes Bolt, and oh, alright, thanks. Cool. I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. Already had one of those. Okay. Let's just continue on our way. Question is there's gonna be another Onyx Lord here. Onyx Lord. 
Onyx Lord, and it's... It's weaker to anything physical, so... Hmm, let me see. Hailing Thrust, Repeating Thrust, Stance Damage, Repeating Thrust, Thrust, Repeating Thrust, and how much... How much stance damage does that deal? Huh. Let me see. Repeating thrust stance damage. Nothing on there. Complete list. Repeating thrust. Repeating thrust. Repeating thrust full combo is. Oh, full combo. It's a damage oriented rather than stance oriented, so actually keep impaling thrust on there probably. Or, what I could do, actually, is... Well, the range is good, as compared to something like Stab Upward Cut, so... The damage might be a bit less, I... Yeah... And that's just its own basic skill. Okay, cool. No Ash of War needed. In that case, we can stick with the basic skill it has normally, and... We know we can't go around there. If we want to get up here, we'll have to do it from this way. Okay. And I do want to get up there. Let's go right first. Yeah. This, no, we'll use this wall as our sort of marking point at the moment. Could just jump straight up, but I want to go around the side first to see what there is to grab. Hmm. Okay. Keep on moving. And nothing to fight at the moment. Keep on looking. Keep on looking. A mushroom. Oh, but actually, that is right. What I should probably do is take, since I'm going to be fighting an, Alabat an Onyx Lord, take Magic Fortification. I generally, honestly, should be making better use of buff spells. Switch this out. We will also get more memory slots very, very shortly, too. It's just, in the end, it'll probably be some, like, elemental damage of each type, buffs of each type, depending on the situation, or just general exploration. And it wouldn't be as good as just a purpose-built spell loadout, but it would still be perfectly usable in most situations, so... Over here is going to be that guy. Oh, Starcaller is interesting. I, how soon is that going to show up? Just go around here and take out his cronies, will he? Pure Furster. I think we can take out a lot of the ads before the fight actually starts, which is good. And, oh, alright. Fun, fun. Yeah. That was a Starcaller. Oh, and there's a set of grace right there. Okay. Oh, and can we... If there are any items here, probably took them all already. So I, well, guess we could at least activate the superfluous grace right over here. Okay. I, what kind of Dark Souls 3 type of thing is this? Beside the crater popped glade. Okay. Cool. Hmm. I will need to make more foul feet soon, though. That's the thing. Okay, star collars. One, two. And we can just take these guys down before any of that. And mm, it doesn't have as much range as I might expect. But oh, okay, that fan was interesting. And okay. Oh, and that was going to explode. These. It's a shame that these gravity sides can't actually be used by the player. Uh, oh, they were using crag weight on that thing. And. That increased their poise, too. Wow. Oh, well, alright. Right. Let's kill the remaining star collars just so we don't get anyone to worry about doing this fight. I guess. Hi! And, ooh, good damage. Fun. Get over here. Get over here. We'll just use this on you. And, alright, and there you are. There you are, old buddy. 
Let's just use our magic fortification now. Cool, and just like that. Cool. Great. Okay, nice. Then we'll switch and thrust. Okay, and dodge. Okay, cool. Move in. Healing thrust. Oh my goodness, this is actually really... Oh, and stance broken, and can we... Nice, nice. And anything from you, or... Yeah, infinite, immediate, and... Basically nothing anyway. Did we even get... Anything from killing you? I guess not. What if we just kill... The last guy over here? And that... Huh? Okay. Oh, maybe he can drop Gravitas too if the other one doesn't. If you don't kill the other one. I think that might be the case. Let's check. Gravitas, Elden Ring. Gravitas and Western Alabaster Ward. But no, that, huh. Does not seem like it. And, but he doesn't respawn. It. Weird. Okay, alright. Fun kill. Simple though. Okay. Nice. And oh, we kept that. Oh, that went away. Alright, well, we can just. We really zoom with that too. It's not Yai. Yai Shadow Rush Sekiro level, but it's good. Yeah, and just the lunge that takes them out is really, really strong. Really, really far moving to. Oh, we got a Grabby Stone Fan, or we got one from the Crystal Tunnel, though, and I. 99 out of 999. Which, so basically, we have more than enough of most things. Makes sense. The Roa, especially, we're about a third of the carrying capacity for Roa. Which is probably good for, again, crafting. Foul feet later in. Okay, that leads down to catacombs later. But this is thing over there. This is just a way to get from one side to the other, it seems. Okay, oh, hello, bat. And can I just use that on you? Okay, yeah. This has to have something good in range. Oh, but that's right. I need to get death root from... To give the second death root to Garonk later. Big thing is we'll get a spell which allows us to do physical damage as a projectile, which is not horrible, not amazing. It, again, basically exists to be a projectile for pure strength builds by way of being boosted by the claw mark skill, which also scales on, scales on strength. And I think those return to the roots, so it's just... Guys, the Elden Ring Treasure Compass or Catacomb is down there, and that should be, I think, Impaler's Catacombs. Yeah, probably. Means more hammer and... Ooh, alright. This is narrowly not bad. And another stone sword key. Hmm. Funky. But these ruins, this big fallen ruin over here. Question is what this is gonna... Nothing. Okay. Whatever. Keep working. I guess we'll go down into those catacombs now. We're basically on the first part of this. Hmm. Also, we... What is my... It will be a little bit until I can actually use something like Whitney of Proper Death for one. Actually using the Scar Seal would give me the faith and intelligence I need for some of the spells I have, but... Until I run, in, run into something that is specifically weak to magic-related damage types, I probably won't bother. And there is going to be a Death Bird I'll run into here. In this general area. Well, Weeping Peninsula, I'm not sure where exactly. The big thing is, is that since it's undead, I can use anti-undead incantations against it very well. And there's one that just does a lot of damage in AoE that I could use against it. Comes out fast, big AoE with the downside of literally only being good against undead, but it's exactly what I want to use it for, so. Thanks, thanks, cool. Great Dragonfly head, and question is, would Standard or Pierce do better against the Jellyfish? One, two, either way, it should be good. Bit more Glove War, and it's cool, good reach. Good tracking too, but can I, hmm, Piercing does seem to actually be maybe a bit better. 
Maybe. One, two. Alright. Mm -hmm. Who are the catacombs? Of Lord and then Fire. It's a funny. That's funny. It's referencing Mesmer the Impaler from the DLC, which some people think might be related to these catacombs. It's uncertain. At, at best. So cool. Oh, I could be using the skill. That's right. Anything else over here or Well, a Trina's Lily. Hmm. Okay. Cool. So I guess this little graveyard was just an antechamber for the catacombs. You were nothing really beyond that. And got our way in, so zoomably. Yep, he's, the statue is no longer pointing the way. It's not just activating the grace, it's getting inside in any way, shape, or form. The big thing is, is you should put Sacred Blade on the Heavy Club. That's what we use. Okay, cool. There we are, and... Oh, that wasn't doing anything for me. Wasn't dealing the holy damage, but that might be it against... Oh, I'd still need Merica for that. Okay, cool. And... Got a bit under, so let's... Rest again. Get back to max. Then we'll switch to... Large club again, and... Can I put anything on? Still can't. Okay. Hmm. Well, we can just keep on going through here. I think there are also imps in this area. One. And, well, you can fall to your death for one. Fun. For me. And here you are. Mmm, but the physical damage isn't going to be as high compared, so I can... Oh, well. Alright. And slam. Wow, okay. Yeah, the poison damage on that is still just ridiculous. We will get down there eventually, I think... Let me just see. Eventually the lighting will change if we get far out enough. I was able to see down into there. Yeah, there's a message down there, so clearly. So then. So then. At the end there's a cemetery shade, so hidden path ahead. No. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Let's continue through and... Yeah, this is an imp catacombs more than anything else. Thanks, and alright. Cool, and okay, I, oh, oh, don't like this. Maybe I should have used one, two, heavy infusion just to get more pure strike damage on this guy. Maybe, I'm not sure. One, two, cool. And then we have Grave Glove War. Message, behold, something incredible. Nothing. Okay. So then. Here always jump attack. Oh then, hello. Slam. Slam. And any others, or. I think that might be it. Another grave glove ward. Again, we don't use spirit ashes. I guess. Just to try that. Didn't expect anything, and of course, nothing came out of it, but. Hmm. Just see. Getting to a pulp required ahead. That will force me up up top, but you have to drop down below, actually. Go over here, we can do this instead of getting hit by the spikes. That's the idea, at least. Get a grave vial with no cool head, only had a hope, can't take this. Tree. And. Oh, well, we have to. I'll lift up, but we have to go under it again afterwards. Oh, well. We can go inside here and lift up. We dropped out in this way, and yeah. Should be a lot of rotten corpses for one. Yeah. Ah, uh, do it. So then we got more ghost skull vort. And after that, rotten corpses, presumably. Yeah, there we go. And they spawn infinitely or just excessively? That's the question. And boom. Boom. Okay. 
So if I just take these guys down, will I? That's the question. Slam. Okay, alright. Kill a decent number, but... Crattling paint, please help. This helps shape a human head. Words on an eternal journey. Cool, well... That does work decently, but... They are weirdly durable for... Total trash mobs. Question is, well... They keep coming forever. It does kind of seem like that. So the Mibu, the Mibu ones eventually stop spawning. After five or so times. I feel like, I don't know, maybe it could be we're checking the data. It's truly an infinite spawn. All right, and big damage. Okay. Slam, and all right, cool. Slam again, and oh, okay. Mushroom. I get the impression that they just keep coming forever. So no reason to stay here then. Let's move on. Grave glove or Thank you. And root resin. Cool. Slam and just get a couple of ones. Thanks. Cool. And slam again. Fully charged heavy is doing putting in work. Okay. And anyone or anything else? That's not even a skeleton. Okay, cool. And oh, great. More corpses. This is just what I like to see. And then we. More grave glove wart. How do I want to do this then? And. Thank you. Cool. Right, and just slam down. Multiple. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. It's just. The fact that they drop so few runes is honestly probably the best evidence that no they keep respawning forever because if they do keep respawning forever they would probably want to give basically nothing to prevent a cheap infinite farm but and okay corpses can't climb which is good some other enemies can but not them okay cool okay cool take your time Somewhere a heavy door has opened. But, oh, okay, I, all right. Didn't like that. Didn't expect that or like that. And I, okay, one, two, cool. Then, grave glove wart. Drop down through here, just to the start. There we are, cool. Class of Crits and Tears, Class of Cerulean Tears. And should be very doable. Okay, nice. Pack ahead and then dung. It's, oh no, this is a bird tree burial watchdog. Okay, never mind. I need to quit out then. Okay, cool. Quit and yeah, save and quit. Put me outside and I can switch out to heavy infusion then, which is going to be a lot better for this fight. Okay. So which one had the cemetery shade then? Is there another catacombs in here that I remember semi-incorrectly. Hmm. Guess I should have known. Well, whatever. I will just try this again. First I gotta go not there. Not there, and it's more or less always <clears throat> right. Directly opposite. Okay. Cool. So time to switch my Ashes of War out. Well, my Ash of War out on this thing. Cool. Side of Grace is... Ashes of War. Turn this into a heavy orange club. That could be fun. <laughs> could be fun. But Upward Cut is still until I've got Lion's Club. Probably my best option. Ground Slam. Ground Slam. Golden Ring. Much stance damage. And it 15 from a direct hit. It's slow though for 46 total. But this is already about 42 from the stamp upward cut, so should be good. And that strength not crystal two would make things even better. And oh, that actually is not doing all that much more. Sacred boy is just that good, I guess. Oh, but. No, it is, because it's a jump attack compared to, I think, compared to other stuff. 
Well, we'll see. Hold the big old foul foot, and we can just go in here again. Take out the imps, take out the rest. Yeah. I'm gonna take damage from, though. Can't even tell. Alright, then. Let's just take these imps out. Hello, then. Hi. Cool. Just sit away. And, alright. Run over, run in. One, two, and. Oh, alright. Okay. Just, oh, my goodness. Okay, okay, alright. Mm hmm. Okay. Just gotta. Oh, we could have used crystal darts for this if we felt like it, but no, no, not like this. Huh. Oh, but I need. Let's use this flask of wondrous physic then, and I should be able to. Okay, cool, and just. Well, or not, or not. Okay, cool. And slam. There we go. So the strength knot is really, really good for this. Can we... Oh, come on. Okay, and just jump, slam, down, and... Mm -hmm. Okay, take that. That's just the three minutes we need. And, okay, uh, all right. Can it... Smack, and... Oh, we already... Okay. Already dealing enough damage to just kill it outright. Almost. Cool, and just... Can we... Stamp uppercut and okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Another one should do this. Cool. And okay. Dodge. And, uh, can I slam and hit and we okay. Cool. Ah, oh, come on. Need this. And this is troublesome. And can we slam it. Okay. Another. Yeah. Okay. Good enough. Demi human ashes and then. Okay, not much. Demi human ashes, five demi human small in stature, about British disposition, seems somewhat intelligent, but night balls, their blood boils and become feral. Okay, and root resin for those who care. Stop doing you dare. Okay. Back to the end ones. Okay. Hmm, that was nice. <laughs> Buy something, will you? Okay. Try again. Try again, and we got stone sword key, and not much else really. Okay. Cool. Now we should go. Which is, where is that death bird? Death bird. Weeping Peninsula. Peninsula where? West of the path between the ramparts only appears at night. Okay. That's... Okay. That'll be a bit then. It's over here more or less. Well, I could just go fight that thing right now. Before I forget. Oh, is that a... That's a Knight's Cavalry. Hello, friend. Not really. I... Uh, yeah. All those. No, that would still be medium low, because it's not that heavy. Okay. So in that case, we take out Mr. Knight's Cavalry over here. Sneak up and... For an impaling thrust or something? Maybe... Okay, cool. Yeah. Cool on the horse. Nice. And rush in and hit the horse. Or try to. Can I... Ooh, I... That was... Left a little bit to be desired. I... Oh, right. To press all that much, but I... Okay, cool. And can I... Stab the horse. Stab you. And thanks. Stab. All right. Mm. It's not all that strong, actually, so... Thanks, and run it and stab the... Nice stab. Oh, what? Okay. What? What? Okay. Interesting. Tough. And can I... Rush in. Stab. Ooh, okay. Mm. Okay. Alright. And stab the... Ooh, alright. Mm. Mounting them is crucial for victory here. Okay, I get that. Okay, and... Should be a bit more damage, but he is. Once I've killed your horse, he'll be much more easy to manage. Okay, cool. 
just over this way. Yep, we're hitting you too a little bit, but most of the horse. Oh, but your horse is a bit less trouble than you are. Okay. I mean, actually, you're a bit less trouble than your horse. Is your thing, but I. Okay, come on. I, oh, please. I, okay, cool. Nice. And kill and dismount and dismount critical and die. Die. Nice. Cool. And just immediately pop the foot. Cool. Nice. Cool. And we fell. Then we. Good stuff. We got Ash of War Barricade Shield and the Knight Rider Flail. Fun. Knight Rider Flail, two additional bludgeoning heads, 24 decks. Funeral Steeds, effective at inducing blood loss to higher dexterity wield. So actually, they're a lot weaker than the horses, so if I wanted to, I could just target them and. Well. Maybe even use a bow. Spinning chain, eh. Uh, no affinity. Fancelester Nightheart, energy the shield, hardening to deflect greater blows. Okay, cool. In that case, I will simply get Whitney a proper death up to that death bird and keep on moving. Can't level up right now. Let's memorize. Whitney a proper death. I need to strengthen some things still, but we'll, we'll live. And now we need the Americas. Yeah, now we can use that thing. Fun. Proper death, and there we go. There we are. Actually, surprisingly high cost, but the death bird should be basically obliterated by this. Late night, almost daytime, so the question is time to take that thing out before day breaks. Should be right over here, so. So the map says. Yeah, around this way. The cliffs west. Oh, golden seed. So then I try this out and I can. Manifestation of the death bird. Just to fight in areas like this. There we are, and. Where are you coming from? Okay, cool. Hi there, death bird. Hello. Not like that, not like that. And just... Okay, cool. Hi, okay, and just... Can we... Okay, nice, and... Ooh, interesting. Alright. Okay. I actually... Probably be better off using... A quad. Damage is not justified itself. Hmm. All right. Put this back on. There we go. Gives all weight. We've got to sleep again, but fine. Until nightfall. A little bit more in the way of foul feet. We are kind of running low. It'll be okay, but still. This is night is falling, so presumably the deathbird should show up. It's not as finicky as the bell bearing hunter is, who only shows up at specific times of night that you can't really target in the same way. The thing is, the death bird should come around here. Assumedly, and there you are, fun. Alright then, cool. And just like that, nice, and oh wow, we, okay, cool. Oh, okay, and just, oh right, we need a bit more to take that off. I actually forgot about that. So I, do ooh, alright, thanks. Oh, but at least you're killing the bats for me, so I dodge, okay, can I slam? And dog. Oh, thanks. For Thank you, though. Huh? You're tougher than expected. Dodge. Dodge. And can I slam? And one more. One more. And <laughs> what if I just use this? And there we are. Cool. Let's use this foot. And another death bird gone. Cool. Enemy fell. 
cool. That's sacrificial act, and I think that's it. Well, now they're shooting at me. Ancient sacrificial rite depicted as a malevolent deity. Power of the rite yet lingers. Small amount of FP restored upon slaying a foe. Decent dexterity scaling for an axe is the thing. It's interesting. Did I buy the thing from him? Did I buy what I needed to buy? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Level up real quick. Yeah. Let's get a bit more... Vigor, sure. Actually, yeah, vigor. Cool. Alright then. I uh, will just... And I bought your key, right? Just let me see. I did. It means actually what I want to do now is go to... Deathbird and the Knight's Calvary were actually pretty close to each other. The Sanctum in order to... Trade in that one death root and get... My reward before I forget about it. Hello there. Here we go. Not sated. Alright then. Special sling. Okay then. That guy out there is trouble. I'm actually just try this. It's a decent but low racks. Basically exists to be a projectile. Sharp rock shards. It's so a way after performing another action. Time before the Urtree, since with her weapons the beast would gain intelligence. Okay. Mm -mm. And that's pretty good. See that bestial sigil. And that. Mm. It's kind of a shotgun sort of thing, but. Which can be cool for, I guess, roll catching or getting evasive enemies, but. In general, I would probably prefer to have. He's roaring. Some kind of. Other magical projectile there. Could use that, not really yet, but still my best option. Okay. Sort of bought his stuff, I think. I think he's got to go up and go to that tower and we could get another memory stone, which would be nice. One more time because I know I'm slipping at this point in my life. Yeah, we did get the key, we got everything worth having. Okay. Thanks. Um, nothing. Let's just go up here beside the crater pocked glade. Get a memory stone from the puzzle here, which would be good to have. Beeping Peninsula. The Epe could be nice too, but the piercing in general is just very, very strong. I'm not sure how I feel about the fact that even the dedicated anti undead spell is not doing as well as. Just putting an anti-undead enchantment on a big ol' stick. It is what it is. I... Reduvia or Great Epe? So we could switch to the Reduvia, but... Hmm. Yeah, Reduvia can come back. Then we'll... Put this on for a little bit more of that. And cool. Nice. Nice. Cool. One, two... Three, four, five, yeah, okay, I'll put flash. Hmm, pain and suffering on planet Earth. Okay, cool. Interesting. Okay. What then? What then? Right, up there was just the statue that led to the catacombs and some item of some sort, but commander is, well, just spam, what? Spam press. There we go. Is that golden? No, not golden poop. It's funny to pick it up when you see it. There aren't bears around here to give us poop to pick up. Exactly. I think like bear poop. And alright. One, two, three. Oh, multiple got hit. No, multiple did not get hit. It's just seeing things. 
And these bones. That and this. Some starlight over there. There's a puzzle which will spawn in the turtles. Hello there. Three wise beasts. Get our way into Lake Visions of Invisible Sort. Oridus's Rise. Hello. Sad. Yeah. Okay. Didn't expect attacking. A couple more just around, and then the invisible turtle in the lake, indicated by. presumably by its splashes. Yep, exactly. Sad. Yeah, yeah. Get another memory stone once we're through here. Last one is. Cliffside, maybe? Not quite certain. I did go here before, so I do remember, but it's been some time. So then. So then. Final turtle. Open my way into this tower and get a memory stone. Wonder where. Starlight shards again, and just look. Come on, come on. And another blood void on you. Thanks. Anyone, anybody else, or mm -mm. farther out. Oh, just right here. Cool. And seal on the rise are open, which means we can get a reward of a memory stone. Ridice's rise. Okay. Just climb up. Where that wall depicted is. There are all these rises. These towers. Mentioning figures who are mostly just completely unmentioned outside of this. No clues to who they are or what they did, but get their treasures. Then we'll get another memory stone. Cool. And now we have another memory slot. It's good and all. Memory slot, four memory slots, and they max out at 10 at base, I believe. And there's a talisman that gives you two more, but once you've got 10 slots, not as if you really need any more. Probably use those to drop down a bit more quickly, but we'll be fine. The question is just what I'm going to equip in the final slot. Hmm. Got a buff. Maybe adjust another buff, though, though to be fair. Fire is not all that common right now. Magic is more relevant in terms of what an actual enemy is kind of probably going to use at any given time. Hmm. Well, alright. Either way, we, sh we are relatively close to being able to use the... Where's the Evergel in here? This is the Evergel where we'll get the Radagon seal, so that'll be useful. Hmm. Radagon scar seal. Go up and go around and go over here, I guess. Oh, that's. No, that's not where the Ur Tree is, though, so I wonder what this actually is. Hmm. Okay. This and then. Who and where? Well, you know, another crappy little golden rune. All these jumps and. Does not appear like. I get in there at least through this way. So. Try jumping and then up. Somehow I doubt that. Maybe that spirit spring. Maybe. Hmm. Looks like it could be worth a try. Possibly. Got most of this stuff, but... <laughs> Alright. Let's jump down again. See if we can get on top of that tower from there. I... Wonder. Okay. Jump up, and can we... Yeah, that's how you do it. Okay, cool. This is the Great Turtle Shell. Great Turtle Shell. A warming stone. A fragment blessed with a two fingers incarnation, championing warmth, warms the gentle sun, which will heal all who bathe in its rays. 
Turtle Shell, Symbol of Tirelessness, Boost and Recovery Speed like a Talisman. Crew helps contend with foes' attacks, Barricade Shield, Nightheart. It's basic there. I'm uh, interesting. It's a medium shield, though. It's the interesting part. Alright, then. Let's jump down and see. Actually, if I went up on top of that over there, would I find anything special? I would not. Okay. Presumably. Actually, if I... No, no. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay. Want to go home. Who doesn't these days? Okay, so I'll just... Oh, wow. Yeah. That was a bad idea. Wanted to do that, I needed to teleport. But, yeah, the question is, how do I want to... Strengthen my... Hmm. What do I want to memorize in this place? Got a source of magic damage. I can't even use this yet. None of them would be all that good anyway, probably. Assassins could be okay, maybe. Well, hmm. probably cure poison right now, actually. Heal could be okay, but... Hmm. I will. Yeah, maybe. I could just craft anti-poison measures, do it that way instead, so, don't really need that. Hmm. Spirit Spring ends. Coming over this way and whipping around to here. I do wonder what that is, because this is where the Demi-Human Queen is, and... Human Queen... Human Queen is non-respawning, and what are they weak to? Let's just see. Weak to fire and a slash, so it's going in with fire on them would probably work. Wanders relatively. Catch flame should still be useful then. And just yeah, get over this way and jump up. Thanks. Get those back and. Teleport out. Yeah. If it works, it works. I guess. Hmm. <laughs> been through here. What we need to do is go over this way eventually, but first I want to see what's around this way, then. Kill the next cavalry we killed. Well, after we kill the next big boss, I need to from some foul feet in order to make more of the funny gold foul feet for runes. It's just more or less doubling my rune acquisition with golden scarab and the foul feet in conjunction with each other. Should be... It should make a very big difference. Well, doubling acquisition for... Almost doubling acquisition for bosses, increasing it by 20% for... Normal situations, either way, it should be very, very useful for everything eventually. Not this part over here. Hmm. Well then. I wonder if there's going to be a way to get up top. I know that Tower of Return is over this way, and that's the one that sends me to Landale early, but only a segment of it with a golem. Roa? Let's just take the torch out and just, yeah. Hmm. And here is not much. I killed. I got another memory stone. I killed some mini bosses, and that was about it. Nothing all that special. Castle more. Yeah, yeah. Gotta go craft some more foul feet soon, but that's life. Which means I should probably actually hunt down. Couple of these birds want the chance. Oh well, alright, I did not mean to do that. One, two. Oh well. I kept targeting that one? That was weird. So those things are the best way to get the four toed foul feet, which I need for the extra money foul foot recipe. I think these guys sometimes drop it too, but. One, two, three, and can I get anything from you or. White pinion ants. 
Yeah, I'm not sure that the eagles can even drop the four toed feet at all. Do you sunflower? Well, if I use more holy stuff, that might be relevant. More holy stuff outside of that. What have we got? And oh, I, interesting. And this is yellow ember. Oh. Lens affected by frenzy from the eye socket of a corpse. Oh, wow. Crafting items. Suffering from the flame. Grape has ripened in verse. They're referring to eyes as grapes of frenzy. And I think. Oh, is this the. Frenzy Flame Village up here then, or am I mistaken? Either way, let's just get this guy down and... Oh, can I... Mm -hmm. Take. Cut you off. Thanks, thanks. And what do we get? Oh, Lightning Strike. Oh, funky. That's nice. And, ooh, my goodness. All right. You There's so many of these guys right here. And I okay. Oh, oh, right. And I just... I have Start up on that is untenable for a fight against bats. But, uh, is that a skill or a spell or a... I can't tell. Mm, uh, oh, right, well, oh, okay. Mm, this is really, really tough. Okay, I, mm, what, what, and I, I need to force myself, maybe? I'm not even sure. Okay, I, all right. Just, what can I do to kill you? I, okay. More damage, but very little staggering. Oh, come on. What? Really? Really? Okay. If we hide, maybe, but the big thing is, is, uh, die. And any more that I can kill right now, or one, two, oh my goodness. I, okay. Die. And now I need more of that. And, oh, come on. Okay. What? I, what? Huh? It flew over me and the camera angle changed and I punched my death. It's so stupid. Hate these damned bats. Okay. Let's just see what we got then. Lightning strike. It is an incantation. Spreads from impact. Dragon cult. Then spreads around the surrounding area. Casts repeatedly. Skills of gravel stone. The lightning is their weapon. Ancient dragons once attacked Lane the golden, the royal capital. Well, let's try to get those back. But it will be some time until we can actually cast this. Yeah. We need... Maybe Godric's Great Rune eventually, in conjunction with... Scorsel's only three. I did not hear about that. Fair. Yellow Ember, early flower, yellow Ember. If you want to be contrarian, you can make an argument that it's not necessarily such a good thing. Because if there's just nobody at the wheel... I think he probably overstated that a little, just for the sake of argument. But, though to be fair, I think something he has talked about before is that he's worked to cultivate talent so that the company can keep going even after he eventually goes away either due to retirement or just, you know, dying. And that, you know, even Elden Ring had a co-director Actually, the guy who was behind the DLC of Dark Souls 2, Yui Tanimura. And basically, it's not just the Miyazaki show. Or at the very least, he doesn't like it to be. Or at least not to be seen that way. So let's just take these guys down before any of that else happens. And oh my goodness. Yeah, fair. I... It's definitely interesting. Because, you know, to run a company, you do need to stay profitable. An unprofitable company, generally speaking, is not going to stick, not going to have a way to stick around. But, I guess the big question is, does the way that they run things, could you really say that the way their games are made prioritizes art, quote-unquote, over profit, quote-unquote? Which is, it's an interesting question. I don't even know how you would measure that. Uh, come on. And I, oh, goodness. Just have to kite these guys for who knows how long. Oh, but. Okay, so the lightning actually can deal damage if things get hit by them, but I think it avoids hitting players. And I, mm -hmm. One, two. 
So taking out these bats is something you really want to do using magic. Okay. These fulgur blooms are interesting. They're a lightning crafting material. The big thing is that I don't have a good way to get back up right now. Nothing over here. We got those rooms back at least, but... Hmm. Can't actually go up these stair steps. That's the issue. So to drop down here... How would I do that? Drop down to... Oh, I think it's... Is it these ledges, or... Can I actually... I'm worried. And can I... Well, that did kind of work, so... Thank you. Here we are, a tunnel. Well, we'll come back here later. The boss here... I know I came here already once before. Morn Tunnel. Something over here, something on the other side as well. No, not there, but... There is something if we drop down over here, so let's check that out. This is... Nothing! Only I had an item, yeah. So then, well... Oh? Jumping required ahead, like a dream, and just a single smithing stone, open parentheses, one. Close parentheses, okay. Hmm. And that is nothing either. It is cool that jumping down can give you other avenues, but I, if I'm here already, uh, no. I gotta go back, I wanna, if I don't do this in some kind of order, I'm gonna end up forgetting. I think this is the Frenzy Flame Village over here. Oh, but I have to... Well, I... I can't teleport out immediately. I may as well keep going. And tunnel. Tunnel's boss is... Scaly Misbegotten. <clears throat> Weak to fire. Okay. Hmm, well, I... Honestly... I'm gonna stick to using... I'm gonna use Flame Sling instead so I can keep my distance. Flame Sling might have good DPS, but... I don't want to have to get like, too close to most of these enemies. I, oh, but what I should use is Great Epe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I... Alright, cool. Alright, and... There we go, cool. Good stuff. Still use this in one hand, but you really want to be using a bit different. I think the Iron Maiden enemy should be down there too, so I... Alright, and... Oh, well. That didn't really work. Okay, okay. Interesting. And one, two. Good stuff, but... Question is, the Impaling Thrust compared to other stuff. How much will that do? I did go here when I first stream when I first streamed this game actually, so you so you've seen this area before a while ago and I okay all right thanks one this is decent but healing thrust is still good especially because of the running startup isn't even all that much mm -hmm. so in that case it's a little complicated the big thing is doctor. What weakness do they have? They're weak to... Relatively weak to magic, strike, and lightning. Hmm. Relatively. But I don't have a way to really deal lightning right now, is the thing. Now, lightning Spear is... Locked behind Lyrnia, in terms of progression. Oh, that... Is unfortunately unsurprising. That's basically what happened in what's been happening in California for the past few years, but the issue it's not about public irrigation, it's about rich people's lawns. So understandably people have a bit more adverse feelings about the topic. Cool. Stab and there we are, just thrust, thrust, and oh we got both and do I hear something coming? No, that I think should be one on the way. Stab and oh, we need right. Okay, because these guys are weak to strike again, right? Also, probably a bit of magic. Very strong foe. 
Oh, is it just through here? Wow. All right. And a somber smithing stone. You know, I could just fight the boss right now. Honestly, maybe we will. A little scaly misbegotten. Should not be much, though. Let's see, get up past there. Yeah, it's just really not much. I. This is actually kind of silly. I, okay, cool. Cerulean twos and. Probably. And dodge. Okay. Uh, oh, good damage. Okay, can I toss another fireball? There we are. Cool. And just. Okay, yeah, that. That's more than good enough. Let's use our last one. And cool. Oh, I said. Oh, okay. Well, whatever. Oh, okay. What do you mean a Dark Souls? What does that mean? Well, that's all. Good joke. Rusted Anchor. Alright. It's almost a level up. Almost. Rusted Anchor, a great axe that does pierce damage. Wield as a weapon, each of its four hooks, thick and sharp, enabling piercing attacks. Tarnished all the lands between the third lord. One boat alone was said to have been left behind. Barrack Roar. Hmm. Oh. Well, actually, wouldn't you be seeing the fog wall? Because you're the one challenging them. Just wandering here. Okay, so... I'm gonna beat that up, and to get the... I think, no, the Iron Virgin shouldn't be here, I don't think. And I... Oh, okay, whatever. Right, I need the torch instead. Slumber Smithing Stone. Well... The boss always loses in the end. The player can come back as many times as they like. The boss can the boss can only lose once. So are you saying that you want them you want them to fight you again and again and again and then eventually die? Well, well the entire point is that they won't. Then they won't. So pebble and yeah, decent enough. That, mm -hmm. Okay, there you are. I uh, what 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 do you mean by that? Do you really do you really have that little concern for your own life? Oh, but hmm, how do I can I? Yeah, we can hit you even though you're a little in the air. Once you hover low, smithing stone and hmm, this is still no strong foe. Stop here and then turn back. This is soft cotton. We got that. But well, well, the whole point is I, I'm not sure about that one. Not entirely sure about that one. I think I think you should just value your life a bit more. And, alright. Cool. Let's put our claw back on for this guy. Oh, this is a sacred one. Whatever. Forgot to put heavy back on it. Well, alright. So good, but, eh. Okay. Stanching boluses and... Question is, who else is coming? And how many of them are going to be miners in comparison to other kinds of guys? So the Misbegotten Pierce is decent. For the others, though, other stuff is more decent. Slam, and there we go. Oh, cool. Well, if you're the one who just dies, there's a chance your plan doesn't even work. Do you want to beat up a politician, or do you just want to be killed by somebody? That's the real question. It's kind of hard to tell. So, a golden rune, not much, whatever. Yeah, there shouldn't be all that much more here. Can go back up this way if we fell down a level, but we already did that, didn't we? Hmm. Are are you are you sure about that one? Are you sure about that one? Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we found everything in here. It's not a long dungeon. What kind of smithing stones do we have right now? Stanging boluses, blood loss, time to fashion to avoid such an event. I, hmm, 
Still had a kind of dangerous, precarious position here, so. Item ahead, a hidden path ahead. I. Not sure I've ever seen you have a plan in the first place, which kind of raises its own questions. Here we are, and what's going to be in here? Golden Rune 4. This is. What is this? Oh, just funny meat. Okay. Then what? Well, those glint stones or what? Well, okay. Then we can get somber smithing stone and something over here. This is oh hello, fun. Slam it. Well, all right. There we go. And this is large glint stone scrap. For that okay. Magic bolts. Okay, cool. Interesting. Well, you also can't prove me right. I mean, can't prove yourself right. It's all just completely untrod ground for both of us. Neither of us can say anything on the topic. So my somber stones. I've got lots of somber stones, but... I could take... Bloodhound at plus two now. Somehow... Somehow that sounds like bluster to me. I'm not sure why. Okay, say it. I don't mind. You're the only one talking besides me right now. Mm -hmm. uh, keep on looking, and I think I think we did find everything here. It's not a big dungeon. Okay. Let's just escape this wretched place. And then and then and then. Use that teleport which we ignored before. Oh. Well, it, as in tricking people or getting people to fight each other or planning someone's downfall, maybe me. Hmm. Oh, but. Oh, but this is the entrance, not the. Right. The entrance. Not the actual grace here. Okay, cool. Oh. Well, I... You can brag about that. R was it was it in self-defense? That might make that might make a difference though. Hmm. We do have enough for a level. Let's get mm -hmm. Okay, well, there you go then. No shame. Let's actually take that off of this. Yeah, okay, cool. No, but actually, let me see. Probably put stamp upward cut on it just in case. Sure. Good and heavy. Then probably put the Reduvia back on for the guys in the village. Well, it. If you. Uh, unless you're against boasting on principle, which you very plainly aren't. If you're proud about something, there's really no reason not to brag about it unless it's some kind of dangerous secret. If it's not something you want to boast about, then it's probably something you shouldn't be proud of either. It's my perspective. So, thank you, rats. Cool. And more smoldering butterflies. Cool, cool, cool. Keep on moving. Over here is... I've been down there. Well... Okay. As in your friends, or the person you beat up? Hmm. And... Uh, that did not connect. To... Oh. Well, it's... Quite frankly, as much as I loathe to say it, I kind of doubt I'm ever going... I have yellow. Choice for crafting items. Lens afflicted by frenzy. Shrub fruit with a ripened pulp. Fruit by frenzy. Plain roving properties. Known to be a dangerous intoxicant. Oh, I... 
Oh, you said you sent someone to a doctor. It's like kind of... Not really yellow in as much as red. Oh, and Frenzy Guys. Fun. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, it... If you, if you sent someone to a hospital and you didn't beat them up yourself, there's only one thing I can really presume you did, which is, quite frankly, worse. Okay. Hmm, let me see. And just... There we are. So, melee is... Guaranteed one tap on them. That's nice. Hmm, stick that. Maybe a bit more. Oh, but we don't have any kind of... Need to make more foul feet. That's right. What will I be able to make with these eventually? That's the question. And this frenzied frame village. Yeah. But I... In that case, I... I... I know you don't believe that human life has inherent value. But... Still, it's... I would never be proud of getting someone to attempt suicide. That is, no matter who it is, with only some minor exceptions. Oh. Wait. Well, then, how would she... How did you get someone to go to the hospital, then, if... You didn't beat them up, and they didn't... I just... I don't know. Okay, well... We're in the Frenzy Flame Village now. No, Ailing Village. Ailing Village answers. We should be able to get our first Frenzied Flame spell here, which would also be good. Oh, okay, well... Well, in that case, it's just... Okay, fair enough. Yo, if... If someone just goes to a psychologist because they get called out for being annoying and unpleasant... Then, you know... They can just grin and bear it, I guess. Well, I was surprised! I was sort of wondering, you know, that's... A bit more than I would expect, but, I mean, people can change, and I presume it would have been a while ago, but. Oh my goodness. Okay, will this even hit? Oh, that's actually too high. And can I? No, there's no. Weird. <laughs> oh, whatever. This misbegun, I don't have. I guess I could just try using some pebbles on it. Hmm, huh, okay, cool. Yeah, that is a little less than satisfactory. Yeah, it... It seemed a little... farther than I would expect you to go, which is why I was kind of confused. Uh -huh. Go over, do that. Then take this. But that ailing village is... Mm -mm. Okay. I'd be able to get... Well, I'm just on this rampart. Another yellow ember. This is the village, and there should be... I hear someone coming? Yeah, they're the rats, but... Hmm. Okay. Another roa. Big question is, what is over here? Anything else, or... It's just normal ends. I wonder what we'll do with those eyes of yellow. Presumably they might be involved in anti-frenzy medicinal recipes. Wait, wait. As in... She tried to date someone she didn't even like? Just to spite someone else? That's... I wish I could say I was surprised. Okay. And 
come on, come on, golden rune, and, oh, big rat, okay, cool, thanks, and, okay, nice, oh my goodness, and, okay, Kawu Baptismal Church, Caillou, Caillou, okay, alright, mm, okay, and just, can I, mm. and, oh, I, alright then, okay, and, oh, come on, just out of the way, and, oh, they can use Flame of Frenzy, funky, okay. Okay, so... Was she lying then, or...? Ah, oh, the Flame of Frenzy. Flame of Frenzy from eyes. No Flame of Frenzy to burst forth. Increases the range of the burst. Deals damage, build of madness, build of mass, and the caster only effective against Tarnished. Now that could be quite useful. We'll see. Go up and hack away. Cool. Thank you, Rat. Goodbye. Some stuff back, and another sacred tier. There we go. Yeah, I... I wish I was surprised. I wish I was surprised. Okay. And... Hmm. What else? What else is here to grab? We've been through that little church. Oh, lots of arterial weaves. If only I really crafted... If only I actually crafted things with them. But I just... Physical damage bonus of the exalted flesh is not something that really is all that much in my build here. Fair. Oh, on the... Oh, that far away. Okay. So was it an online thing, or... Oh, so it was an online people in Italy thing. Okay. Italian internet. Insane. Okay, and we got some of that back. And may as well. May as well do that. And what you're gonna drop? Yellow embers. Anything else in this house, or... I think we've seen that already, yeah. Well, there you go. Congrats. If... Honestly... Flamecrest wouldn't shield. That... Yeah, the fire isn't even all that relevant. Light for its sides, afflicted by frenzy. Presumably affliction warning those who might approach. And that... Hmm. So it actually doesn't resist fire or frenzy at all, which is funny. Thank you. And then, keep looking around until get everything through here. Fair. So she rethought her life choices by becoming worse. Let's just go up on the rooftops and see if in here. It really never does. It. Thank you. Thank you as always. I can always count on you. Uh. <clears throat> well, that. In that case, don't really think she rethought anything at all. I think she was just seeking validation to continue being horrible. Mm -mm. Then another rat, another frenzy rat. So one, two, yeah. Well, that that is a criticism that a lot of people can make. Often make about some pathologies in modern therapy that occasionally can end up giving ammunition to narcissistic, narcissistic people and that oftentimes, you know, the worst people you know will, you know, talk about going to therapy and wield that as a weapon. It's... Generally... Well, to be fair, American speech laws do tend to be a bit more lenient, but... I don't think you would have that much to worry about. Hopefully. Hmm. Got a bit of the middle over here, so... Keep on moving. That way is... Anything we can get to from here, or... Hmm. What if we went over this way? Ah, oh, interesting. So what is this? Is this anything? Regret ahead. 
we're on a little promontory. Actually see a bit of it on the map, but drop down what would be fine. Hmm. Let's see. This is oh just another Trina's lily. Okay then. Alright. Hmm. Village outskirts, but we've been part of that. So we go up here, we go around these ruins, and then... Oh, but right, actually. Yeah. It's actually put Flame of Frenzy in. It is. Mmm, mmm. Wow. There we go. This should be nice. Maybe. Well, and we can just do it for a bit longer and a bit more fire. Yeah. Because you only ever get one side of the story, just by definition. Hmm. I guess. Some decent smithing stones. I might actually like to Go back and level up this finger seal. I gotta go to... Round table hold, and oh right, I need to actually... Farm some stuff. And farm more foul feet. Wouldn't be funny, I could probably actually use Litany of Proper Death to get them all. Or I could use probably Gravitas. Maybe the best way to take them out real quick. To strengthen our finger seal. Yeah, there we go, cool. A bit higher incantation scaling. Not all that much difference, but to the Great Bridge. Let me just see if the fire will take them all out at once. Fair. It's nice. And can we Okay, that was good. It's actually quite good. We got another foot. Let's keep on farming birds. And this is a decent place to be. Charge us up. And this would be any better? That is a bit more reliable, it seems. A few more feet, but yeah. Feathers are for fletching. And that's the castle where I was when I first stream this game, actually. So you've seen that, too. Here we are, and can we just get more of that? Another four to the foul foot. Or with a single gun, you arrow. Amber's burst is weaker than this. So that angle is pretty much ideal. Another foul foot. My opinion. How many fireflies do I have? Is the question. A good amount. Fair. Linny bursts. Uh, yeah. This is oh one escape this time, funky. Guess being a bit farther away might be good. <laughs> Don't need to switch any asses of war or anything out. We just do it like this. And there we go. Nice. Cool spell, too. Just in general. Mm. But every time I kill a boss of any significant note, that's what I should be using. I mean, I need to be using the foul feet to just further increase my rune gain from them. I'll get a chance to breathe, which means basically the time to do it. Hmm. How many more do I want and need? Oh, because their foul feet can be used to make these gold pickled foul feet, which we need in order to make. Well, it boosts rune acquisition when you have them. That's why we want them. You use it for a temporary boost for rune acquisition, so I use that after a boss fight in order to just get more runes. You know, as the boss is dying, it gets 
you know, decently drawn animation and just immediately pop it and it boosts my runes by an additional 30%, which combined with a 20% from... Oh, I got hit in the air. How sad. 20% from the Golden Scarab equates to... Oh. 1.56, I believe. Yeah. Generally, it's just quite good. So we're getting... You know, just unconditionally more runes than we would otherwise get. Yeah. Then we keep on doing this until, <coughs> until we have all the feet we need. And how many more do we... Five more after this and we can craft all the ones we can craft because we would need to get more gold fireflies after that. It's a very convenient farm. This is... Consider by the wiki to be basically the place to farm them. That's basically where we want to stand to. Could this be a dog? No, not really. So three more feet and we will return to the peninsula to do our stuff. But, fun spell. Good fire damage, but charging is... In a live combat situation, charging is probably not going to be as nearly as viable unless we have a long punish window. Three more, three more. Hmm. It... You can also make use of status elements and healing for status elements by crafting, but I do have spells for that, so I generally just don't find that to be as much of a use as just getting more runes unconditionally, especially since it means hitting requirements more easily as well. Fun spell, too. This... These are all basically just various kinds of eye laser attacks. They all come out of your eyes. But that bar that's building up right now is my madness, which... Well, it's a bit like Frenzy from Bloodborne, but not as bad. It's a mental ailment that will deal damage to you on a full bar. Okay. And then we need... They're just not dropping their feet right now. Sometimes they drop multiple ones, but sometimes they just don't drop, period. Hmm. Alright. It is cool how it's semi-random to... Oh, well, little. And we'll... One, two... Oh, nice! We got two feet that time, so just one more, and we'll be good to go back. Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. And, mmm, that did not connect. So, we have an extra foot now, too. Cool. Use the Zan. There we go. Oh, cool. Nice. Collecting all the row whenever we get an opportunity have been, has been a good idea for us. But, there's an enemy up here in these ruins who's very, very weak to fire. And also, one over here who's very, very weak to fire. You may be sensing a theme here. This is, that's mostly why we're doing things the way we're doing them. Over here is an Everjail where we'll get the Radagon Scar Seal Charm, which should just give us more strength decks when we use it. As you can see, you can also cast it on horseback. Which is nice. Mm -hmm. We'll keep on moving then. Go up this way, see what there's to find. The do be on us right now, which is decent, but... Well, we'll see. This is... Oh, more dogs. Fun. Cool. Another dog. Yeah. Alright. How sad. For the dogs, that is. A rainbow stone. Stuff down there, and... There's more dogs in there, and another side of grace. Wow. Okay. One, two, and... Three, four... Five. Six, seven... 
And eight, nine. Okay, cool. Interesting. A tree is a lily. Then what? Row of fruit. Just gotta get those, but mushroom and so we're getting close to another side of grains that is basically right under the other one for some reason. Well, you we can't drop down here without dying from up top, so makes some sense. Then, lost grains discovered. Let's just rest over here. South of the lookout tower. Lookout tower. Oh, that there's a tower up there. That's fun. Let's go over and actually take advantage of that. And the question is, which one is your leader? And that is not that. The thing is, there's supposed to be demi-human leaders who they will panic if we kill. I can't find one right now. Not, oh my what? Oh my goodness, I'm getting slaughtered. I should probably actually just use Flame of Frenzy on them. Maybe. I can get over here and just use this and... Thanks. Alright, and... Interesting. Cool. That was good. Thanks. Oh, and whichever one we killed, one of them must have been the leader, so... Said that in a weird way. One of them must have been the leader because they started panicking. Okay. Yeah, let's go up to that lookout tower then and see what we can get. Clearly someone's shooting us because we saw those ballista bolts coming down, so let's give them the fright of their life. And death. This is, wait, more Whittle Miranda flowers or what? That is something. Okay, I, alright. Weird. What if I run in and cut you down? Okay. So I couldn't target you, but... Oh, goodness. I, okay. Use neutralizing boluses. Yeah, we just craft them whenever, so... Taking cure poison with us is almost entirely superfluous. Almost. Hmm. Think. Maybe when we have to go through an actual poison swamp. Or a rot swamp. Having a spell would be more convenient. So I have to avoid crafting things and becoming unusable afterwards, as in using up relatively scarce items, but as for now, it's not something we really have to put up with. Cool, cool. Kill the flower. Poison bloom, and... Hello there, I... What is... A dog? Okay, cool. Nice, nice, and... Oh, well, wait, what? Huh? Okay, weird. All right. Hmm. Right, okay. Interesting. Right, all right. Two. Roll. Roll. Mm, right, okay. Cool. Uh, as long as we're already poisoned, we can just cut up the other flowers without having to worry. We're getting poisoned again. Cool. Okay. Use those boluses again. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Is that and what was on you? Just a three golden runes. Alright, I guess. Okay, and can I... Mmm. Simply cannot use... Oh, well, actually, since they kind of slide along the ground, it should work quite well. Interesting. Thanks. Oh, well, I... Alright. Oh, and since they were unaware, they just died. Is this gonna... Let's try that again. Not again. Oh, let me aim up a little. I'm up a little more. And oh, well, whatever. Never mind. I, okay. Thanks. Never mind. Okay. Come on. And what? What? Come on. Two. Okay. Whatever. I don't care anymore. Okay. Time to use more boluses. Maybe I should have had cure poison. In my memory slots, then. Maybe. Okay. So run this camp is going to be you, and then... One, two, three, four, five, and... Okay, alright, and... Wait, what? Okay. Huh. Alright, then. Hmm. Top was some kind of ballista. Should go over and get rid of the guy who's running it. 
jump up here? Yeah, we can. Forced lookout tower. Interesting, that's fun. Can we get a thing on the map? Oh, we gotta climb up, but let's kill that guy then. Kill the guy up top. Solving all of our problems with significant amounts of violence. Cool, die. And I guess we may as well break the ballista too, just for fun. Oh goodness. Alright. That only took forever. Put soldier gauntlets, and this is. A hand ballista! It, it's a question, and the answer is yes. I've said this before. Spear use for hand ballista. Conventional ballistic device, weapon used to siege castles, and of course we're coming now, and can we. Oh, well, we couldn't getcha. Alright. Got that now. Storming a castle or facing an entire army alone, only capable of firing great bolts. Exactly! At least you're at least you're consistent. Yeah. Yeah, you have a consistency. Is it is it a jelly-like consistency or You did say you might be a slime goblin. Okay. Keep on going around. Come on. Interesting. Oh, I, wait. Okay, I, okay, alright. Not good. Ah, huh, well. Let's go from here. Try to whip around again. You deform under stresses. Turn into slime. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look around and see if I missed anything. I don't think I did, but that ballista is good. It might be actually a good anti-dragon weapon. Not quite sure. Because it would be able to do good, decent piercing damage from range that wouldn't scale off of stats. At the very same time, eventually because of that, it would also fall off and start underperforming after some time. Well, we'll see. Nothing over here. Weird. Well, all right then, I'll try that. Oh, we could use this to get down from the lookout tower. That's fine. Well, I, then I'll probably just continue from here. Yeah. And this and then, this Erd tree over there is the question. Minor Erd tree. That would have a, an Erd tree avatar, which would be very good flame of frenzy fodder. For one. Oh, damage. Alright. And then, who is and where are you? This is a... Ah, another misbegotten. Cool. Oh, so they should probably swarm me when I... Okay, well, it happened already. One, two. And where are the others? Put on a great epe again. Take one of those off. Already, oh, we haven't been down here precisely yet. Hmm. Question is, what and where? Get more root resin, I suppose, to make greases. That'll be fair, I think. Already got better damage options than that. Hmm. What about an offensive mechanism and you just absorb them? That this is a dungeon of some sort. Oh, it's a cave. I think I've been here already. Codger, praise the old Codger, lovable sword, but we didn't even use his guidance. Earthbore Cave. I. Let me see. Wasn't this a bear? Earthbore Cave. I think there was a. Yep, the boss is a rune bear. Fun. Rat, giant rat, and rune bear. Okay. Well, we're here now. Cool. Should I have in the Well, we'll be alright. This is what it. Oh, okay. Fun. Okay, then. Great. Amazing. Okay, can I poke and poke? And just slash on you. Slash worked a bit better, at least in a group situation. And just... Okay, nice. 
Oh, but right, if this is dark, I want to be using the UV anyway. Oh, come on. All right. Can we? Okay. Die. Oh, we could actually just... Right, we can use this one-handed. I actually forgot about that. It's not as good, though. Hmm. The pokes are... Really ranged. Well, whatever. So then. Golden rune. Keep on moving. The big thing is... There's gotta be something in that chest. I can't imagine it'll be anything all that good, but... Gotta be something in there. And... It's decent to just slash with. Entirely standard damage, if I recall correctly. Then we... Oh, is this just back where I... Was at the start then? I bet. Yeah, okay, cool. Ah, oh, dog. This is... Oh, pickled turtleneck. Okay. It's new. Stamina recovery. Truth of the belly. Blowing out endless power. Okay. And good thing we don't take damage from that. Is this our... Going to be our boss fight, or... Two... Oh, come on. I... Yeah. Really weird, actually. One. Two. Decent. Glowstone. And... Kukri. And if we... Oh, when we drop down here, I think that's where... The boss is going to be, which is not much of a boss, but... Okay, fireflies and don't give up skeleton. And then we'll Yeah, we gotta switch to her. That take that off, put on gauntlets just for every little bit of defense we can get. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Well, Alright. Now we have our Flame of Frenzy. Dog oh dog. Not really. So now we, oh, we run and we get this up as fast as possible and take and boom, boom, and, oh, well, I guess not, maybe, and boom, and I, hmm, this is tough, really quite tough, and I, oh, well, hmm, okay, big thing is, I can't sneak up on it, there's no way to sneak up on it, yeah, yeah, Maybe I do need to go for Catch Flame or something. It's certainly possible. Alright, rats. Took some time to notice I was even here. Ignorant rats, how quickly you forget. And... Uh, Alright, whatever. That was not what I wanted to see, but okay. Cool. Go through and just get my runes back and charge up a... Uh, Something. Thanks. And just. Alright, cool. And charge that up and. Boom, boom. And, oh, well. Okay. Dodge. Hmm. Not all that good range wise, but. Well, yeah. I'd actually prefer other spells then. Especially since we don't have the ability to actually use. Cool. And just. Well, that was actually kind of okay, but. Charges we just can't actually reliably use for anything to... Mm. And... Oh, come on. I, okay. Dodge. Okay. Charge up. And boom, boom. And... Mm. That's a thing. I just... One, two, and... Can I immediately burn, burn it? Okay, alright. Yeah. It's an idea, but... Not, a, not an amazing one. Okay, cool. Do this, and... Can I, Dodge, dodge. Oh, come on. I okay, all right. And mm. oh. dodge. Mm. Can I please dodge? And can I immediately just thanks? Do oh, what? Never mind. Okay. Ah, oh, maybe I. Yeah. Okay. Cool. It. I do think that. Normal Flame of Frenzy is going to be. It's going to take it down, but normal Flame of Frenzy. As in not this garbage. And dodge. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Yeah. Normal Flame of Frenzy would be quite good, but I cannot actually... It's too relentless to actually try getting a charge attack in on. Fun spell. Very, very fun spell. 
And it is always tempting to go for the charge. Just as a rule. It's a rule of life. You can ever charge up an attack. Even if it's a bad idea, you always feel like doing it. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's drop down. And... Well, alright. Okay. Let's drink that. No, we don't have much good from it at the moment. Cool. Dodge, use our fire. Yeah. The blame of Brenzy. Dodge. Okay, cool. Nice. Burn. Dodge. Mm -mm. And can we... Okay, nice. But I... Oh, alright. And the issue is just... Frenzy build up on me. And... Okay, we gotta wait for this to go back down, honestly. Dodge back is good. But I... Oh, nice! And I can... Well, can't do anything, really. Yeah, that would be an opportunity to get another hit in. Nice thing is that I actually did pretty good stagger. So I did not know that would be an option. I should probably just have great epe. Actually, what I should probably do is just, when it's staggered, use that as an opportunity to just go for the fully charged one. But as strong as they are, as you can see, if I use it too much in succession, I damage myself. Which could mean maybe using it in conjunction with some boluses or something, but I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna ball. But... The fact that it dealt a pretty respectable amount of stagger was really surprised to me. In a good way, in a good way. Not to expect that from any kind of spell. Cool. Nice. And one... Two, and can I... Nice. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, cool. And burn. And... Dodge. Oh, come on up. Oh! There's a grab attack. That's what that is. Okay, cool. Well, at least we... An okay position for some of that. But I... Dodge. Okay. Two. Hmm. Dodge. Oh, well. Never mind. Okay. D dodge. Dodge. Oh, well. Really? Really? Okay. Thought I'd be able to roll around it. Okay. Stupid. Okay, at least we survived some of that crap. Okay, cool. Okay. Just dodge and good time. Just dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. Burn. And alright. Thanks. Uh, dodge and can I... Cool, cool, and, hmm, what? Just dodge, okay, cool, thanks. We need a bit more tears, class. Can I, we were almost stuck on that, but not quite. Okay, cool, and burn, what the, okay, cool, all right, thanks, can we, nice, dodge, dodge, oh, please, that, all right, thanks, okay, cool, really, really, okay. I just, well, and uh, one and take thanks and really really I just huh okay can I take you down like this and eh? I okay I I don't know what was up with I guess it's attacking more in a certain time frame that let me stagger it that one time huh weirdly tough for a literal bear. Hmm. To be fair to the bear, it is a rune bear. So it's a bear with the strength of runes, and frankly, based on some evidence, probably also a bear that has undergone dragon communion. And therefore obtained draconic powers. But even still. Alright, cool. Thanks. Dodge. Uh, I dodge. Oh, come on. I, okay, alright. Thanks. And that did not hit anybody. Cool, cool. And alright. Two. Burn, burn. And. Ah, uh, please. Alright. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. Burn, and just one, 
two, and can I heal, heal? Nice. One, two, can I, mm, and one, uh, come on, I, okay. Thanks. One, can we, mm, what? Oh, please, I, okay. Let's dodge, dodge, okay. What? Uh, I can't even see reliably what's actually going on here. Dodge. Oh, what? God damn. Uh, even dodging a specific attack is just. And I keep missing my opportunities to punish or do anything at all. Dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. Mm. And dodge. And. Can we, okay, maybe. Maybe. And. What? Huh? Dodge, and best bite was dumb attack, and just uh, stupid. Okay, cool, and cannot burn, burn the bear down. No, I can't. Can't do that. Probably not an option at all. One, two, and can we burn, burn you? And oh, okay, fun. Not really. Not. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool, and heal. Mm -hmm. This is the guardian ape of this game. And uh, oh, what? The big thing is that the cost of casting does not go away even when you miss. And I, uh, what? Dodge. And I, uh, dodge, dodge, okay, cool. Flask up. And just dodge, dodge, oh, come on, okay. Well, we're basically out of this and really dodge the wrong way. And what? What? And can we burn again? And okay, dodge. And okay, thanks. Can I? That did not hit at all. That just didn't connect. Period. Die. And just really, really. Come on. No, seriously. What was it that actually dealt stance damage? Not one harm. So that stance break seemed to be a one-time thing. Hmm. Whatever. Really just an okay kind of moment. Hmm. Get more fireflies and cave moss every time when we feel like it. Hmm. And then get that and just use this right now. Cool. Dodge and immediately just counter with fire. And one, two. Can we immediately just burn? Can we kinda? I. Uh, we're in a dangerous position in terms of. Mm, okay, cool. Just dodge, dodge. Mm, thanks. Dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. Burn. Straight to the face. Two. And it's just. Very slow spell is the thing, and I dodge. Okay, all right. Thanks. I, okay, heal. Uh huh. It dodge, dodge, blast. Okay. I'm just was Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. And just dodge, d dodge, two and can I just okay. One, two, and it's gonna. Okay. Nice. Uh, dodge. Can I? Okay, heal. Oh, I, do, oh, please. Okay. Comes up so fast is a thing. And I, okay, can I? Thanks. Stick. Oh, one, two, three. I. Okay. One, two, and I. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Okay. Definitely consumed stuff, right? Just dodge. And dodge and heal, heal, heal. Uh, can I? Thanks, alright. And, uh, give me, give me another opportunity to kill you. And, what, what? It really is no joke. It, two, and, mm -hmm. Thanks, cool. Alright, and burn, burn, burn. We're close, we're very, very close to killing it. I uh, dodge, oh my goodness, okay. Just need to do this now as soon as possible. And burn! There we go, let's just use this then. Crowdfoot and Dead Bear. Spelljack Talisman. Cool. Not much from the fight, considering how annoying it was. Ah, well, the bear's dead.
That's good. Spell Ring Talisman, Magical Damage Negation, just the, same, the magic version of the other ones we got. Spell Ring Butterfly, and Atrina's Lily. Okay, cool. It's another dungeon down. Good old completion. I have a friends who was fun, but yeah, it's slow. Mainly, I'm just kind of confused at how I was able to get a stance break that one time. And then, of course, completely fail to capitalize on it, and then, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Well, Alright then. Keep going through here and put the epee back on. Take off of this. Here I I don't use a shield, so what if I I could just equip the gauntlets. No shield and yeah. What old codger? Maybe someone pointing the way from before that a spirit who disappeared because we actually found the place. Maybe so. <laughs> Try this then. One more of these guys, so cool. Thanks. Stab and can I stab? Nice. Oh, all right. Thanks. Stab and oh, all right. And interesting. Cool. Stab. 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 In fact, that I need two stabs. This guy's crazy. Let's just... Hmm... Could have gotten the... Mob leader, but... There we go, cool. That's all. That's all she wrote. Hmm... Yeah, the ruins over here will have a demi-human queen. Who will be a mini-boss flight, who will... Probably take down relatively easily, I would hope. But... Little for rain to see her river well has made us a little stronger than we needed to be for this area, probably. That is more than okay. Just a rainbow stone. Okay. Mm -hmm. Happy Pride Month. Rocks are gay now. And then, get another misbegotten, I think? Yeah. Should be. One, two. Oh, and okay, you're over here. It's not from before. One, two. Good stance damage for that thing, too. Basically, uh, spear, but a bit better. I love the range on this thing. The great epe. Might, might get me to forgive the French. For what? May I don't know. But I'll forgive them. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Over there, and that, that's the grace over that way, so continue on our path, and okay, more demi-humans, done. And, hmm, interesting, these swings are, they are one-shots as compared to the pokes, which are not, but, hmm, <laughs> interesting. I said that this great epee is so good, it might get me to forgive the French. For what? I don't know, but I might forgive them. I'm sure I can find something. Okay, okay. Moving in that- oh, more Miranda flowers, great. Okay, that'll be fun. What ends? Well, what if- what if they have a really cool sword? What about- what about that? And... thank you, cool. Did that go over the shield? Hmm. Okay, and then... One, two, just... Poop and string. Great. All these demi-humans over here by the queen. And that... Mm, the timing on that is kind of a bit troublesome. But sweep's good, but... It does seem to go kind of around their shields, but... Or not. Mm, but tracking on the... Poke is actually pretty bad, it seems. As in vertical versus horizontal. It's very easy for it to just miss because the enemy was too low. Not too high, mostly. Mostly just too low, but... Ebola pizza? 
goodness. Oh, it. What? What about Ebola? Doesn't even really have a distinct appearance to it. Doesn't really have a distinct visual identity. It just kills you. I, I'm pretty sure. A bit of a. Oh, I'd get up there from the Ur Tree part. I think. We're actually rather just go over here. Yeah, maybe. In the end, it. As long as you. As long as the French are sufficiently humble, I think it's okay. I have to go up there, past the Miranda flowers. <laughs> Alright then. Alright. So, what, where, and when? Oh, okay, more demi humans. Great. Cool. And. Take that out. Anyone else coming? Yeah, you and. What is. What is that thing? Oh, another. One of those demi human chiefs. Oh, right. That's fun. Okay, I. Mm, fighting this guy like this is gonna be something of note. And I. Okay, cool. Alright, nice. Fire's good, so I can try that. Cool. One and. Ooh, alright. Done. Can I. Ooh, alright. One. Dodge. Okay, come on. What? How are you so fast? How are these guys so quick? Okay. Hmm, alright. Can I just get any of that in? Or one, two, and... Really? Really? Okay. I could just use... Let's jump paddle to get you from range. And yeah, yeah. Let's get rid of you that way. No, seriously. They, it's crazy how quick they are. But, you know... They couldn't outsmart... Couldn't outsmart the bullet. Demi human forest ruins. Hmm. Eventually, there should be a way to go down then if stuff over here, so. I like that they just spend time doing that battle cry. Just, they're sitting ducks the entire time. Hmm. <laughs> no, I see your messages. Don't worry. Oh, and the demi human queen is right there, so. Wait for. Her. Demi humans to come out so I can fight them on their own without having to deal with the queen yet. Quicker the better. The more we get out of the way, the better. And oh, you just got out of there. Okay, fine. Not really. Alright. Oh, oh my goodness. Alright. Now we're casting Winston Pebbles and. Well, at least your magic is weak. Should get the demi human staff from here too, I think. Possibly. Oh, okay. It. That might be. I'm gonna have to check in that case. So I, let's see. And just okay. All right. I take the others out. I mean, I can still see what you're saying. There might be an issue with the chat module. It's possible. Ooh. All right. Thanks. One, two, and dodge. Ooh. What? Huh? Okay. Yeah, I need to use magic fortification then. Hmm. Who knows? Yeah, that's really weird. Might be an API problem. Maybe. It's the only thing I can think of. Just... It not letting you... Not interacting correctly. Oh. It... It might be a Wi-Fi thing. I really don't know. Thanks. And now you're... Panicking. Should be. Oh, well, I guess you haven't realized your leader's dead yet. Okay, well. It's okay. It's. I wasn't worried myself. The important thing is if you mind. Okay, and one. Oh, goodness. Okay. Whatever. More string. Take down some more of these guys. And if I can take down that chieftain. And how? Tell me, human chieftains. Oh, goodness. Fair. I'll live, though. Probably. And just... Alright, can I... Hmm, okay, and... Charge up it. Oh, my goodness. Okay, cool. Dodge, and... Hmm, how do I want to get this working? I right, dodge. Can I... Hmm. Dodge, dodge. And, okay, cool. Can I... Weird. 
And can I burn you down? Okay. Thanks. Just make that work again. And thanks. Spam this. Cool. Nice burn. There we are. Cool. Fun. I... Probably not. Probably not. That's good. Now it... Twitch is prone to the occasional server issue, so... That's just life. And I, oh, right, I should probably... Cast magic fortification now. Yeah. It's away from its magic attacks, most likely. And can I run? The running attacks are good. Okay, cool. And can I heal? Let's heal real quick. The queen is... Can I stab? And running attacks are really nice. So would expect from the ailment, I guess. But Oh, and it, she killed her kid? Oh, wow. Vile. And just run in and stab and ooh, okay. Crystal burst is pretty important, but we'll just see. Okay, I alright and oh my goodness. Okay, I did not expect that. How can I get in there if I can't whatever. Okay. Stab, stab, and heal up again. I do have fortification still, but the question is can I Mmm, what if I use this? Cool. And Okay, nice. Oh, alright. Fun. I guess. And use this. Fire is really good against you. And, oh, well, not if that... What? Huh? How is your... Okay? Cool. Hmm. Dodge. Okay. Can I make this work, or... Nice burn it. Uh. Hmm. Can I burn again, and... Range is up, so I can... Okay, there we go. Let's just use that. Oh, well, never mind. That was too fast. We got the Demi-Human Queen stuff and the Crystal Burst, because it wasn't a boss, and boss or anything. So, Crystal Burst, that's what she was using, too. Blitz and Crystal Shards. It's repeatedly while in motion. Increases potency. Crystal Conjure, a group of sorcerers pursued the Wisdom of Stone. It's locked in the faint cogitation of the Crystallians. It still a scepter to the Demi-Human Spots for Peace, but even by those of low intelligence, knew it by fools in the Academy. And that... I think is a good deal stronger than the staff I've got equipped already. Yeah, yeah. It's already better. Hmm, mm hmm Okay. Arterial leaf. Or arterial leaf. Who knows? The Flame of Frenzy was nice there. It's fun. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just keep on looking around so I can find around these ruins because every ruin is supposed to have a sort of bottom treasure area. I haven't found that yet. Let's just use this to take out the funny flowers. Yeah, cool. Nice. Decent distance. And oh, goodness. Okay. Alright. Too far away then. Mm hmm. Let's use this then, and cool. And, alright. Wait, what? Oh, and it knocked me off my horse. Oh, we actually got Mattis from that. Fun. Cool. Too mad to ride a horse. As one does. Okay, and so, get over here and try to hit as many of you as possible once. Cool, and nice. Good. There we go. Torch them all, and... A faith in not crystal tier. Oh, that could be good. That's just increases your faith. By ten when you drink the concoction. That was good to have. And try fire, yeah, exactly. Now just on the Mirandas, but now that you have more faith, your fire is going to be stronger. Hmm. Well, if you put it in your cracked in your flask. Maybe I could be really funny and combine the strength tier and the faith tier to get a strength and faith boosting potion. One that does both. Get you a potion that can do both. And did we... Oh, right. Other demi humans through here. Right. Okay, cool. I haven't used magic all that much is the thing. That sometimes I use it really just for a quick projectile hit, but... 
big thing about faith is that it's AoE is or how is it a what? You're just saying words. Okay. Cool. That ends. So Wimbrave itself is just back over there. I probably want to use the Faith one for when we actually fight that Urchri avatar. Be able to just incinerate it more or less. Presumably. Question is, where is my way down? Every ruin has something down below, and we haven't found it yet. It means we need to keep on looking, don't we? Or maybe it doesn't, and it was just that fight. Oh. Well, it... I've heard that joke made more often about men. Just in my personal experience. Oh, and okay, so this is clearly... Wait, running attack? Can I... Huh? Huh? Wait, so is there or is there not a, is there or is there not a drop down? Maybe. I, I, I've generally heard that more is just a thing that people generally say as a joke. Okay. In the human forest ruins. Is there a place to go down? It. Shield of the Guilty? Wait. Jump over a wall. Cellar area. Main building you encounter. Rolled access to cellar stairs. So there was something. Okay, cool. Hmm. Let's just check. Jump over a wall to get to a cellar. Is this not... Not it? Or is... Oh, you have to jump... You have to use the horse. Okay. Actually, you don't, but... No, you do, because it's blocked. It's blocked off. Okay, so let's get... a little treasure item from here. Yep, every single one's got something down here. Just one thing. Precious item ahead. Shield the guilty. Oh, with these... all these thorns. Crushed by briars of sin before being reborn in these lands. Well, yeah, it's just, it's just a thing people say. Focus, Briars used to attack foes, repose of the soul, shield bash. Void wasp build up, okay, cool. Good thing we checked. All right, as we get the items, that, mm hmm. Interesting. Let's get out of here. Go back down where the flowers are and then gone about this third of the area, and the rest should be gone through a good amount of dungeons, so let's see what happens. Take down that Miranda. Mm. Okay, and mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. What if I just use this? How much damage can I... It's decent. Okay. The build up is. Oh, come on. Alright. Mm -hmm. Got the way of that. And then. Wait for my. Madness to go back down. And, okay, cool. Alright. Oh, we actually took. Some damage from that. Alright. Well, we can actually tank that decently well, so. I'm just gonna focus on. Killing the flowers. Okay, cool. Oh, well, I, all right. Thanks. And just... Okay, well, that didn't actually do all that much damage, really. Okay, cool. Focus on burning them. Cool. Oh, and now we can get damage with the Great Ape, or not. Yeah, we can move in then. Hmm. Just need to see all the tears we have. In. Oh, great. Instant poison. Okay. Nice. So, oh, and we can't craft items during combat, so... Okay, cool. Fun! Alright. Use this and... Cool, cool. And we'll use this and charge that up. Get 
close range as possible. And, hmm, it was decent, but... Hmm... Okay, and what about this? Can we... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure that you can't actually get... Oh, that. Well, whatever. Okay. Cool. Sue so gets burned. You need more tear splash. Annoying. Annoying. Sad. And can I? Hmm. And oh well, madness. Great stuff. And oh well, all right. Uh huh. Well then, don't want to do this. In the end, I can use other things to take him down after we run out of FP. So, I mean, I'll wave, but. Fun, fun. And just one, two, die. Poison blooms and just all these other Miranda flowers are also things I gotta deal with now. Cool, and just burn, burn it. Sell the way. Cool. Nice, and just slash them up, I guess. Mmm, but I. Mmm, okay. Mm. We take one down the batter. Okay. One, two, three, four, and can I actually get up? Oh, well, you can, but you have to be really, really fast is the thing. And, hmm. One, two, die. Let me just... Okay. You know, don't imagine much will come to us as a result of killing all these flowers, but it's fun to do. Fun to try. Over there it would get me to where the Ur tree Avatar is, I think. One, and can we... I think, yeah, because we still need to get that down. Okay, cool. One, two, oh, well, we could... Hmm, I could stay away. Well, that's what I can do. Oh, great. Thanks. I have any way to cure poison right now, because combat and I can't craft any boluses. Great. Okay. Great. Great. Just great. There we go, let's make a few of these bad boys and just use them. The fact that if you're not prepared, you can't craft more immediately in combat is probably part of what makes the spells better in relevant situations. It's its special advantage. And, okay. Out of the way of a light. Does that deal physical or holy damage? I don't even know. Two, three, four. And can I... Hmm. It's not actually a stance break, though. Nice, and just repost the flower. There we are, cool. Thank you. That's it. It's that done. How many... Got some back. We got most of our flasks back, and both of our cerulean flasks back. Cool. And I... Hmm. Coming up here is... Let's just see. Huh. This bridge is... Interesting. I... Curious now. How should use that bridge? So it will obviously put me by the Urtri Avatar, but... Beyond that... There's just that, so... Hmm. Let's try some of this, then. Is, oh, and here's a here's a bat. Okay. Great. One, two, and okay. All right. Thanks. And da. Oh, okay. Thanks. One. Thank you. Cool. Was there another? Yeah, there was another. Use this then and try to take you down. And mm hmm. So pebble. And another pebble. Cool. And we got some flats back. Nice. So, yeah, I should probably go by that shield then. I mean, not by the shield, the spirit spring. Let's find a way to get back up on well, that bridge to wherever that is, because it... Oh, but actually that... Zoom, I could just jump down from the ailing village down to that bridge and see whatever there is to see. Let's try that. If it is an option, which, well, I, it might be, it seems to be, actually. This drop down here is clearly for that purpose. All these, oh, wow, 
to even see this. And anything else over here or hmm. Okay. Interesting. thing is, I see. Okay, that demi-human chief is still alive. Okay. Let's just sneak up on it and go for a fully charged frenzy burst. Oh, or, well, whatever. Never mind. And, come on. Let's do this. And, cool. Do that. And, burn you down. And, cool. Nice. And, okay, it worked. More or less. Hmm. This goes back to yeah, down here. So that is more or less the original way we're supposed to get to it. Hmm. Interesting. So the Urge Re Avatar and then. Church and whatever this is. And then. These are the Witchbane Ruins, if I recall correctly, and then Walking Mausoleum, a tower that sends us to Lanezell, and of course the castle itself. Here's something. Don't necessarily like that. So who and what is where now? Hmm. Keep on dropping, what will I find? I, hmm. Okay. Keep on looking. I'm not gonna do. Oh, and oh, these guys. Okay, cool. I like these guys. Oh, interesting. And what can I? Oh, all right. Poison. I okay. I well, never mind. Okay. Weird. Okay. Huh. They are the sort of guardians of the lesser urgeries. That yeah, we've been around there already. Let's see how we can fight these guys. Can I plunge? Okay, nice. That works very, very well. It's a quick, impaling thrust to catch them before they get me. Question is that Spirit Spring will go all the way up to the Earth Tree, or. It's a question. And. Alright, cool. Just interdict you. The spear that they drop, all the sword spear. I'm not even sure if. I don't know if it's a spear or a halberd, but it's a good weapon that skills pretty well off of strength and dexterity. And let's just go down here. See how far this gets me. Then, well, yeah, it just goes up here, so. Okay. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Over this way. and I if it's only one Miranda flower, I should just take it down with the sword. Fire's good, but it's actually not as crucial as I initially thought is the thing. A couple more flowers around there, so cool, cool. One, two, and well, that worked. Should work very well, so let's just run in and stab, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, cool. Nice. And just, this is a gap closer once it's done. And, whoa. All right. Stab, and cool. Repost the flower, and can we, how much? Good damage. There we go. Oh, well, we actually need one more for a kill. Cool. It is very, very fun, and you can actually... Stance break a flower. Hmm. This is Poison Bloom. Trina's Lily. This is down to where we. Not quite where we were before, actually. It's three flowers. I don't think I've killed yet. Let's just kill them. Cool. Cool. Stab. Stab. Yeah, cool. Fun. It's a really, really, really good weapon art. Or I guess Ash of War, Ash of War. Because it's, it's called a skill, and the thing that bestows the skill is the Ash of War. I need to get my terminology right. Otherwise, I'll never be able to forgive myself. 
Oh, but the church is just up here, so... Go to the church first before we take on that Urchery avatar. Presumably. Hmm. Okay, then. What all is... Well, we got more of these wandering nobles, so... One, two, three, four... Yeah. Okay. All right. It got enough focus, enough flash that I can really just spam these with relative impunity. Hello. Osleen Prowse, Quinn, the Soul's demigod. Queen Eternal, your unwanted child. Okay. Get this and another sacred tier in that. Right, we need to check the description. Sing the Earth Tree, worship in all the churches of all churches of all lands, but a faint vestige. It's the potency of the flash restorative effects. It's used to spread the faith, for theirs was once a certain blessing. I think we might get dialogue from Melina here. Let's see. Talk to Melina. Okay. Use that and there we go. Talk to Melina. Hello. Hi. Spoken echoes of Queen Marika linger here as well. Shall I share? Sure. Queen Marika's own world. Then, after thy death, give back what once claims. Queen, wage war and brandish the Elden Ring. Strong base of death, warriors of war, Godfrey. Okay, cool. Just getting those dang tarnished to fight. For who knows how long. Okay, this... I thought there might be skeletons, but no. Seemingly not. Oh, oh, okay. Got Gilded Iron Shield. Belief is peeling, effect is light, boosts holy damage negation. Breathe on wooden shield, boosts higher damage negation. Let's see. Hero of Zamor. It's weak to. Frost magic, and it's weak to fire and lightning, and we have, we don't have lightning, but we do have fire. Okay. Cool. And that won't do much. Well, okay, uh, okay, all right. Thanks. Cool. And drink, and stop down, and stop you from regenerating. Okay, cool. Thanks. Okay. One slash. Alright, that does so much more damage, just because, presumably they are pierce resistant, being skeletons, and also, dodge, okay, cool, one, two, yeah, wonder if, I bet, single, horizontal cut would actually, blood grease, blood red materials, inflicting blood loss less for only a short time, could make that, though, using our cookbook, though, hmm, mm hmm, Keep on looking. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Long going over here and Let's see. Nothing down there, so that would just be a silly way to either die or have to teleport back. Mm hmm That is Maybe there are catacombs down there? It's possible. Maybe some kind of dungeon. Just check. What is this? Side. Pathway. I... Does not see... Well, actually... Hmm. Okay, then. Alright. What is this? This is... Nothing in particular. Actually, there are bats, but, yeah. Nothing all that impressive or special, so I... Okay, and just... Hmm, okay. Oh, well, all right. Not expecting that. Okay. Hmm, and take that. It's a golden rune. So what could I get from here if... Another land octopus? Okay. One of these things are weak to piercing. They might be, actually. It's certainly possible. Since they don't show up as a boss anywhere, no one has any information about their weaknesses, really. Uh huh. Interesting. 
down here and oh more bats great okay cool one two three four and five oh nice that counted as non-detection interesting silver of meat and yeah this isn't there's more here than i expected there to be bewitching branch oh okay that charm pierced enemy in condition of unalloyed gold for ally loved by many people learned very well how to compel such affection all right and then we too high up and then try to turn back no item ahead but behold gorgeous view it's that beach from that alabaster lord is an oh that one respawns interesting okay all right then hmm Not the branches i suppose no item ahead. I'm sad. Really thought I would get something for my trouble. Hmm. Oh well. Again, I guess I'll just... I guess we'll live. Can't get down there. That would kill me. That would also kill me. Uh-huh. Can I? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Here of Zamor. Fire from range to just burst him down. Though to be fair, honestly, I might be better off using the simple catch flame. Depending. And stab. Try this again. And can we actually just... Simple stab will do the trick too. So I thought for a second that part of the rock was a wolf. Rock wolf. Uh... Suppose I'll just make my way to the lesser Erd tree and burn the avatar and come back after that to do more stuff. Yeah. By the way, the Erd tree avatar is incredibly weak to fire. It should be saying it's going to be child play. Child's play might jinx it, but I should be able to take advantage of its sizable weakness to fire damage. We'll say that much. Hmm. Question is... Let's just heal up real quick. Oh, and we can get... Alright, let's increase... Change our physic. There we go. I will up real quick. And what can we... Uh, mind, mind. We'll go for mind. Cool. Immunity, robustness, focus, vitality. I think it's frostbite and bleed for one. Skull run, poison for another. Madness and sleep for different one but beyond that it's the fourth set I don't even really remember what kind of stuff would really fit in there what are the status elements I can remember off the top of my head oh more catacombs cool go ahead and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots cool <laughs> gotta go up here first okay then and then and then down there, maybe? Maybe. Ha. Huh. I... Castle Morn and Stormvale might have to be saved for whenever the next time I play is, because... To be fair, we also did go to Seafra and also just suffer unnecessarily against some enemies, but... I... <laughs> Scions and the Dragon King Soldier and... Oh, all right. We should use this to take them out. Cool, cool. And just... All right. Stab. Dodge. Do oh, okay. I did not expect that. Cool. Stab. I drop something. The Guardian Garb. Spear's pretty rare, I think. Guardians of the Modern Urtrees. Coins with an ink impact of the Urtrees. Said their deaths led not to destruction, but instead of renewed eternal life as guardians. It's one kind of way to surpass the death in this setting then and I, oh well i guess there are catacombs right here good thing we looked hmm so the question is do i want to tombs word catacombs well, i honestly want to take out the minor take out the urgery avatar first and then oh you have to unlock this with Okay. Well, actually, if we're here already, 
The best way to avoid forgetting to do things is to go, th go there as quickly as possible. Sword key ends. All right, this is lost with you. So each one technically requires two, but... Oh, thanks. All right, cool. All right, then we'll slash and... Oh, interesting. Can we... Stab, 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 stab. And we need to use our anti-undead balking stick again. And what is this? This is... Nomadic Warriors Cookbook. A ranker pot. That allows you to do cast magic. Okay. Let's put our Great Club back on. Still heavy load. Okay. Medium load again, and now we need to get Sacred back on this thing. Cool. Let's Ashes of War, put that on this. Sacred Boy, there we go. Well, Sacred Hammer. And a Rancor Pot. Oil Pot, Rancor, Rancor Pot, Human Bone Shard, and Grey Violet. Spawn Vengeful Spirits. Stay away from that for now. Let's see what we can get here in these Tombs Word Catacombs. Then, which way and which way? We'll get our torch back out and... Hello there, hello. Fun. Nice. And that... Makes it pretty easy to hunt. Then another is right there. Cool. Enjoy death. Fun. Who else and where? More grave glove wart. And it's not like I really need the stuff. Don't really use that. Don't use spirit ashes. Archer and then right. And Archer is over where I. Hmm. Let's see. Take. Oh, alright, that kind of messed me up. One. Dodge. Okay. Two. And. Oh, well, alright, we need. Damage is good, but we need. Three apply enchantment. Thank you. Grave Violet. The scoreboard. And this is. What is this? Oh, they're high. Thanks, and. Projectiles is really, really strong, too. Oh, what I could do is. Put no skill on the torch so I can use this more often and more accurately. Well, even not meeting the requirement, the holy damage alone is more than enough to just one tap all these guys because they're so weak to holy. Time for bow. Okay, projectile weapon. Okay, cool. Well, squint some pebble this way, maybe. Oh, well, actually, I think you do need a bow for this. Yeah, I do need to switch back out to it. Short bone just to deactivate this thing. Cool, cool. Do that. And can I shoot? Oh, well, alright. Shoot again and shoot. Should bring it down. Yeah, there we are. Fun. I Now we're heavy load, so gotta take that back off. Get that out and can I. Anything here? It does not seem like it. Okay, cool. And just any others? Any other takers? Any other comers? Guess not. Then we hmm, dropped down here, but jump attack required ahead. Fun. All right, cool. Grave Violet. Then anyone else? Or we have group. Taking on all at once. I... I should be okay. I really should be. One, two, three, and... All right, one more, and die. Oh, we barely missed you. Oh, that's fine. Prattling Pate, thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you, voice and words on an eternal journey. Or a great claw board, and... So to get back around... Kind of went the wrong way, it seems. Oh, but we could use this as a... Ah, well... Big thing is, we could... Oh, my lord. Okay. That's annoying. Can I... What? Can I... Oh, my goodness. I... Okay. Can we sacred boy that? That won't even hit you. There's no chance of hitting you. If I hit like that, could I use this to come down? Well, I could, except for that part. Annoying. Okay. Use this to elevate yourself, but I 
How is just so good at tracking? I okay, makes no sense. And I, oh, the explosive explosive part is really annoying too. I, okay, that's funky. I don't like that at all. What? What? Okay, die, die. Okay, how does that not hit you? Cool. And what? Huh? All right, interesting, and not in a good way. Okay, what if I? Okay, can I? Hmm, but the ability to hit me, arc or no arc, is very obnoxious. Okay, can I slam and go up and... Okay, thanks, cool. And just roll, roll, and try this again, try this again. And, okay, all right. Thank it. Can I dodge it? Throwing firebots is insane for a skeleton. Golden rune and... Mushroom. Thanks. Back somewhere, presumably. Don't think we. It'd be funny if this area was completely inaccessible unless you had the wherewithal to use. That thing is an elevator, which I might actually like to try out again in some spots. I'm interested in the idea. I might have missed some stuff then. But I didn't know how to do that. Maybe. It's Grave Glove War. So the fire traps we've seen. Hmm. So you do you have to I think you do have to do that. That's crazy. It's awesome actually. Heavy doors open, cool. Grave violet and we went which way did we go? Well this grave violet and did I hmm. Fire ahead. We did go through here. The question is, there were other catacombs. I think the initial... Let me just see. Golden Ring, Fire, Fire Trap. Stormfoot, Flame Traps. Huh. Stormfoot, Tomb's Word. Stormfoot and the Hero's Grave. Well, I'll go back, but... Grave and something else to kill, presumably. Okay. Let's just fight this coming thing and see what happens. Mm -hmm. Just back here. Let's do it. Here we are. Probably a cemetery shade, I think. Maybe. Stormfoot and the hero's grave. And, yep, it's a cemetery shade. Cool. Nice. So, what we do is we just. Oh, wow, you are incredibly weak to holy. It's comical. Okay, I can... Oh, well, all right. Thanks. Annoying? Okay. We can just use this again, then. Yeah, one more time. Cool, and just take this. Cool. Wow. Okay. Lutel the Headless. Okay. Cool. Lutel the Headless. Headless Knight who leads the Mausoleum Soldiers. Lance at Ribbon Death and hurls Spectral Lances at Foes. Sacrifice for life, so then death should continue to protect the soul's demigod until the revival for the hero's honor of Erd Tree Burial. Well, alright then. We did that. I think I did, might have done this one. No, I fought a cemetery shit at one point. On my mage file. Okay. I do kind of feel like testing out of. And the spots from before were maybe elevator opportunities. Maybe. Maybe. Okay then. Oh, spirit jellyfish is right only at night. Only at night. Hmm. Stormfoot catacombs. And, hmm. The black death touch catacombs have a fire trap? Let me see. Catacombs, fire trap, stormfoot, fire pillar, catacombs. I. Hmm. I'm just gonna try this again. I'm gonna run through as I can to get to the fire trap, but. I think there was one of the impeller's catacombs, too. Maybe. I really don't even know at this point. Just keep on running, we can hopefully find our, find our man. And yep, and they stay down, so 
Interesting. So what if I... What if I use this? Can I... Oh, and that kind of worked, but very clearly I... It's not anything right now. That was interesting. I am never going to look at one of these flame traps in the same way ever again. Obviously there's nothing here, but... Still, I... It's kind of crazy. It is nice that I can use the... Wait, so... Oh. If I had known what I could have done is gotten on top of it and lifted the fire trap after worrying the silence there, and I don't think they would be able to reach me at all. That would have been very crazy. Very unserious. Not in a bad way, though. Okay, well... I don't really want to fight these imps right now. Okay, then. Okay. Hmm. Gotta keep on looking again. So I feel as if one of them has to have something, then. There's gotta be something I missed. Oh, okay, cool. Alright. Oh, please. Die. 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 Oh, right, we still have it in the wrong set of hands. Please, please. Die. Alright, cool. It's actually not all that much difference, but it's mostly the holy, I presume. Let's go to... Hill Shack, Castle Rig Tunnel, Groveside Cave, Church of LA, Coastal Cave. Foray, and... Yeah, the Murkwater Catacombs and the Death Touch Catacombs were the other catacombs I've been to so far, other than Impalers, so... I do feel like checking those out very quickly. That was... it was interesting. It was interesting. Hmm. Worrisome, but interesting. That in there, nothing yet, but... Oh, okay, well. At least we didn't really take much damage from that trap. You just run through again. Wait, what? Oh, because it got activated again. Dumb. Well, they have fire on their... Fire? Huh? Oh, no, that's the fire arrow stuck in them. Okay. It's on me for underestimating. Okay. Let's get that back. But... It is interesting that there's no spell like Homeward or Evacuate, so... If you're stuck, you're stuck. Really? I thought... Oh, wait, was that just... Oh, okay, cool. Fun. Not really. But this was just... Just this burial watchdog and nothing else, right? This one was tiny. Yeah, I... Yeah. Might have to... I'm gonna have to look another time, but I don't think there was anything here, period, really. Fire trap or otherwise. Okay. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I... yeah, it was just this lever over here and not much else, so... Hmm, okay, cool. And interesting, interesting. I'm gonna get out of this accursed, wretched place and... Try... and death touch one quick time. Yeah. Rest. Thanks. Death such catacombs, impaler's catacombs, and then we'll kill that urge re avatar. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. The touch catacombs, and then we have. So over here is there a skeleton? I mean, a fire trap. It doesn't really seem like a fire trap one, but it's always worth checking, so. Now that I know that something silly is going on here. Okay. Let's keep on running and go down here. This is where we got our Uchigata now, so. Anything this way? No, not much. <laughs> I think there was one in the Impaler's Catacombs, but I'm gonna have to check again real quick. It is interesting that Holy Damage and Sacred Infusion don't innately stop Skeleton Resurrection, you actually have to take, very specifically, something like Sacred Blade or another Golden Order Incantation. Hmm. Alright. Cool. 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 
Thank you. Try that one more time. That let me know. And of course, the hero's grave itself is a founder number one, really. Hmm. Yeah, Earthborn Cave, Impaler's Catacombs. Should be. One remaining place I might want to check. In Baylor's Battle Bones. There is technically survivable fall, which would, well, I mean, a place where a fall would kill us that we'll get down to eventually some other way. Presumably. Go for a quick run through. See if there's a silly little. Not here. Oh, goodness. Okay, alright. Thanks. Let's go Crimson Tears plus three. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to get multiple sacred tears at one place was very, very convenient, I will say. And just do that. Go over this way, and can we go through? Yeah, we can go through. Now, all I gotta do is run past the undead. See if there's a fire trap. I don't remember there being one here, but yeah, you always... Now that I know, I feel compelled to check. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Alright then. Let's go back up and yeah, I think we're kind of done with this. We just gotta go. Kill that Erd Tree Avatar now. Mm -hmm. Alright. That was it, really. Hmm. Okay. Nothing in there, or just... Well, this would probably be faster than actually going to the Grace. Grace is pretty far away. That's where we found that watchdog, and... The pillars are now repaired somehow. Cool. There are some things that enemies can destroy that stay destroyed even after the fight. The first shard bearer boss will be like that. So here we are, Tombs Word Catacombs. We have our special funny crystal tier. Yeah. So I will simply leave these catacombs. And yeah, got that pointing in that direction over to this. Great epi, epi would be better for what we're doing right now. Cool. Poise is always nice to have, so. Hello there, friend. Not really. Cool. One, two. Oh, what? Huh? Still able to do a follow-up. Not stagger you enough to prevent a punish outright. Sad. Maybe hearing things, but I think I hear a scarab somewhere. I am most likely just hearing things. Cool. Cool. Interesting. Tree avatar, and can I? Big thing is, I could ride my horse. That could be fun. If I can sneak up on it and just get a free cast up, that would be even better. Modern Erd tree. Cool. Die. And tarnished golden sunflower, and that's it for now. So I, oh, but you're right there. I don't think that I don't have a Sath's approach right now, which is a shame. Let's just use this, and, okay, cool. Sneak up from behind, and maybe use. Oh, okay, cool. Fun. And there we are. All right, cool, and just, oh, well, okay. Fire's really good, though. That's Dallas. Oh, but we need to use our flask, too. Okay, cool. Just dodge and dodge. Okay, nice. There we are, and slightly increase. Cool, and this is basically the Asylum Demon from Dark Souls 1, actually. Fights a lot like it. And just... Coalescing into golden particles, so we can just dodge. Oh, thanks. Cool. Okay, and dodge and can I 
Dodge. Thanks. Cool. Alright, and do Ooh, alright. Mm -mm. Hmm, okay. Fun. Need another flask, and just... Cool, and can we... Use this then, and we're gonna get hit by the holy, but I... Alright, fun. Cool. I need more of this then. And dodge, and slam, and overhead, and cool. Probably go for a full charge then, and there we almost, and okay, ooh, okay. One more, and cool, and just use this, cool, fun. Tick, snap, there we go. Fun. Enemy failed. And we got some tears, I assume. Opal and Bevel Tear, which is temporary defense, Crimson Burst, which I believe increases... Max HP? No, settle restores. It's a regen. Only one instance of damage negation. The closest thing we'll get to something like Tears of Denial, which means we're not getting something like Tears of Denial. Huh. So, Intelligence and Endurance both need a level. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Still got our buff up for a little while longer. That'll be okay. So I suppose we can just poke around to see what might else be. What else might be in this general vicinity. The, do I hear a scarab or am I going crazy? Or is it both? Hmm. It's giant jars, presumably, were used to store. Urge tears, I would think. And they can just, the avatars can just barrel through them like they're nothing. Okay. Come on, come on. Thank you, oh, thank you, goodbye. And any kind of flesh could get from these guys, or not. Hmm. I really wonder. Miranda Flowers are down there again, because. They just spawned like any old enemy. Oh, but right, you can use these to basically keep your health going during an Urtri Avatar fight if you need the help. Well, however, I don't really need the help. Cool. Thank you. Hmm. Somebody's singing. Is that a chanting winged dame or... I am... Yeah, that is a chanting winged dame. But actually, singing Latin too. Actual Latin. So, is she up there, or...? Probably up that way. Did she drop anything, or...? Let's see. One, two, and can we... Where is... Is she? Don't you dare. Where we have sound. Ah, oh, down over there. Okay. Interesting. Have to... Go over this way. All the way down there. Okay. Interesting. Basically a song lamenting Fate of the Tarnished. Okay, cool. One, two. Oh, alright. Thanks. With that. Projectiles just will always be the best way to deal with flying enemies, so. And now she's no longer singing classic. How sad. No, you're... a lot of stuff here. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And another. And then, could we get one more in on... Well, we missed. In a weird, silly way. And poison. Interesting. Okay, can we... Oh, alright. And we sweep it. Poison wind. Okay, can I... Okay, roll in. Can I... Mmm... Your one attack? I guess we can stab and try to kill. Try to kill. Stab. 
Changing wing of damage. What are they? Well, alright. What did they drop? We didn't get. They drop runes. Chanting. Wing of Dame. Hostile, eerie, bad creature. They just drop golden runes. Okay. Okay. Huh. Ooh. Okay, then. Keep moving ahead. Moving along. And I think down there that we can get to? Probably not. It's interesting how high up the land is and how. Hmm. There are fortifications in places that might not really make all that much sense. And there it is, the walking mausoleum. It's the very same one you saw when I, again, did my first Elden Ring stream so many years ago. About, about a year ago, actually. It's with a mage file. Uh, I've gone here, so we need to look back around down this way. Find all this stuff. Yeah. Oh, more demi-humans. Oh, they're high. One, two. I... Oh, but we actually got our flask back, so... Come on. I, okay, cool. Move in and go for the impaling thrust, and that is just so good. So good. It, it's a great epi is just an incredibly fun weapon to use more than anything else. It, it's strong, but the reach, the pokes, could even if I wanted to use it with a shield. It's just, as of right now, I'm not really a shield user. It not even sure I will be. It... We'll see. We got more octopuses down here, so... It's just... Stab. Cool. Stab. And... Mm -hmm. Question is... What would be the best way to deal damage? Is it probably either slash or poke, but... Damage on this is just good. We'll see how it fares. Against... The big land octopus is compared to something like Reduvia. Alright. Alright. Hmm. So, um... Huh. Can I get down there by falling, or... I'm just kind of stuck. I know that there are... Big ruined things around here, but... That is clearly not it. I... Just kind of get stuck here, huh? I guess. Weird. Yeah. Maybe you could go back up by hitting that slow, but that would be a level of pain I do not want to experience. Let's go around here, figure out what this all is. Ever jail. Another church, which van ruins, and tower that sends you to Wendell. On. A lot of stuff in Weeping Peninsula. Yeah, we have gotten meaningfully stronger as a result of our foray. Big thing is just getting two more sacred tiers that we otherwise would not have had. And in order to get your get your flax to maximum, which I think is plus twelve. Maximum strength plus twelve, I think. You actually need to get every single sacred tier in the game. Not just in the sense of to do it in a single playthrough, but every Chris, every sacred here is unique. Which means that if you go through to New Game Plus without having obtained all of the sacred tiers, you'll have to get the specific ones you didn't already have. You can't just get the ones you had before extra times. Which, to be fair, it'd be pretty hard to beat the game without really leveling that stuff up, but still. Hmm. Oh, more octopuses down there on the beach. We try fighting those things with what we have now, so... Yeah. Oh, there's another set of grace over there, though, so... Should probably activate that as my first priority. First priority. Then... This sanctuary stone, and... Hmm. And this is... Wait. What is this? The Tombsward Ruins. 
This is quite small. Oh, there are rats. Hello, rat. Cool. One, two. Yeah, that. The rats are a bit too low to really reliably hit with this. Weird. Yeah. It's not good against small enemies, because it doesn't really reliably. Or actually, if I put on a lot, I could probably hit them. But only if. Is there going to be a scarab on top of here, or... I hear something. Yeah, I see it. I see it. Nice. Let's just go and... Can I... Scarab pierce and die. Is she going to get divine... No, a spell! Divine fortification. Holy damage negation. Ah, you're welcome for the tarnish. So I finally have that, which means the only one... Don't have fire fortification, I don't think. Contations. Now I have flame fortification, magic flame. Fine, but what I need is lightning fortification. Okay, so then let's go back down to the ruins, and that's the Ever Jail over there. Don't lock the thing, but also it's right by one of the churches. So uh, these ruins. The question is: Is there a boss in here, or is it just treasure for free? Oh, there's a. Oh, this guy is funky. Interesting. Just do that again. Mmm, gap closing is tough, but. Impaling thrust is really, really good on the end. Just as a gap closer. Interesting. I really should use the no skill ash of war on my torch. Oh, they're high. And just... Oh, well, you use that too. Fun. Oh, alright. Interesting. And just... What? What? Okay. Seems it can use both. Interesting. I don't like that. Sab and go back. You gotta shoot again, or getting closer. Stab, die. Okay, cool. Nice. There we are. Another flashback, too. Let's just see what's behind here. Hardly even ruins at all. This is the winged side, which I can't use yet. Need more faith. Resembling a pair of white wings, deals holy damage, pagan belief, white wing and maiden, send be death's gentle envoys. Be with white, deliver a slashing attack, impede recovery actions using a flask of tears. Huh. Okay. Well, this could be inter that could be interesting, because it apparently is actually decent as a stance breaker. Decent. But hmm. <laughs> Okay, well, alright. Stab the wolf. Stab and... Okay. Shield poke could be good on them, but... Okay, cool. It... It's not that fast, but it's not that slow either. It's just... It's a cool weapon to use. Down the beach, we got more of those guys, so... Hmm. Chin's Word Ruins, Walking Mausoleum. Okay. I... Maybe I'll just fight the Zamor guy now. Honestly. Got her Flame of Frenzy already. Got her Flask to use, so... Let's just... Put the key in, and... Oh, well, this guy's kind of in the way. Let's use that key. Kind of threw him now. Oh, alright. What else would he use? Weeping Everjail. Cool. Use this. Take out that ancient hero of Zamor. Then we... Is our flask. And then we burn the guy down so we can. Nice. Alright. Cool. And. Ooh. Alright. Fun. You're not all that. You don't approach all that quickly. That's the interesting thing. But. If we get close, things will get harder, presumably. So. Okay. Cool. I. Spread attack negates a lot of your. Silliness with one, two, 
Mm. Cross attacks. A lot of your dodging capabilities, so we can just... We got madness! Great. And now you're just gonna ice up. Cool. And... Okay. Fun. And burn. Got ice on you now. Fun. And oh! Okay. Fun. Okay. Cool. And... A miss. Oh! Alright. Interesting. And just... Alright. Annoying. Mm -mm. So, mm -hmm. What faster now is the thing. And I... So that, there's no fault of that, but okay. Can I, come on, can I take that and burn, burn. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Uh, all right, two, and maybe we just counter with that and dodge. Oh, okay. And can we, oh, never mind. One, and can we, ooh, ooh, okay. Dodge and heal. I really just cannot... Well, okay. And lack of stance on anything that's dropped to and I... Alright. How did that miss me? Okay, cool. Nice. And cool. Take you down with one more frenzy flame and... Cool. Can we take that out and burn with it? Okay, never mind. Okay. We need to use some thrust to then probably... And, well, alright. Can I... Mm -mm. Can't use our impaling thrust and we can... Mm -mm. One, two, and what? Huh? That was faster than I expected. Whatever. Huh. Alright. Try that one more time. It. It's a fun spell, but. And the big thing is that it does negate or deal pretty well with the dodgy enemies, but. Hmm. It's... I still can't get too aggressive. Or too greedy. Okay. Now we need to use this. Yeah. Cool. And can we... Nice. Burn, burn it. Nice. Cool. Cool. Alright. Thanks. And just take that again. Nice. Burn. Mm hmm. Cool. Hmm. See how well we can... Nice, you're coming in, which means we can... Oh, wow, okay, cool. Can I just... Well, stance break was fun, but we did not really make the use of it. I should have. Too... Too silly for that. And I can just dodge... Okay, cool. Nice, and... Uh, how do I want to dodge? What? Okay, alright. Fast. Painfully fast. And can I... Mm hmm Nice. And, oh, okay. Well, I did not mean to do that. Okay. Ooh, all right. Mm -hmm. Crossbite is tough, tough, and ooh, okay. Thanks, thanks. Okay, just dodge and ooh. Frostbite, knock away, and dodge, dodge. Okay, nice. That out, and burn, burn, and should be able to kill. So we can just take that foul foot, and there we are. Cool. Fine. Got a gun scar seal. Nice. Good stuff. Now we're free. Okay. That. Radagon scar seal. Attributes increases damage taken. King concert Radagon. Bigger endurance strength dexterity increases damage taken. Lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We get it. We get it. Let's go up to that America church and level up once and that is another one of those guardian guys oh these are muscle liam knights right and okay cool and just mm, interesting can i stop nice some of those will drop there set we have that brush somehow though fourth church of america and is there a grace here or there is and also another sacred tier there were three sacred tiers here it's actually ridiculous. Okay, cool. Do we have any dialogue here or what? So this side of grace. And flask increasing my replenish and now it's at plus four. Incredible. Cool. Church of America. We didn't have dialogue though. Expected to have 
some dialogue. Let's just go back to that beach, actually. And we can... Well, the ruins are down here. I want to go to that beach and... See what's all there, kill the octopuses. This impaling thrust gap closing ability is just actually kind of insane. See how much a backstab does. Nice, you might be dead and headless, but we can still stab you. And, oh, even through the shield. Wow, okay. Huh. And that, let me see. Pierce's guard, yeah, that, that's just too good. Maybe. It's it's good enough to use. That's what it is. Huh. Okay. Continue our attempts. Keep on moving. Then down over here. Soon be a way to the beach or what? Eventually we'll have to go to the place of return, and I can hear Something. It's gotta be a scarab somewhere. And oh, it's just a health scarab. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, you, you can, you can, you can go there if you want. I won't stop you. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we were in those tombs word ruins. Just gotta. Just wanna check to make sure I didn't miss anything along the way. All that was in the ruins was just that scythe and a couple of guys to beat up, but. Not much more, it seems. It, even if a lot of the stuff we're getting is not stuff we'll probably really use, it is nice that they just have lots and lots of unique items and weapons just for the sake of giving some, giving you something new every time. And you know, the, well, you eventually you can't just buy smithing stones, but you couldn't really use them all, but plenty of options if you're just interested. Options if you want to have them. Hmm. So did that thing disappear or... It did not disappear. Okay, cool. Well, Alright, I don't really care. Alright, let's just slice off these. Slice off the other one. And there we go. Now we can just poke. Oh, nice. We can poke. And... Huh. I get the feeling that... Other stuff might be better, though. Two, three, dodge. Okay, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. Pierce. Yeah, they are very easy to stance break with this thing. Wow. Okay. Cool. I'm just use Impaling Thrust for stance breaks and damage and just obliterate these octopuses. That's fine by me. Beating to a pulp. Beating to a pulpal. Okay. Golden rune. And we... One... Oh, okay. Cool. Hi, interesting. Alright, and what if I stab them? But you can't sever them with a stab somehow, which is interesting. What if I... Mm. Stab. Nice. Take that out. And cool. Nice. Let me just do that again. Oh, wow! If you can get a thrust right in on the head, you can stagger almost instantly. It... Wow. Okay. Cool. Talk about an octopus slayer. Okay. That was nice. Maybe I should have tried that and see if it... Well, I didn't have the stats to wield it. Real the great epi at that point, I didn't have access to Scar Seal, so we're okay. Hey, the big thing is, let's get a 17 dexterity and start using Bloodhound's Fang. And that thing will be an utterly busted option to downright overpowered. Which, you know, we'll see how much I want to use it. Even though I am doing a silly build, the game is long enough that I'll start hitting soft caps. And I can just use stuff like... Oh, the... Crystal tiers in order to raise stats, in order to just meet requirements for things too, so... It shouldn't really be all that tough or complicated. And I might end up... 
wishing I'd use a slightly less cheesy strategy in the end, maybe. Cool. And what is... Huh? Zombies on the shore? Weird. Oh, there's just a giant paka. Oh, okay. Well, that seems like flame of frenzy bait to me. No, really, what are these guys doing? Three, and oh, all right, thanks, and hello, hello. What ha oh, what happened? Are you okay? Oh, oh, and you're gonna miss the dog. Just sad. Well, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll get to see the dog again. Presumably. Okay. Still sorry about that. Hmm, so there's not that much more in. That's fair. I... I'm sure, I'm sure you've heard it at least a million times at this point, but... My family's dog is off in a bit of trouble. Was it fun? Did you get some well-needed sleep? The big mob... That's good, that's good. Huge mob of undead to take down. Uh -huh. Big thing is, we should stay away from... Focusing on the coastline for now. That's nice. One, two. Standard damage. And actually, one. Okay, you need two of these side slashes. In order to take out this guy. So, one, two, three. Nice. Okay. So, all these corpses here. All these zombies. Huh. Yeah, yeah, don't- I, I would not recommend seeing- stealing the dog, especially if you do want to see the dog again. It's the kind of thing that people use as grounds for not letting you see a dog again. And... Okay, so a, a backstab with our grit epi, which is a piercing sword, is very good at criticals. That's good. As long as you did a good job dog-sitting this one time, I presume, they'll want you back. Okay. Come on, let's slash, slash, there we go, and how much of the crab, it'd still work, bludgeoning probably still would've been, but actually I don't know, because given that pretty much everything armor related in this game is weird to piercing, it's because there's so many golem type enemies that they were able to make that work, they might still be weak to piercing in comparison to bludgeoning, definitely in comparison to slashing, because of their carapace, but that big mob of undead, I'm wondering, I'm gonna take them out. I've got a big AoE fire damage spell, but beyond that, I... Not sure, and it would also, you know, probably literally inflict me with madness if I overuse it. Which is a really, really fun way to balance those spells. Just get a status element if you overuse them too much in a certain period of time. Or, of course, you can just use anti-madness medication, basically, to negate that. But either way, it's something you have to consider when using... Those spells that you don't have to consider using other kinds of spells, so it's a unique sort of maintenance condition. Oh, a golden eyed crab. Fun. Yeah, yeah. About five times what they normally drop if they're golden eyed. And so much blood from this corpse. Kinda feel bad for it. Kinda. Only a little, but now it's time to take on the giant mob of undead. Well, after I get rid of these guys, so. Taken on a number of dungeons today. It's been fun. Bit of dungeoneering. Most of them have been quite short with sort of one big gimmick. But I guess, honestly, you could see that as something a similar design concept to Zelda Shrines. Hmm. Okay. Golden Rune 1. Okay, cool. And I hear. Okay, nothing really. Oh, they're high. One, two, three. Good. And we'll keep on going, switch out to the Frenzy. I could just nuke them from horseback. That would probably be the best way to do it, actually. Just nice and good stuff. Okay, cool. Keep on. Make sure my build-up doesn't get in the way too much. And thanks, and oh, oh they interrupted my cast. It's not good. And nice. Yeah, this is just very, very nice for taking them down. Well, individually quite weak, so... Using something like this just lets you... 
burn them down quite quickly. Interesting. I really don't imagine there would be all that much. And of course we fell off our horse. Uh. Yeah, die. Fall off your horse. That's a that's a JoJo quote, by the way. It is. It is a little funny. And cool. Uh, ooh, all right. And, oh, of course we went for the grab attack. Whatever. All right. Cool. Stab, stab. Oh, but we want two-handed, right? Stab, stab, and I know that in uh, Sekiro there was a huge group of monkeys, and so you killed every single monkey. You got to drop it. Okay. We were rewarded with a feeling of accomplishment for having killed every single one of those. What is this? Oh, a golden rune five in there. I think that might be more or less the intended reward. Okay, but it's general area around here. It's ruins, the church, shack here, and a tower that will send us to... No, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. If anyone would know, it would be you, so I presume you're joking. And can I... Mmm, never mind. Okay. So we gotta stop that guy, but we don't even have any remembrances to duplicate yet. It's funny. Just touch of this grace, and oh, a merchant! Hello. Hello. Is the isolated merchant's shack. Take this. Here at the end of the earth. This is Wandering Mausoleum. Twigs, Lost Ashes of War. Eh, I don't really need that, though. Buy all those. And smithing stones, arterial leaf. Don't need that. Festering fingers. Don't need that. Oh, that's special. Turn on. Again to turn off. Wait for the lantern. Dimmer the torch. Bring up hands. But it's a torch anyway. It's Vihander. Colossal sword. But it doesn't have that high of a requirement. I... That is more of a compliment than I would ever pay to her. Let's level up real quick. Again. Endurance or intelligence? We'll go for endurance right now. Okay. She is the... School of Graven Mages. What are they weak to again? Weak to... Strike damage makes sense. Cool. Almost. Maybe. Maybe. Either way, I advise you to refrain from recklessly complimenting Jojo Siwa. You might come to regret it later. It's just... Okay, Ryan, we should switch out the Ash of Runs Club. Ashes of War... Said you might come to regret it later. Complimenting Jojo Siwa. Recklessly. Hmm. Okay. Not like that. Not like that. Can't two-hand anything on horseback anyway. Keep on looking. Torch is good. Just keep the torch, so. Well, good. But calling someone a stand user is... Feels like a conflict to me. Oh, these guys have basically no... No stance. That's crazy. Can we... Slam... Wow. Alright. Fun. Her. I suppose. Hmm. Take down. Actually, the club might be the best way to take. The mausoleum down. Get it to stop moving. Good stuff. Okay, well, I don't need to actually beat them. We'll be okay. All these mausoleum knights in the general vicinity. Hmm. Let's keep on walking, go past those ruins. Hmm. hmm. Keep on walking, just make sure we don't miss anything of any kind of note, large or small. Okay. Alright, then. We got all these knights. Okay. Actually, what I might like to do, if I'm taking all these guys on, use this flask. Get okay, more strength and a jump attack should be. One taps now. Slam and ooh, alright. We were under that. Nice. And I ooh, right. Take that off. Cool. Slam. And then slam again. Cool. 
And hit. There we go. Stagger you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did she have a ukulele too? Come on. And nice. Done. Bolt. Bolt. Okay. Mm -hmm. Golden rune ends. Interesting. How do I? Trina lilies. Can I get up here and... Oh, there's another cave. Aha, uh -huh, okay. This is... Oh, Tombsward Cave. Interesting. Wow. Funky. That... I'm not sure whether I'm surprised by that or not. Okay. There's another dungeon. Let's actually stop this mausoleum first. Tombsward Cave. Okay, cool. So otherwise you could just drop down there some other way. Fun, and I, ooh, a cut and cell swords right here? Insane. I, okay, alright. One, two, three, four. Okay. From what I heard, and I may be wrong, I saw someone talking about the whole James Charles fiasco recently, and oh, basically, what what was said was that it was almost certainly really just Toddy Westbrook. It is like whack-a-mole. Trying to get revenge on him for, quote-unquote, betraying her in business. Which, well, whatever. In the end, I think what a lot of people forget about, or just maybe don't know or don't like to think about, is that any kind of attention economy-based thing is, attention is inherently incredibly competitive and cutthroat. And that if you have... Basically, they said he was "quote unquote" a groomer because he made a con he made a comment about wishing, basically, wanting straight guys to go gay, and because well, and it's just, which is you know an incredibly normal experience for him to have, you know, logically speaking, his dating pool is going to be inherently smaller being a gay guy than being a straight guy, in most cases. But they people portrayed it as basically saying he was trying to coerce or trick straight men into being gay, which, well, uh, okay. Basically, people hated him and found him annoying already, and saw it as an excuse to just get rid of him, more or less. The big thing is, it's actually like a curse about a grave reply from Dark Souls 3. <laughs> Just have to break these skulls until they stop moving. Most of these aren't really high up. Sometimes they have ones that are high up that you need some kind of projectile to hit. Okay, and can I... Big thing is staying out of the way of it. It's not a boss fight or even an enemy as much as an environmental puzzle to solve. So I... Okay, ooh, we got hit by the shockwave, but not by much else. So I can slam... Wait, what? Huh? Oh, but no, it's it's going down now. It's collapsing now, so let's try not to die. Cool. Alright. So we finish that up. Hmm. That tomb's word. Is the mausoleum, or... I open this, but... We don't even have any remembrances to duplicate. Almost. Almost. This is the dead demigod in here. Headless, too. It's duplication. Duplicate remembrances you've acquired. Already drawn up power included. Only once per mausoleum, and we literally don't have any to duplicate right now. Okay. And we can't break those, but whatever. Well, alright. There is a cave to go through, too, interestingly enough. I, I don't know what you learned in Holland, but I would be happy to find out. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
That is, I will admit, one of my pet peeves and one I inherited from my father. That you don't have to preface things. You can just say them. I'll ruin face, hands, and feet. Well, because of Protestant iconoclasts. Isn't that right? And there were iconoclasts. And I guess we could go in here now. Wait, this dungeon and the rest left. Yeah. Protestants when the church isn't beige. Fair. We have had this conversation before. And we'll definitely have it again. So let's take our great epi back on. Figure out what we need to fight here. If it's another bear, I might commit seppuku. Okay. Who all is going to be in here? And do we need a... I thought I saw a rot. No, that was the other part. Oh, it's... Poison is here. Poison is here. Fun. Okay, cool. Maybe I would want cure poison for this. Maybe. Probably not, actually. So I... Dodge. On to... It, it, it is what it is. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's just... It... Oh, okay. So, guess who needs to take cure poison here? Me. Alright, then. It's either that or just a bunch of boluses. Yeah! Well, I guess it's it's less of a swamp and more of a poisonous pool. I don't really think... Swamps don't tend to be underground, is the thing. Let's equip... Yeah, instead of heal, we don't really need that. What we want is cure poison. Okay, cool. Well, all right. Let's try this again. We're chilling. 71? Maybe just 9. Okay. Maybe 80 or 82. It's just a little bit different. 2 and... Mm. Big thing is that poison is still building up in most of these spots. Like so 1, 2, 3, and... Oh, goodness. All right. Thanks. Cure poison. Cool. All right, all right then. My hand to my head. And toxic mushroom. I suppose in Rotten Lands, toxic mold effective ward against Scarlet Rot. Okay. Hmm, sort of in the way of it having light poisoning prevents you from getting full poisoning. I suppose. And I mm, keep on looking. I uh, hmm. Poison bloom, and we need to just take some of these guys down. And the nice thing is that it's not impeding our movements. And there we go. About what? I hope I didn't ruin it for you. Okay. So I probably did. Oh, this... Yeah, okay. Statues. It is cool. And we can... We we'll try to find a frenzy, but actually these things just die. Okay. Understandable. It's okay. Just... You have to find a way to pass it off as endearing. That's that's all you gotta do. Try up. Oh, okay. Go around and then drop down this pool again. Maybe I... Oh, okay, cool. One, two, three, four, and... Oh, I... Alright. I, never mind. I, okay. Cool. Interesting. Let's cure poison. <laughs> that poison bone dart and another poison bloom. So presumably we have to loop around this way, maybe? Maybe. Bombs, natural disasters, bronze to make cannons, and... I... I remember reading about during the sort of Italy's, for lack of a better term, warring states period, that there was a specific duke who did that and was thought to be incredibly impious because of that. I read about that in in one of the classes I did in college. I read, we, we had to read a bit of Guicciardini's Ricordi, and I know that was mentioned in there at one point. The guy who did that. And, all right, we can... Stab, stab, stab. Okay. Stab, stab. Is that 
Ferrara, or am I? I'm probably wrong. Oh my goodness. Die, die. And the fact that I have to frame this to actually hit it all is annoying. Okay, cool. Secure that poison before I die. Alright, cool. That's building up quite fast. I don't like that. Oh, giant rat. Fun. Okay, cool. Stab. Stab. And rat. Rat critical? Rat critical. Okay. But do you know who it was? Okay. Take that in. Use that as a white cure. Uh, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 8. Fun. Poison Grease, Russian Poison Greens. Lots longer than traditional cured meat. Reduced effectiveness. White sliced meat. Hmm, interesting. Oh, alright, and... Okay, cool. And, oh, not like that, not like that, and... Okay. Stab! Stab, and... It's just so good for breaking stance. It's so great about it. And... Okay, cool. Thanks. Alright. The item... Okay, cool. And more poison, of course. Hmm. Right then, we'll keep on going around it. Okay. I had to go up, I think, to get to that flower. There wasn't a ladder there, I think. I don't think so. That... Wait, what? Okay, yep, this over here was the drop down we had to do. Thanks, alright. Kill the other flowers and... One, two, three, four, and... Okay, alright. The slash is more damage. Is it always the liar? Randa powder and... An arteria... Okay, whatever. It's not nothing. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, there was... He did try to seize the Vatican. And that narrowly did not happen. Only narrowly. Not oh, wait, what? Poisonous slime? Huh? That's new to me. Weird. Interesting. Okay. And... Okay, Flame of Frenzy. Destroys those guys, that's good. Okay. Let's just go over here and... Cool, cool. Nice. Okay, alright. Fun. Okay. Oh, but it kept building up. Oh, because the... Maybe if we do soap or something. Well, whatever. Whatever. Okay. So is there a boss through here? Where boss it is, is going to be through here. This is... Oh, literally just a random blossom. In a very interesting location. Okay, cool. Let's just burn them all down. Fun. Wow, and yeah, in an exceptionally small location, too. Fun. That's how that's supposed to be tough. Just they stick you in a really bad place to fight it. That's funny, actually. Actually, what I could do is... Let's use a bunch of stance breaking. Thrusts. And cool. There we go. And... All right. It's a good way to fight this thing. From a frenzy is fun, though. Die, and just use this thing. Cool. The fact that they made the flower a boss is funny. And we found Viridian Amber Medallion. It sad becomes amber. Most precious of jewels. Life energy. Same description as the other one. And you have Dimmer Bator tearing up the user's hands. And so you stride. Queen up around its feet first. Okay, cool. This ends. That was... It was actually interesting just because of how constrained it is. So, essentially, it's pretty hard to avoid poison there. Okay. Hmm. Oh, if I'd used my... Ah. Uh, to grace. Use that tier, I probably would have done a good damage with fire anyway. I... I'm not sure that's in my skill set. I'll get back to you on that one. The only thing left, this upper part is this here, and then there's this stuff down here, but I'll probably save that for later, because that's got a sort of mini, sort of mid-sized dungeon in the castle. That dismal church and the ailing village are separate there. Interesting. 
just basically just using the highest requirement. The spell of a given damage type that I have access to. It's generally a good way to make sure my damage is pretty good. That said, some spells are, of course, situation-oriented, but still. Some are good for sniping, some are good for AoE, some are all sorts of things. Dexterity, hmm. intelligence. So I bet I could get, I could already equip what Hunt's Fang using Scar Seal, but we'll see. I'm actually, I don't think I'm going to use Scar Seal nearly as much as I thought I was going to. I thought I would get a lot of use out of the seals because, you know, it's a lot of free stats normally balance out by the fact that most of them are stats you don't particularly need, but, you know, since I'm leveling every single stat, I can make a lot of use out of them, but even so, I'm not, you may, I'm generally not making use of every single stat at once, is the thing. Okay. Well, let's actually switch out to club again. Okay, cool. Nice. My poise is still decent. I do appreciate that this game brings back usable poise after Dark Souls 3 did not really have it. Okay, hi, hello. One, two, and not a lot of poison here. Great dragonfly head. All right, cool. Let's just use some more cure poison. These poison swamp ruins are certainly something. So all these marionettes, and there's also a so anyway, oh, a spiked spear. Okay, cool. Come on. Okay, cool. Two, three, four. All right, cool. And, well, we're poisoned now. Marinette soldier armor. Let's go over to a decent location. Well, just take out this thing as soon as possible, actually. I like that. And can we switch? I can't switch. Okay, my goodness. Okay. One, two, three. Dodge. One, two. Three, and... Oh my... What? Oh, okay. Huh. That School of Graven Mages was... more annoying than I expected it to be. Yeah. We were just too slow on the draw. The big issue is that I thought I'd switch my staff to the club, and... instead of just put me in a casting animation where nothing got cast. Let's check out those items. A Marionette Soldier Armor, Metal Bends and a Lattice, Marionette Soldier Serve the Sorcerers, Crude armor, rust indented. Dull, the only thing that matters is that it does not break. It's like cylinder, long pole, strike damage from swung, so a strike damage spear or spikes into support loss. And it's soldiers employed by soul sorcerers. Okay. Hmm. Oh, but of course, if I stay on torrent, I don't have to deal with the poison. That's right. Right. Okay. Cool. And just kill. Nice. Now you're dead again. Cool, and I- oh, alright, thanks. One, two, and us the way, that magic artillery. Thank you, thank you. Strike damage is what I needed to use on it, so. One, two, and, uh, Okay, and- oh my goodness, alright. Slam. I- My poise is still really, really good. I don't need to worry about too much here. Which is nice. Of course, yeah, you can avoid the status entirely by just using- Torrent to ride on, if you want. And big thing is, I think there's one more because we didn't get our our flask replenished yet. Cuckoo Glintstone. Ah, we have a magic power for sorcery. Rock straight ahead. She's worth one point of impact. Use it to toss behind an enemy and hit them from behind if you know what you're doing. But. There are also spells, including spells we can get here, that approximate the same kind of thing, so... Still don't really need it. Okay. Then there should be one more marionette soldier. One, two, yeah, okay, cool. That, yeah, but that was a completed enemy group taken out. Let's just check inside the ruins. We've been here before. That's where I killed that, killed the witch. Has it entertained you? But we're not going to do that because we actually want to do her quest line now. Oh, there. We're part of the head, therefore give up. Old friends. Hmm. It's her real body as opposed to the puppet. Do no good, I swear it. Hmm. Resist. Hmm. Can't free her yet. Okay. Interesting, but. Now we found her true body, I'm sure we can mention it to her. Ideally. 
eventually it will get targeted by her enemies too. We'll have to resurrect her elsewhere. But for now, we know where that is, so that's good. Now that mausoleum for whenever I feel like duplicating remembrances, which will be later. Okay. Hmm. Over here, I guess the big question is... I don't think most of the mausoleum knights are... No, some of them are still patrolling. This is... Hello? That is... There was the tower returned to her home bathed in rains of gold. Yep, the tower of return, so is just foreshadowing the fact that if you go in that tower, it will literally teleport you to Lando. At least sometimes. Which is a late game area. Well, a mid game area, the sort of mid game dungeon. And I, oh, alright, thanks. Oh, I can actually wield this. Oh, because I boosted my strength, so now I can wield this one-handed when I otherwise wasn't able to. That's right. Okay, cool. And we got you. Thanks. Slam. Die. Some more bolts. Sometimes they drop their armor. It's pretty interesting. It's not especially amazing, but it's got wings. Not wings that let you fly, but silly aesthetic. Hmm. Oh, the only thing that's really left would be going to the tower, and then, well, of course, we have to go back to... Oh, Arterial Leaf. Eventually, you can get them as enemy drops, but... I'm not really interested in crafting. Well, you can craft with them anyway, so... Which is, again, just meat. Hmm. So, there's not that much left. Shack, and then... Which is what might be out over here. Maybe... Hmm. We'll see. We've gone through here and... Oh, I think... A bell-bearing hunter appears here eventually, so... Put down... This. Yeah. Eventually we'll have to figure out all the places we can fight the thing. And then we have... What else? Go over here by the water. Hmm. I feel like I hear somebody or something. Vaguely scared of, like, twinkling noises, but... There are many reasons that can happen, and many ways it can happen. Many ways it can happen, so... It's not in and of itself any proof of anything. Hmm. So, I... Uh, interesting. I... I don't need this... Club or anything in particular. If I don't need strike damage in particular, I'm probably better off with the Epe. So it's gap closing abilities. And I was probably a uh, heavy load? I don't think actually. Golden rune. Where is everybody through here? Should be wolves around. Golden rune three. And a golden rune one. Oh, because we didn't have any in our No we did, because I didn't use them all, but showing it more than I would expect. Golden rune one. Golden Rune 1. Mm -mm. Now the wolves are coming. We couldn't actually get that there. Well, whatever. Right? Okay. Cool. Roll. Stab. And okay. Alright. Mm -mm. Let's just check. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I am losing my interest in this. I mean, I'm not losing my interest. I'm not losing my interest in this. I don't even know why I said that. I'm just interested to see. And okay, good to check, but nothing past here. Not every dead end can be a rewarded dead end. Cool, and just stab the wolf. All right. Oh, but the impaling thrust would be good. I wonder if I could stance break the wolf and get a critical or something. Presumably, you can get a critical on the wolf, but presumably. And then, okay, another wolf. Hello, wolf. Hi. And just impale. Cool. Nice. Hmm. Fun going. Then. Hmm. <coughs> so what then? Just more or less around here. Got all there was to get in there, which was, of course, not much. Let's keep on looking. 
Once I'm able to use... How many more wounds would I need for another level? I... Hmm. I'm wondering what another level would be. I could get another level, one more level of dexterity, just to be able to actually use the Bloodhound's Fang. And then I could try using it on some other enemies after that. Oh, hello there, hi. And, okay, up there, and what else? Enemies right now, so I can't do all that much, but I can do this. Oh, well, one, two, and, okay, I see fire somewhere. I don't like that. Thanks, just stab and ooh, nice. And can we? Yep, and you can spear multiple enemies in the tip of your sword. If you know what you're doing, that's fun. That tower up there will teleport us to a much later game area. It's sad it's not as if it'll get us stuck there. We will be able to get a decent talisman for our trouble, but still. And there we are. Let's just take you out. One, two. Thank you. Goodbye. There's the corpse and another mushroom. It's just this little bit over this way, including that tower. Go to Landill, and presumably we get the ability to wield Bloodhound's Fang. And I go back and try my hand against the soldier, and maybe the Scions? Big thing is that I do want to go back. Hero's Grave, well, I still remember that... It's got some fire traps that I might be able to whip myself up on. Which could also just be a really funny way to take down the Scion. So the question is whether enemy attacks also raise and lower the fire trap. Which, I don't think they would, but they might. That's the question. So if they don't, then I would just use that for hilarious cheese. Okay, now you're here. Okay, and a mounted Godric Knight. Okay, alright, alright. And Wait, what? Huh? Interesting, I... Wonder what that was. Three. And then. Corpse and oh, there's a blister right there. Okay, cool. Okay, interesting. Fun. Need to run in close and take those guys out as quickly as possible. Take them out and therefore. Oh, thanks. Alright. One. Hmm. And I, oh, interesting. I, okay. Far, far, far. Come back around, presumably. Get back up here. Come on, come on. The Boyster just can't hit me from here, so... I... Alright, and can we... And, oh, not if we aim like that. And just impale! Impale, and... Oh, we knocked you off your horse, which means... Just go for the kill. Nice! And the horse itself is... Also dead. Sad, really. Alright. Alright, then. Hmm, let's just... Run in and... Stab... Stab again, and cool. Ooh, took a hit, though. And that took out enough to give us some blast back, which is fun. I tower of return, but... Hmm, mm hmm. Let's see. Just gonna keep on looking. Then we could use this to get up there, too. Actually. What if I... Hmm, that kind of worked, kind of. Well, all right. I'm not going to open the chest up there yet, because it will teleport me back. Oh, tell not teleport me back, but teleport me to a place I don't want to go at the moment. But I'm going to take out the guys by the boys, so they just don't pester me while I do a couple more things in here. Hello there. Hi. One, two. Oh, and also that. Cool. And let's just slash this up. There we are, no more boys, but that is a transporter trap. Where we have city. Yeah, because it takes you to Lane Dill, the golden capital. There isn't even any kind of reward here. Clearing this camp out. But it, in the end, they actually kind of foreshadow it pretty well with, well, just the Tower of Return. But what does that mean? And to be fair, it's foreshadowing that really doesn't tip you off until it's already happened, but, you know, it's sort of a, oh, yeah, that's what they meant by, meant by return. It sends you back to Lanedale, their home. And then I, oh, okay, cool. Just stab, stab that bat. 
cool. Hmm. Okay. So then I will to do on those octopuses are gonna be fodder for me, and I hear a scarab somewhere. Interesting. Hmm. It might just be the tear scarabs over by the tree. It's very possible. I... Hmm. Okay. That up there, is that anything? Is this anything? I... Well, try that again. One, two, and... Well, ugh. It's dangerous. This is fraught. Then we'll... One, two, and nothing up here. Great. Where's the jumping? Thanks. Hmm. This was anything. Was this anything? It's a great dragonfly head. Great. And... Not much left. And I do hear something, so I'm curious. Piercing might... I think piercing was good there. I might have had. Maybe because of the placement, because it's... All about which hitbox on the truly connect with, I think, the shell one, or the actual flesh hitbox. Hmm. Saw that, but let's see. All of the octopuses and anything else over here, or... Well. Interesting. Fun looking, we've already more or less been up here, but... Yeah, okay. Hmm. Look, and we have. Is that a scarab or a. I hear a scarab, but that's literally right by that minor ur tree already, so. Not a sign of all that much. Okay. One, two. I, huh. Really am just confused. Stab and. Sometimes they are invisible, but then they leave a light trail as they go around, and that is not happening here. Hello, hello, nice, die. Cool. Then I... Or fireflies, but... I... Oh, no, it's just in the pond, but I... Stab, and what was that? That was... Oh, just a... Cool, one of the health scarabs that... Okay, cool. One... Oh, my goodness. Can I... That was all. Okay, cool. And just, can we move in and stab you? One, two, now that we need a few drops, really. Okay, I guess. Alright. Hmm, but after this, yeah, we just go to the Tower of Return. Try that. Then we inhale, get both. One, and, ooh, alright, thanks. Oh my goodness, okay. Cool, maybe. Suppose, and can I, oh my goodness. Can I, stab, stab, and... Gotta free in that, but can we... Mm, not if we... You have to hit the head, and there we go. Take that. Big repulse damage. Cool. And then we just do that again. And... Mm, this one might have more. Well, I guess it's just... There is some time in which you can't, probably. Hit it again. Break its stance again until it fully recovers. Can't just keep it down forever. Can I, mm, the spin was pretty cool, but left a bit to be desired, so I, okay, nice. Take that. Mm. Dragonfly heads are good, but I keep selling the mosquitoes when they're not mosquitoes. And yeah, we got some flashback nuts, we got some fireflies, which is also good for me. There we go, and let's just grab these gold fireflies so that later when I have to craft more golden foul feet inevitably I don't need to farm as many. It seems that it's at about 11. That's really good. And that tower of return. And go to the little bit of a lane that we can access this early and then I think yeah we could level up once, level up another time to use the other stuff, so, yeah. Is there anything else over here? There was not anything else over here. It's, it's kind of a shame that that invisible scarab I heard just 
did not really give me anything. But I guess if it had given something good, it would have felt worse than I get it. I suppose. What was that one scarab in Stormhill? I could hear. It's kind of funky. But presumably it would have also just been health or FP or something like that. So over here we get caught in another transporter trap, our third one of the run. There aren't that many in the game, really. Yep. Oh, baby metal and monster. I didn't I didn't see that message, sorry. I, I don't know. I actually don't know. I mean, maybe not expect, but also maybe not be surprised by. Here we are in Wayne Till Golden Capital, which shows you that's how big the map gets and how far away we can get from where we already were. Great. See the outline, but not the fog. See the outline, but not the actual detail. Good amount of stuff, though. Phantom Cave, Celia Crystal Tunnel. Yeah, yeah. All this up here. And then there's even more elsewhere, too. So we can't even activate this at the moment. The interaction simply does not move. But eventually you can... Occasionally, if you have an invader, you can be some over there. Well, they're definitely a gimmick group, but that's for certain. That's... it's very subjective. I guess... What I would say, though, is that they're probably not targeting the standard audience, for better or worse. Soldier cap. Okay, we can level up one more time. Yeah. But... I think what a lot of people are unintentionally getting at is that for a lot of people the definition of a genre is of, 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 yeah, often about target audience oh more than just the music itself I mean that's pop is a genre is literally defined entirely by its audience if it's popular, it's pop, definitionally. It's where it begins and ends. And we can just slam that in. Okay, mmm. The tears are tough. I, okay. Dodge, dodge. Oh, well, alright, that was really slow. Okay. Okay, cool. And just slam, and. Alright, well, that did not quite work. Eventually, sometimes they just fall off. Okay, well, we can just. Get all the way to that, and cool. Hit the that. Oh wait, what did I? Hmm? There we go. Is it costing more to taking more to break its stance after every additional time, or am I going crazy? I don't know. Well, of course, again, both can be true at once. Can't go over there yet until we access it through normal. Wayne Dill is the thing, and I okay, cool. Slam, slam, and break. Nice, and okay, can we? Break again, and mm, the fire is that kind of sucked. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right, and just move in, and can I mm, dodge? Can I? Okay, interesting. Just, ooh, okay. And uh, slam. I need a bit more than okay. Slam, and uh, gotta break the stance, and I, okay, cool. Stance break, and close, but I. Oh, is it? It's not going to be in a location I can actually hit. It's ridiculous. One, two, three, four. I okay. Hmm. Oh, okay. I. Interesting. I was not aware of that part. Huh. Okay. Well, for better or worse, my dad likes them. And I, oh, right, we didn't get that. Well, I definitely need to use that. If it had fallen in a more convenient location for me, 
is I just could not reach it for the for the critical after knocking it over. So the golden spots are, as you may surmise, its weak points. So, uh, hmm, okay. Go back and hit these ruins before any of that happens. If we get behind it. That would be better, presumably. And, okay. Dodge, ooh, okay. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh, please. Okay, alright. And dodge, and can we take and slam? Okay, alright. Interesting. And just slam it. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, my goodness. That sucked. Hmm. I guess. Target audience is a weird kind of question. Because. The primary audience for both metal stuff and idle stuff is both. It's, you know, sort of slightly older, well, sort of younger. It's adult men in either case. But. Maybe different kinds of adult men? I really don't know. Oh, but we need, right, we need that flask, right? Okay, flask of wondrous physic. And one break, almost. Break, break, and there you fall. Fall down, thanks. Let's getcha. Cool. And, alright, that should have helped a little bit. Okay, and gotta wait till we get back up, and three hits will do it. So, can we slam and, alright. Yo, fire, maybe? And I. Oh, alright. Fun. I guess. Alright, cool. With this, and. Can we? Just stay out of the way, or what? Okay. Yes? Legitimately? Yes? Okay. Well, it. It does, in part, depend on the gender of the group. But, even still, I would say that even female J-pop groups... I mean, female K-pop groups are generally targeting a female audience. Uh, I need to lure you closer to here. Annoying. Yeah. Nice, and... Get him close. I need to... Oh, alright, I, okay. Keep on running, and slip, and, oh my goodness, okay. Oh my, oh, okay. Alright. Mm -mm. I need to, uh, slam, and can I do this again, and break. They, I guess they just have really fast stance recovery, it's possible. Break, and, mm -mm. Oh, little. I mean, they are Golems of a sword. And there we are. We finally got another hit in. So let's go for critical again. Nice. But it's... The guy really is just... Hmm. Very tough. And... Alright. Hmm. And up. Cool. Alright. And just try this again. And take... Okay. Uh, Alright. Dodge. Dodge and can we, Okay, up. Uh, oh, well. Oh, we got the stagger, but we died too. You're kidding. Okay. Fair. I. Because that's what's really tough, is that. Okay. Right. Uh, is that they do have really fast stance recovery, it seems, which means. If I don't get on them constantly, I'm just going to be losing my ability to break stance. I need to stay on them. And can I break? And, oh, well, okay. Or what I could do is just spam jumping attacks on their heels. Yeah. Isn't this how you fight, by the way? Nipping at ankles. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, Alright, let's just get this. 
around you and cool. Alright then. Come on. Slam and oh well we messed that up. Snap uppercut. Well, it's not as if you haven't said it before. And cool. Oh, okay, alright, and Oh I Oh nice, we got that. Good. And then we which way is you're over here? This is kind of slightly annoying. But you almost got back off, but we managed to do it in time. Good. Okay. Really, really high damage from that, too. Uh, wait. Mmm. Oh, ooh, all right. Fun. Harder than this? Somehow I find that hard to believe. And you're going to back up slowly, so we can just wait till you stop breathing and fire and go for another upper cut and all right. Thanks. Okay, cool. And dodge, and can we take, oh my goodness, okay, take, take, and dodge, oh my, ah, my stamina regen was just not working, what? Okay, I gotta kill this guy, I gotta kill this guy, I'm supposed to be here right now anyway, and I can do it, it's not as if it's attack, it's attacks or one hit kills, which means it Shouldn't be a huge problem in the end. Cool. Thanks, thanks. And we'll just go over there and... One... Do oh, okay. But I... What a god-awful attack. I actually hate you. Thanks, thanks. Cool. One... What if we... I was gonna say, what if we knocked you off the edge, but... We can't do that. Probably not. But I... Big thing is, I need to find a way to stay behind it. Because if I... If I'm in front of it, it will just... Do that little... Pound attack, and I just cannot put up with that. It's way too spicy for me right now. And, okay, cool. And just... Alright, alright. Oh, what? Okay. It... It happened the last time I fought this... I fought it once. You saw me fight this thing. I think you did. With my mage build. And it, that's how it died. It killed me and fell off and I didn't get its runes. Which, I, I don't really want that to happen this time. It may come as a surprise to you. Okay, alright. Well, cool. Okay, and... Slam. And just... Can we... Break it? Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. And just slam. Slam! Okay, there we are. There we go. Cool. And just... Two of those runes, I guess. But also... Other stuff. Cool. Nice. Went back a bit. Let's retrieve those lost runes. And also avoid death. Okay, cool. And slam. And can we... Mm, can we... Slam that and okay, up uh, alright. Thought I could make it work, I could not. Okay. Well, I uh, alright, and okay, cool. Can we slam and Okay, cool. And oh well that's an interesting place for you to go. Fun. How about you just get back through here? I would recommend it. It'd be nice for me. But I mm, can I slam that down or what? Okay, cool. Slam it. All right, slam it all right, slam it all right, and break it, miss entirely, cool, slam and there we are, so this is going to be a slightly more convenient place to fight you, presumably, run around before you get back up, and cool, slam, slam, all right, we need one more, one more, one more, and, okay, Oh, wait, what? Oh, you can just chain stagger like that while it's getting back up? Oh, that's crazy. Okay, I... No, I think that was a chain stagger rather than a critical, so I... Interesting, okay. Let's flask it up and get behind you, or... Let's see. And interesting, so we'll just draw around. It can be... Mm, but around this way is... Top up. Okay, cool. Thanks. What in the goddamn? We were so close to. 
Big thing is, I literally cannot afford to fight in any kind of close quarters. That... I simply will not be able to dodge its attacks if I do that. Hmm. Okay. As I just... It got me against a wall and I couldn't do anything against it. That's the issue. And then to chain stagger this thing would be... A bit of a tall order, but not a bad idea, if possible. Ooh, and just can we... So, two of those stomps and another jump attack are actually just enough poise to knock you down. Fine. Hmm, that helps things a little, I think. And, alright, rank, and... Come on, go back in here and... Actually, it'll stop so we can just stop again and... Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's easier. Is it getting easier? Interesting. Okay. Cool. It's getting easier to break as we manage time and time again, or what? Thanks, and... Oh, I... All right. Cool. Nice. Can I? Okay, that shockwave was something, too. Okay, and... Mm, just roll, and can I... Slam, black, and one. Can I slam? Here we are, and is this going to be the last one? It should be. One more big critical of the belly. And, all right, no more of you. Good. Okay, finally. That garbage is over. Didn't get any kind of special reward from killing it, but necessary item ahead. That is, right, that's just, that's the land of wall, and... You can see the Limbrave Divine... No, it's only a Divine Tower. Thank you, thanks. This is Precious Item Ahead. This is the... Blessed Dew Talisman, which... Gradually restores HP, drop of sap, of blessed boons, like a sacred tear. Sap of the Earth Tree, dripping was banished forever, but that age of 20 swiftly came to a close in the time. Earth Tree became more an object of faith. Interesting. As opposed to a real boon. Okay, so let's... Can't go here yet. Can't have been used now. We have to come back later once we've actually gotten in. And see that giant dragon over there, too. Eventually I'll have to climb on the thing, actually. It's pretty fun. I... I used to be pretty good at singing. Big thing is we can use the Fang now, so let's actually use the Fang. Level up our decks by one. And try finding the soldier again, maybe. Maybe. I wonder. Hmm. Well, Took it for dead. No matter, all the same are your arms. Strengthen the Bloodhound's Fang, which pretty soon we can actually use. One of those. Another of those. Have any more yet, but okay, cool. Fair. We need 12. Well, we'll just eat our runes now and pop them all. Try to get enough for one more level, and then fight some things again. Go back to the graves and do all that. Cool, cool. Thanks, thanks, thanks. And a bit more. Decent number of these, so. Okay. And we need. Maybe for the next level up, we need. About. Two and then. 100. 400. 27 of. The tiny baby runes. Got so many of these. It's nice to have them, just to make up a small difference, but it's time to start using Bloodhound's Fang, because we're about to get really crazy. Cool. Nice. Mm -hmm. Bloodhound's Fang, and let's wield it with both hands, but we can just wield it with both hands. Oh, but we can't even switch anything right now, because, well, big things would be in French Folk Hero's Grave. As well as... S 
see for a river, and then we then we just go to Castle Morn, and really everything in here will be done. Almost everything. I might actually like to. Let's see. Memorize spell, take Scholar's Armament, maybe. Put that on the thing. Might actually prefer. Let's see if this works in comparison, but I might actually want Drunkard's Shield. That might be better, maybe. Load, but. Hmm. <laughs> Put the Demi Human Queen staff on, and then we can use Scholar's Armament. Yeah, okay. Take off for. There we go, okay, cool. This should be useful. Bloodhound's Finesse, let's just show this thing off real quick in our. This is at 240, which is quite good. Mm -hmm. Jump back and use a strong attack. We'll leap forward. Yeah, yeah. It's from the Bloodhound Knight that we fought a bit earlier. Thing is, we need. This should probably serve us well. The big thing is that the grafted signs won't actually respawn. That's the big deal. So we can simply. We can focus on trying to kill one, maybe, and then the rest, possibly. I want to see how much damage this deals with and without Scholar's Armament to some characteristic enemies. Which damage, the damage increase might do. The big thing is that this has specially high jumping attack values. It's 246. Let's try this. Put that on there, and mm, that took a bit more than I might have liked, but 46 versus 275. That, it's not crazy, but it's still nice. Okay, cool. And just slam that down. Take you out. Go down again, and yeah. So the damage of this on those guys could actually, maybe if I was lucky, get a stance break. That would be really, really good. Well, we'll see. Big question is, if I jump up on top of that flame platform, would I be able to get anything special or different? Thanks, and out of the way. Break for a sword and slam, slam, slam. Nice. Okay, there's some other guys past here who I'd like to get rid of too, so... Oh, they're high. And just, oh my goodness, can I slam down and take it? Well, okay. One, two, cool. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Go and kill more imps. No, we have to round. We have to loop back around first. That's right. Hmm. But we're a good deal tankier than we were the last time we were here, so it should be helpful. Funny glowing boy sword. Good stuff. We drop down here and this should last a little while longer. Hmm. <laughs> I get if I went up top is the question, and it's over, which means let's put the bow back on. Shoot the thing. Oh, we didn't want the horn bow, but whatever. It'll still work. We just rush in, shoot this. Cool. Nice. Take this off. Cool. Two-hand this thing, and one, two, three, four. Okay. Hmm. All right. And if I use this, can I? Eh, nothing. Nothing in particular. Yeah, I could get really high up and maybe try to just let the fire torch them. Should be a really, really fun way of doing things. But you know, if it works, it works. Literally, whatever works. Okay. Stance damage from the skill is good, too. I should probably use this right now to just boost the strength a bit, still. Scholar's Armament on here, and then maybe just try spamming the skill on the first one. See if I can get a stance break. Maybe. There we are, so let's try that and just use that a bit. Now you're down here, so that means one, jump it. Oh, okay, we did get a hit, but that was still a little silly. Oh, oh, oh all right, thanks. Okay. 
Hmm, so what if I were them all in here? What if? Were them all through here and managed to get them to... Oh, wait, the damage was incredibly good. Thanks, and... One. Swoop in and slash. All right, cool. Thanks. I, all right. I, hmm. And the negation increase is really, really useful. Can I jump and slam it? Okay, all right. And dodge, dodge. Hmm. Let's just try that again. And yep, it is affecting them, actually, so... Hmm. Question is... And, okay, the fire did get them. It's the first one down. Just one more. Okay. Oh, it's, it's supposed to be. And it's... Quite literally, a experimented on child. It's not supposed to be pretty or pleasant. I just okay. Can we slam, jump it? Thanks. Okay. Yeah, it is not supposed to be pleasant. Can I slam? It? Okay. Dodge, dodge. Uh, can I? Okay. Cool. Hmm. If I, okay. Now I need to bring this back. But I. Hmm. Scholar's Armament on. 200 jumping attacks would be pretty good. Maybe. Maybe. And I... Slam and... Dodge. 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 And I... Oh my goodness. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Dodge. And... Can I... Thanks. And what if I... Can I... Hmm. Stab. Ah. Uh, thanks. And I... Okay. Cool. Cool. And just... Out of the... What? Well... That should be the only one left now. <laughs> There's supposed to only be one to deal with, so... And I can stance break them, but one is down. Finally got a revenge. Kinda. So this two-hand stance breaking attacks should be good. We can, the big thing is that the Bloodhound's finesse attack. Well, actually, if we just want to break stance, spamming, the jumps would be better, I presume. As opposed to, like I said, using the special attack, which is the Bloodhound's finesse one that jumps back and jumps forward again. We work on some enemies, but it's. Or actually, it works on a lot of enemies, but it depends. Cool. Yeah, once we get this through and then go back, we'll be able to basically get done with. Wimgrave entirely once we leave, which would be nice. Well, there will be some quest lines that might make them want to come back, but... Doing everything we can theoretically do first time we're here when we have the opportunity. That would be nice. Kill one more Rapid Scion, and... Yeah, we've already gotten a good deal stronger. Power scaling on this game is very, very big just because of how long it is. The DLC takes it up even... Another level. What is interesting about the DLC is that, unlike a lot of most other, a lot of other Souls DLCs, they did not introduce a new highest strength requirement weapon. In fact, they introduced new highest intelligence and faith requirement, and also really hard arcane requirement spells. But in terms of the rest, they didn't do much. It's interesting, which means that the big giant crusher hammer remains the strongest, well, highest dex requirement weapon in the game. And I shoot, and then take that out, and then take that back out, but... Is it because we two-handed the one weapon that we lost our enchantment, or does it just run out time-wise? I don't know. Three, four, cool. Alright. Okay, then. Get this, and take out the one remaining guy. The nice thing is that we can teleport out of here. So it's all kind of part of Stranded Graveyard, I suppose, so... Should be it. Should be the one thing left. This one guy. Okay. The other one should not be respawning. Presumably. Oh, then, and we can just jump. Jump it. Okay. Oh, well, alright. Thanks. And... One, two, three, and... Okay, slap. Dodge. Okay. Can we try that again? And Okay, I, mm, okay, thanks, and slam that down, and, oh, nice, we actually got that going, so let's hit, hit, and there we go, took you out with that big old critical, oh, one more, one more, there we go, cool, and there wasn't a second one, 
Good. Okay. So I finally got my revenge on those annoying guys. But I... All these corpses around. Huh. Sort of got that Urtru's favor, I think. That's all that's there, so the only thing left would be... Sifra in the underground. Here to teleport to the soldier. I... Probably honestly want to go all in on health. I'm not going to be using the skill much. It's too inconsistent. Okay, so... Flash... Get flash charges and just... Getting more seeds, getting more... A lot of things... Helps. Gotta go back up to the gate and... Get our way to... Back to where we were before. Cool. The Dragon King Soldier is, and I think... Definitely after Castle Morn, but I think... I have a good chance of being able to do a run now, honestly. Decent position, so I can just... Dodge it. Okay, cool. Don't really see me, so... Alright, just... Go to another area, travel to another location, and yep. Yeah, can't touch this. Cool. Scholar's Armament and... You know, because the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Well, actually, it's not the same thing. I got a new and better weapon, and also just an enchantment. Switch my flask to health, got another flask. Got stronger in a number of ways. We might be able to do this now, actually. Maybe. Put Scholar's Armament on our sword. And then... Dynamic Entry on horseback, and... Bash away the feet. Cool. Fun. This is no Reduvia, but should be okay. The eye, just the damage alone is actually really, really good. Thank you, I... Oh, and yep, it's no longer a one-hit kill. That is so exciting. Okay. Slam, and... Okay. Can we slam, and we're almost, almost at a stance break, so... We can afford to be kind of, kind of silly with this. And there we are. Nice. Kill this guy. Nice. Oh, but we should have used our tier of the terrain. Let's just use that. Cool. And there we are. Cool. And we just dodge and can we slam? Slam and okay. Can we Oh the belt blocked it. Dumb. Thanks. Dumb and can we Okay. Slam. Dodge. Oh well I, okay, that's a one hit kill, but Yeah, that That was comparatively effortless. Nice. Okay. So use our flask, use our spell, and yeah. So the sky is down, I'll be free of this accursed place. Let's go to Castle Moor and take down the much easier guys there, and yeah, cool. That increase should be good as well, so let's just go around. I guess I'll get my runes back. Sure. And just can we drop it? Oh miss, we missed. One to and just dodge and can we leg leg oh well okay hmm that slam still kills but big thing is that a lot of the fast sweeps we can survive and just our damage is a lot better i think i'll take this guy down or at least i'll try epic sea for a river moment okay Lots of wondrous physic, and just switch out Scholar's Armament. Go back on our horse. Get in as quickly as we can, and yeah. Cool, just take that. Nice, and cool. Can we? Okay, nice. Jump. 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 Jump, and thanks. Cool. And just dodge. Okay, oh, alright. Interesting. Don't like that, but I. Oh, well, okay. Hmm. I thought just running would work. It did not. For that, it's decently punishable. Big thing is, is the jumping attacks are strong. They will set me up for a big damage critical, which will be nice too. Hmm. In the end, I have to be smart about this anyway. And, okay, cool. 
And, okay, nice. Jump. So the sooner we do this, the better, actually. But I, oh, right, we didn't do this in the right amount of hand. So I dodge. Okay, can I slam or miss? Because the belt. Stupid. Okay, die. On. And dodge. 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 Okay, well, all right. Now we go. Tear it up, right, I think, and, well, all right, Do oh, well, hmm, hard to see. Big issue is that I forgot to get my, well, actually, what's the speed of the Bloodhound's finesse compared to, using Bloodhound's finesse until I can't anymore might actually be a better idea, because its damage is really good. I think it might be slightly faster at racking up stance damage, maybe. It's tough here. Only about a dexterity boosting one. Oh, whatever. Oh, we have. Or not. Maybe. We'll see. So, just run in, run in, get those, and hop off, and just slash and get back. Cool. And then we can jump again. Nice. And I. Oh, well. Alright. Hmm. Interesting. I. It's not such a good idea. Slash. Get back, and here we almost go, and can we one more jumping attack on you, and we, oh, okay, fun. Okay, run, and jump, and slam, okay, nice, we got that, this is good, and go around front, and I'm stuck, I was, well, I was almost stuck, so, let's just get that, and what, what, okay, nonsense, still at half health, okay, cool. Hmm, just dodge, and can we slam, and okay, cool. I, okay, I, oh, well, that's, that's the problem that I, okay, cool, and, all right, thanks, heal, heal, and, ooh, okay, all right, mm -hmm. I, okay, dodge, okay, nice, mm hmm, and dodge, can we slam that, almost, I, okay, cool, slam, okay, cool, interesting, slam, I think, I, oh, well, I was gonna say, I think we could do this with a critical, but I wasn't behind it enough. I thought that was a good good position relative to its body, and it simply was not. Yeah, that the damage from Bloodhound's finesse is really, really good. That's the thing. But the opportunities I have to actually pull the thing off are fewer than I might like. We'll see. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Take that. Take the. Scholar's Armor back on for a little bit. Just a little bit of extra attack power. Not incredibly relevant, but still. And we just take that and can we... Nice. Take. Jump back. And then we jump again for a third. And should be decent. And can I... Actually, if I take that and run in it... Oh, nice. And right, because that jump is invincible. We'll be able to make use of that. One. Two. Cool. Then we can just do the damage real quick. One, dodge, and oh well, all right. Too bad. Okay, cool. So how do I do this then? Uh, dodge. Can I slam and jump back? And, oh well. Mm -hmm. Dodge. Oh, okay, cool. Whatever. Can just dodge. Okay. Mm -hmm. But swing is tough too. And I dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. Can I? Jump, slam, and okay. That, oh, well. I knew you did the rip up at, oh no, that rip up attack was separate, but, okay. You did, we did quite okay. This is much, much better. Reliably taking down huge amounts of its health. Just need to make sure we don't die. Big thing is, now that most of its attacks are no longer one-shotting me, some of them still are, but it's really all up to... My ability to stay situationally aware and not overextend myself. That is the thing. Cool, cool. And go over there. So now we can do that. Thanks. Take that. Go in. Slash. Jump. And slam. Dodge. Okay, cool. Nice. Can we can dodge. Can we... All right. Nice. Dodge. And can we... Okay. Or miss because the stupid bell. Okay, nice. And... And another dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. And can I slam it? Nice, we got it. One of those, and then we get the head. Can we? Is this? Where we, wait, what? Never, never mind. Okay. 
weird. Okay, I'm just gonna try to pretend that didn't just happen. Oh, we missed that dodge timing. To dodge earlier than I expect for that. I just... The game is weirdly finicky with positioning for the parry sometimes. I mean, for the repost sometimes, but... We're doing okay for ourselves. Decidedly okay. I like this fight now. It... And a lot of it is just, you know, the fact that I'm not doing it at a point where I'm really not supposed to be. It... See for River is already way over leveled for where I am, but it's only making things worse for myself by one, two, and just jump and slam. Cool. And we dodge. Okay, cool. Thanks. And then we slam again. Okay. Mm, all right. Thanks. Cool. And we dodge. And can we slam again? And or miss? And what? Okay. Fun. I guess. So that's actually the kind of thing I could counter with a. Bloodhound finesse, I think. Because after I do the initial jump back, if it goes for the big fall-up swing, I would be able to iframe it, because the fall-up leap forward actually has iframes on that attack, which is, is maybe a little less busted than it might sound at first, but it's still good. You have to know how to use it if you want to take advantage of its capabilities. Mm -mm is that it does do a lot of stance damage, actually. So, and just dodge back, go forward, and cool. Jump, and oh well, mess that up, and cool. Then I, mm, oh well, all right. Oh, mm. that was funky. Yeah, but it should be within my capabilities. It's just, the big thing is just the way that it regenerates its stance. If I'm not all that aggressive. Which does mean that... Killing it is... A matter of speed, to an extent. Okay. Come on, come on. Pretty soon I'll be able to use meter red staff, though, which is going to be nice, too. And nice. One. And rush in, and then we can... Maybe do it again, honestly, and... Yeah, we can use that, actually, which is nice. And, oh, well. Mess that up. Yeah, actually, two Bloodhound Staps is almost perfect. Because, yeah, the iframes on the return hit will let me get in. But I... If I can get two criticals off, I'm, I'm good. The second critical will kill. But... But that stance damage, though... That's the issue. And making sure that I'm not putting myself in too much danger when I'm trying to deal with it. Epic blue greatsword moment. Guys, I'm Star Wars. Look at me, I'm Star Wars. Okay, and just one, two, one. Oh, well, all right, never mind. Okay, cool. I thought that would be better than it was. <laughs> Jump in it. Oh, well, never mind. That didn't work. So that is not an opportunity to use Bloodhound Stab. The other attack comes out too fast. Okay. Big thing is that if, if I am smart, I could actually use two Bloodhound Stabs right at the start of the fight, which would mean two more jumping attacks for Stance Break. As Bloodhound Stab is 44 total Stance Damage. This thing is 120 Stance. Which means that, which is, each of those is actually, you know, the same amount as one of the, oh, well, whatever. I, what? Oh, I, what? What in the hell? That's stupid. Because that, oh, even if you two-hand the other-handed weapon, you lose the buff. That is actually really, really obnoxious. Okay, whatever. Nice. And one, two, one, and, oh, well, we, Never mind. I, I didn't have enough stamina. That was the problem. Okay, but that was really, really weird. The big thing is, is that if I want to two-hand my weapon again, I've got to do it before I get back on the horse. Okay. But I... I know what I needed to do now, and now it's just all about execution. Did you hear about the opera about the invention of the guillotine? 
Horrible concept. Great execution. Okay. So, let's go back in. It's an English language pun. It's a, just a really dumb joke, so don't think anything about it. And just jump and cool. Nice. So that just means just a couple more. And dodge. Okay, cool. Can we slam a couple more and just dodge. Can we hit and... Oh, that did not connect. I, okay. Cool. All right. And slam again. Okay, there we go. Stance actually doesn't regenerate all that fast, but still, I... Yeah, we have to be on the side of the head. That was really, really tough. Okay, whatever. I... Okay, cool. Let's get around the side and... Okay, cool. Nice. And just... Oh, well, I... Oh, okay. The AoE on that is really, really generous. So the big thing is, if we go for a slam attack, I need to always try to get... entirely behind its body. It's the only way I can even remotely guarantee escape. Well, not escape, but avoiding. It's a big sort of ground terror counter. Okay. Do that. We go back in. Big thing is, if I'm fast, I get two Bloodhound step attacks off, which is really, really nice. So, nice. One. Two. Three. And dot. Okay, well, whatever. I'm stupid. I, I ran in, which was a really bad idea. So what? Uh, okay. Big thing is, I need to go for the stupid legs. Can't do anything otherwise. Yep, yeah, we just got punished for that. I couldn't even do anything. Okay. It, it actually reminds me a bit of Valorian from Dark Souls Three, and that, not mid air, mid heal. big issue is that speeding up on the horse does cost stamina. And if I consume stamina by dashing on the horse once it wakes up, I'm gonna be unable to pull off two Bloodhound's Vang attacks and Bloodhound's Step attacks, so just gotta be honestly more daring. Thanks. One, two, three, and just... Dodge it. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, cool. And I, mm, well, whatever. Oh. Well, that blood scene is gone, so I don't need to worry about it anymore. There's basically nothing in it. Mm -hmm. You know, Haim Saban, the guy who turned Super Sentai into Power Rangers, wanted to do the same thing for Sailor Moon. Yeah. Did not end up happening or working. Mm -mm. I, you, you are aware that Power Rangers is was at least originally basically a fake show cobbled together with footage of a, the Japanese Super Sentai, right? And a, the guy who was behind it, an American billionaire named Haim Saban, Wanted to do the same thing originally with Sailor Moon, which did not end up working or happening. Which is probably good. And, okay, cool. Let's dodge, and can we slam? I, no, no, I, okay, alright. It's just, the belt is so tough to hit. The fact that its belt blocks its body is ridiculous. Mm hmm. Okay. Alright. But... I, I am wondering, did you know that about Power Rangers? That it was originally cobbled together using Super Sentai footage. Slash, and just... Move in it. Okay, nice. Get with that and just dodge. Oh, well, ah, I didn't have enough. It's a risky strategy, but it's the only one I can really afford to try. Mm hmm. Alright. 
Sigan. That Power Rangers originally was literally a fake show in that there was very little original footage recorded it recorded for it. It was taken from a Japanese series, Tokusatsu, called Super Sentai, which had a very similar idea, and they why did that not work? Okay. They took footage from it and used it to make an English language show which was entirely different. Well, almost entirely different. To the point that they made up entirely new characters without actually having any English actors for them. No! Because they bought the rights to it from the company who made Super Sentai, and they basically they just said, okay, we're going to do this with it instead of just a more standard translation or localization. They said, okay, cool, make your money. And eventually it became more of its own thing, but its genesis was just repurposed Super Sentai footage. Seriously. It's... In the end, the question of, this, of a legal is, what do the rights holders think about it most of the time? I okay. And I dodge. Can I? Hmm. But I. Oh come on. I. Maybe. It's different. I just can't actually. You. Hmm. Well. You might recognize some of it, because you saw the footage in a separate form. Possibly. Or you might have seen the original. Maybe. The big thing is that they wouldn't do the same thing with Kamen Rider and Sailor Moon and just did not do that. It did not end up working out for them. I think it was just... Too different of a concept. Well, actually, we got a hit in. Nice. Dodge. Can we slam and... All right, one more slam attack or not. I right, okay. Dodge. Okay, well, whatever. Okay. Now, dodge. Can we slam. Nice. There we go. So that means I have to go around again. It's we're behind it. And take it out. Cool. Cool. All right, then. Okay. Cool. And just... Let's go for this again. Can we slam? Can we slam on you or what? Question is, can I? Okay, all right. Thanks, thanks. And I, oh, but I, it stayed in a two of a stance for me to actually get behind. It was stupid. Mm -hmm. Well. And that, that would make sense, because you know, they wouldn't be airing Super Sentai on American networks. Because the only people who would have the rights to do that were using it to make Power Rangers instead. Yeah. That is, without a doubt, part of it. Well... As in English language networks with that would be getting safe and stuff. Okay, but uh. but on step is good, but I mean two up at the start of the fight is nice, but I have so many flash of each sort. And uh there's still a lot of annoying one shot attacks. Big thing is that if I have to, I can take one hit from some of the sweeps, but I still just... Mm -mm. It's tough. One, two, nice, good. Just go over here and... Alright. Slash and move in. Slash, move in. Alright, and not even hit because hitboxes on these things are goddamn horrible. The interesting thing is that Seems as if healing is 
gradual, you see the bar go up. The damage is instant. Mm -hmm. Oh, whatever. Well, it wouldn't surprise me. Italy is one of the weeb countries. Oh, uh, uh, oh what? Huh? Alright, uh, interesting and not in a good way. What? How did that even happen? Alright, okay. Dodge, dodge, dodge. And, okay, cool. Can I slam? Jump, slam it. Okay. Dodge. Okay. Can I? Mm -hmm. this, okay, nice. Can I? Slam, dodge. Okay, I. Mm, interesting. Not good. I. That arm thrust attack is actually one of the best. Of, try to uh, counter, but. Dodge. Oh, what in the goddamn? Did I get a hit lag hitting that belt? I just... That belt is so stupid. That should not exist. So it can still hit you just fine. It's just... Hitting its arms and... Can't really... It's no good way to... Deal with it, I guess. Hmm. Maybe I can just start spamming... Glintstone... Pebbles at it, but... It's silly. Okay. Nice, and one, two, jump and slam, and just dodge, mm, can we jump and, okay, what, okay, all right, mm -hmm. heal and dodge, oh, what, so that one is insta-kill, no matter what, all right, all right, honestly, Maybe I'll just go Scar Seal. I. Yeah, that would be a big boost to my HP, too. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, there we go. We can actually wear a helmet now. I. Hmm. It would be funny if this was really, really good. And this will let me do it. The big thing is just I've got a little bit more HP now, so. Might make a difference. Should take slight more damage. I can also equip more armor. We'll see how it goes. Okay, cool. And just do that. And can we? One, two, one, two, and oh well, we okay. We don't, did not manage to hit. We weren't even locked on. Not locking on. Not locking on would be good, but. We're Bloodhound, yeah, you need to lock on. Mm -mm. Lock on or lock in? Mm -hmm. More stamina could also be nice. So, low levels like these. These talismans are a lot more useful than they would otherwise be anyway. And, okay, cool. Go over and one, two... One, two, and okay, well, we didn't even match it hit. Okay. Cool, I, okay. Alright, and can we slam? And oh, well, alright. Can we. Uh, 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 dodge. And, wait, what? I I didn't dodge? There's just that much. There's just that much angle lag on the attack when you're landing, or. <laughs> okay. Oh, well. Yeah, if it, I guess if it would have been in Italian, that would explain the difference, that... Okay, so in that case, yeah, it's not... It wouldn't even be Super Sentai... I mean, Power Rangers, it's just Super Sentai, period. You got the genuine article. Lucky. And... Cool. One. Two. Job. Slam. And dodge and jump and ah, uh, dodge and oh come on, okay and we come down and okay well okay annoying shoulder bash, 
And just dodge. Okay, cool. Slam. And okay, oh well. Okay, slam again. Nice. Got that down. Let's just break the head then. Take one. Two. Yeah, it's if you know the original, why would you settle for the little joke imitation? And can we hmm. Oh well, alright. Okay. Thanks, and Do oh well. Ah. Stupid. The first big hit. It's too good at keeping me in front of it. This is the thing. At least my base damage is pretty good. It's in general, Bloodhound Swing is generally considered to be one of the most powerful weapons, at least, or especially for PvE. So. Alright then, alright. Maybe I'll just don't use Bloodhound Staff until. I use it all that excessively. Save a lot for the final part of the fight. And can we... question is, what if I try to hit the arms? Okay. Well, no, no, we messed that up. Dodge. And, okay. Can we slam and dodge? Oh well. Okay. Come on. I dodge. And, okay. Can we slam? Well, we didn't even mention jump. Okay. Can I slam? I dodge. Do oh well. All right. Can we? Mm -hmm. One of the dodge. And, okay. Can we slam? Dodge. Okay, and what can I do now? I can dodge. Okay, well, uh, how did that still hit me? What? Okay. It's actually a ridiculous attack. It's never really, really lingering hitbox, but I guess if it's a crown sign, that makes sense. Hmm. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of how. When they added Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury to Smash Brothers, a lot of people in America were just sort of, literally, who is this? But almost all of Latin America was celebrating, especially Brazil, because Terry had been a huge cultural figure, just Fatal Fury in general. Because SNK games were oftentimes the only ones that they could afford in Brazil because other companies... The big deal is that Brazil in particular had really, really high really, really high input tariffs for video games, and what? I thought... Okay, so when I see the ground, as soon as I see the ground sun coming out, I need to immediately dodge. Okay, because it this is really, really fast. But... SNK and the Neo Geo, well, for one, I think it was part of they were kind of arcade focused for one. And I think arcade stuff might not have been subject to all the same import tariffs. And the big thing is that the consoles themselves were often cheaper. So even with the tariffs, they were still something close to affordable. So comparatively compared to Nintendo or Sega, had a lot more market in mind share. Dodge. Mm -hmm. and what I should do is hit the hit the actual wins. Dodge, and what if I dodge? Okay, can I slam you? It's just, that's again, can I? Oh, 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 right. Annoying. Hmm. Dodge, can we slam? And, well, no, no. What in the? Okay. It's actual nonsense. Okay, cool. And can I slam? Almost. I, okay. One more slam it. There we What? Huh? Okay. Slam it. What? Okay. What? What was up with that? Did I have something? Was I messing up my jump attack somehow? Because it did not seem to be taking much stance damage. Maybe it might have to do with me hitting the arm once. Take less stance damage on the arm. Maybe. Hmm. I really don't know. It's still useful. Okay. I just. I should be able to kill this guy, so I want to. One, two, one, two, and can we? Okay, well, took that damage, but we'll be able to make up for it with this. And okay, nice. Can we slam down? And, okay, just one, 
more, more ends. Can we? Okay, cool. And can we slam it? Okay, there we are. Nice. So just jump over, slam down, and roll. And we visceral. I mean critical. And well, whatever. Okay, cool. We were close. It was probably about the same amount of damage. Well, okay. It a dodge time is just tricky. Is the thing kind of. So if we go right to its side, I can reliably get both steps off. Do you agree with that or disagree? But the big thing is that, kind of like Power Rangers, the guy who made Power Rangers out of Super Sentai wanted to do, well, I did not mean to do that. Wanted to do the same thing to Sailor Moon and Kamen Rider, and it simply just did not hit. It did not have same level of interest in part, I think, because there might have been more awareness of the original versions of those works. Thanks. One and two. Oh, well, we. Ah. Oh, that was tough. Okay, I. Uh, really? 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 Okay. I agree. I agree. It. I think Ruin might be strong, but. It's kind of like the infamous dub of ghost stories which in English, which you might have heard of, which is, it's entirely a gag dub. And there are a lot of people who deeply dislike it because, I mean, for one, it just, even though the original work wasn't groundbreaking or amazing, it's just totally... I mean, presumably, you could argue is worthy of more respect than that. The big thing is... Ah, oh, stupid. I cannot actually afford to go through the multiple blood zamming steps, pretty much no matter what. The big thing is that it moved out of the way. If it moves out of the way, then, well, you know, you have to deal with that. Here's this. Place of wondrous physic. And then. Chant my weapon again. Try this again. It. This is. This is my Rubicon. To quote Genshin Impact, quoting Caesar. And just one. Two. Let's try that one more time. We're faster, so we could probably do it. So. Nice and. Swoop and, okay, well, we took the damage, but we got the hit in, which is good. We just, oh, well, oh, no. I just can't do that. I just can't do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. The big thing is, is that I'm not using up any kind of time limited, quote unquote, materials. I'm not losing any resources by attempting this fight again. If my healing items were limited or my mana was permanently limited, then that might be a different story, but that is not the case. So, let's run in and try one Bloodhound Staff, I mean, one Bloodhound Finesse, and then just move in for normal jumping attacks. Yeah, okay. Sadly. And one. And just dodge. Okay, cool. Can I. What are you gonna do? Two, do, do, and. Okay, cool. Can I slam? Dodge, okay, cool. Dodge, and can I, hmm, what can I hit? Dodge, and, oh, okay, cool. Interesting, I, right, and dodge, okay, nice slam. Dodge, what, huh? Oh, maybe that attack gets slightly delayed if I actually manage to hit the arm. <laughs> hit in the vent. What is this, Among Us? Among us, in real life. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Upper hits. Try to get that critical a couple of times. Sus. Literally. And can we hit, slam, and then jump and slam again, and I dodge. Okay, we need to... Advance and hit the side and okay, nice. Dodge. I uh, dodge, 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 and okay, cool. Just gotta get around and slam the 
Uh, can, okay, can I? Okay, well, interesting. Okay, can I? Well, okay, I, I'll run. Oh, what? Huh? I just didn't see things. That's the problem. I run out of stamina. Couldn't even see it. Well, it's it's a long-running franchise. It it's kind of like asking how many common riders there are. A bunch. It. I feel like Common Rider is the kind of thing I would like if I watched it. There are just so many things to watch and play, just generally. Experience. You, you always have to pick and choose. You can't do everything. And can we, one, two, one, two, and nice, and we're gonna take the hit, but we're okay. Cool, and dodge, and heal, heal, heal. What? Okay. Huh. I... That could be worth trying. But... Tokger? Tokuger? Tokuger? It... This may not surprise you, but Japanese uses English letters in somewhat different ways. The train station... Oh, okay. And, alright. Cool. Just go in, risk it all for the biscuit. And, cool, just dodge... Oh, we, had, we couldn't even get the panic dodge off. Okay, I dodge... Okay, cool. Heal. And, cool. Pull back it. What are you gonna do now? You're gonna dodge it. Can we slam? Okay, I did not make that work. I dodge. Okay, well, I. Mmm. There's some button. Okay, whatever. I dodge. Okay, what? Okay. As fun as it is to try to get a second Bloodhound's finesse in, I really cannot put myself in a sewage situation where I deliberately have to heal off damage. Okay. Well, should be almost done. The end of what? The article? Nice. Okay. Uchu sent a Q Ranger. I had some with a, already had some with a Q in it. And the last one. As in, they stopped making them, or it's just the last one that was currently made. I can't imagine they would just quit. Dodge. Can we, okay, nice. And just another one. And can we... Hmm. Dodge. Dodge. Okay, uh, okay. Can we... Nice. And can we... Slam it. Nice. There we go. So I'll just go over and slam that and get around the other side. And critical. Nice. There we go. Okay, cool. Nice. Now we can just take you down somewhat normally. Cool, cool, and try that. And wait, oh no, that. As in, there were nine of them, or they're nine years old? But I, oh, okay. The big thing is, I can't actually pull out of the way of that. Someone just texted me telling me that that I should try streaming League, as in League of Legends. And I, I, I'm pretty sure it's either a joke or deliberate sabotage. No one would watch me play it. I mean, I... I also know nothing about it. And dodge... Mm. And I... Dodge, okay, nice, and slam. And dodge! Dodge. Okay, can I... Mm, what if I slam that and... Never mind, never mind, I need to... Mm. And... Dodge. Okay, cool. Well, oh, come on. Okay, nice. Can I... Close, but I... Dodge. Can I... Slam again. No, we missed again. And I... Okay. Can I... Slam and you and... Can I... Dodge! Dodge. Can I... Slam. Nice. We're almost there. I dodge. Ah, oh, can I... This leg is tough. And I... Wait, what? Huh?
Yeah, but... Their target audiences are fundamentally different than mine. I don't think the kind of people who would want to watch me would want to watch me play League. It's simply not a very, very interesting game at all, unless you're good at it, and even then. It, it's a long, competitive multiplayer game with a notoriously toxic community. And the reason it's toxic is because the game design is fundamentally encourages toxicity, because it is a heavily team-oriented multiplayer game that has matches that last many, almost hours, and just is incredibly competitive, and I, it's also just not my kind of game in general, I don't like MOBAs, and roll, and, okay, cool, slam, there we go, cool, and just jump, slam down, and get over here, probably both, and that's a big reason I have very little interest in trying to play it. It would bring the worst out of me. Dodge, okay, well, oh, come on. All right, just dodge. Okay, heal, heal. Interesting, nice, you're all ripping. Cool, and just dodge. Okay, cool, and ro dodge. Okay, oh, we managed to avoid that very narrowly. Nice, and I dodge. Okay, nice, and how much more are we gonna dodge? Okay, cool, gonna tear it up. Or, yeah, you are, okay, cool. Slam, I, it's, like I said, it's just not a, would not consider it a particularly interesting game to stream in the first place. I... I also just don't even... I don't want to play it. It's the big thing. Dodge. Okay, cool. Fair. And just... Jump it. Okay, cool. Can I just slam on you and miss entirely and... Dodge. Okay, cool. And what if I... Slam and one more, one more. There we go. We finally killed this stupid thing. Revenge. Revenge. All right, great enemy foe. So that's the end of things today. I don't need to do anything else. Dragon Halberd, cool. There we go. Let's check out that thing. Standard Pierce, shaped like a dragon, wreathed with both ice and lightning. Dragon King soldiers never attained immortality and perish as decrepit, pale imitations of their skyborn kin. No. <laughs> well, it is my only way to deal lightning damage right now. And I can use this in two hands. It might be somewhat useful, but... There aren't a lot of things in this game that are actually really weak to lightning. That's the thing about it, but... We killed that guy, and now we have... Quite frankly, a better weapon to use. This is really, really good for me. So... The next thing to do... Sometime later is going to be... Going back here and going to Castle Moon. A bit more poison swamp down there for whatever reason, but probably another dungeon or two in here. And yeah, we have the mining tunnel, the catacombs, just a random cave. Another cave, more catacombs, rise of the memory stone. So we actually, I like logging out in the round table hold. It's fun. So we can get one more quick level probably. It's just. I really want to level. Honestly, I'll level strength. Actually, I'll level HP. Yeah, I'll level HP. Should honestly be priority number one most of the time. Yeah, the next thing to do is yeah, I'm going to be going to the castle down there, and then I will go to Stormvale. Presumably. Shouldn't take all that long. I mean, it's not no time, but it's not all that long. So yeah, that's next time. Thank you for watching, and yeah, that'll be it. Sayonara again. Yeah. Funny helmet. Sayonara again. Glad you liked it.